to the far reaches of Outback Oregon. This week, we're gonna be ending that six year journey by finally bringing home and launching Oregon Schiller Sunstone. Hope you'll be able to join this Thursday between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Good morning, jewelry makers. How are we all? Ah, oh, I think we're all fresh. We're all excited about today's show because it is completely and utterly jam-packed with some of my favourite items, actually, that I think we've launched over the past year or so. I loved Linda's babushka dolls when um, I had the privilege of launching those. And she really pitched for them for so quite some time. Um, they sold out super super quickly and they're back in stock by very popular demand look at how amazing she's so clever I mean I mean these yeah she, the first ones were incredible and but she's got she's she's bettered it again isn't she look at the little bubba Little bubber in the pink pom-poms. So um, obviously incorporating your seed beading. The pom-poms are part of the kit as well, so you'll, you'll be pleased to know. Because um, they do go hand in hand, don't they? They work beautifully together. So that's coming up at 9 o'clock and also at 12 o'clock. But I do expect each of those kits to sell out. There's around about 100 of each design. Um, so they're coming up at 9 o'clock and we've got a lovely demo for you. We've also got Last of Stock Swarovski coming up in this hour, Jewelry Makers Act clearance prices now those of you that have been with myself first thing in the morning you know that the eight o'clock hour is literally a bit of a frantic frenzy but all good because it gets you ahead um, of the you know the, the day the day in the show so you do need to check out nice and early they're coming away at clearance deals we have got one of my favorite tools the hot fix gun the hot fix gun is coming your way with a hot fix mega bundle. Now, our at uh, what time are we do this? At ten o'clock. Um, now, our lovely Wayne, when he mentioned seventeen bundles, I've got to give you of hot fix. Now, when he mentioned um, that hot fix was going to be part of today's show, I was like brilliant i was still on lockdown at the time and i said send it to me um and i'll hot fix a few goodies for you well i i didn't just hot fix a few I hot fix loads and you'll be doing the same um so yeah it's super simple you can literally hot fix most things you know as you can see wood ceramic fabric um, I think you can you can hot fix on certain thicknesses of glass. So yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun with that as well, jewelry maker. So it's gonna be mega. It's gonna be mega. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all really excited about today's show. I'm gonna say hello to our lovely crew because they are fabulous. We have the gorgeous Emma, who's looking hello. super trim at the moment, Em. I don't feel it, but thanks. You are. You are. You look really trim. I'm like she's been one of those people that's been exercising over lockdown. I'm not one of them. No. I'm definitely not one of them. Um, in the gallery, we have the men. The men. We have um, wonderful Wayne. Are you Wayne? Are you okay? You're, there's lovely Laura. We can see you, Laura. There she is, beautiful Laura. And of course, the gorgeous Adam. There he is. Yeah, casual, casual. I always kind of, I always kind of think that that's like something that what's his name, Simon Cowell would do when you spin round. He'd be super cool. <laughs> he said, "Thanks for that, Al. Thanks." Um, okay, so are you ready? Last to start clearing Swarovski um, because obviously they change their colours quite frequently. We might have just small quantities of certain colours and certain shapes, etc. Grab them now whilst you get the chance. I cannot guarantee that they are going to be uh, sort of reordered. We will be reordering Swarovski, of course, uh, but can't guarantee that particular colour or shape. Okay, without further ado, let's get cracking. Let's, ooh, and I'm going to start with bundles. So you're actually getting six in total. 
and these are really beautiful graduated pendants. Um, it's your blue zircon colour. They actually mould uh, they mould their colours of Swarovski on uh, many a gemstone, which obviously you can see that beautiful, almost Swiss blue topaz colour. I've got 34, £14.90. That does give you th three, there's three pendants in each of these packs. In each of these packs, so you're getting six in total. That's an amazing price tag. This is genuine Swarovski. Let's not forget that this brand, if you were to actually go, if you were to actually go in those shops, you'd be paying considerably more than what you're looking at on your screen. But Wayne is saying, watch this. Yeah, no, I wasn't expecting it. When you said clearance. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, a little bit of a taster of things to come then, jewelry makers. It is going to be crazy this hour. And you're all on it. Well done. That's a pound per Swarovski pendant. One, I'm saying pendant. They can be earrings as well, as you can see just at the top here. There's a little loop that you can attach to your shepherd hook if you wanted to. Um, they're flying out the door. You have to check out your baskets if you're with me on the web. And if you're dialing on the phone lines, um, just be super quick. I would recommend the app or the web this morning, definitely, de highly, in all honesty, because it is going to be busy from start to finish. Everything, the kit's non-stop, every hour. It's going to be It's going to be a lot of fun. 5 95 only. I mean, they've got clearly never been at that price tag before clearly nor should they be <laughs> that's for two packs one pack at 5.95 would be absolutely amazing but two uh, is, is incredible especially with that beautiful blue the most po popular color popular color of your of your gemstones i know this is Swarovski, but you know there we go um incredible moving on hold those phone lines one up oh, oh, oh. Hold those phone lines. In fact, if you hold those phone lines and check out those baskets, you're in the right place for this. Aha. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, rich, regal amethyst colour. You get the twos, two packs, I mean. Two packs of your amethyst. And these actually have, if I turn it that way, can you see that they've got the gold-plated colour? Um, Premium brand Swarovski. I will obviously try and get to, you know talk to you about a little bit of the history of the comp uh, of the company itself throughout the course of this craziness. Probably eight o'clock hour is not the hour to do it because there's so many deals, so it's going to be quite fast and furious. But I will talk to you about the history of the company because it's quite exciting. You know, um, we know it as a global brand. It's absolutely admired. I think in every country on this beautiful planet. Um, but we're not used to these kind of prices, are we? So well done. Five ninety five for both of these. In the gold-plated colours, because not everybody wears silver. Some people prefer the gold colours, and I think it really complements, doesn't it? Really, really complements those beautiful purple colours. Again, you're getting six, and these are obviously like the little doubles, little double pendant stroke. They call them pendants, but they could be earrings as well, of course. There's nothing stopping you using these with your fabrics as well. You can easily kind of um, anchor them on with maybe a stitch of your wildfire or something like that. You can very easily use them with your fabrics and maybe your shibori silks. How many did I have of these? 43. Over half the stock has gone already. Yeah, you're getting a bit of a taster of how, how frantic it is going to be. Cumbria, Pamela, hello to you, Enid. Hello to you, Alison, Ruth. Hello to you, Manch, uh, Mandy, sorry. Uh, Eva, hello to you, Surrey, Neil and Linda. Julie, you have to check out those baskets. These are last in stock. I can't guarantee that we'll actually see exactly this again. I'm not saying Swarovski as a whole, but exactly this product. They might have changed it. They might have discontinued it, Swarovski. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this is going to... Am I meant to have three? Two. Yes. And a three-pack. That's the confusion. There we go. So... Double trouble on your one of the most popular colours, your cyan red. Oh, it's lovely. You do get three. So ignore the graphics. It's a triple, not a double. Ignore the graphics. Triple trouble will change it for you. Should be. Is that our should be price? Because that seems amazing, doesn't it? That's nine pendants um, of your beautifully faceted... Um, beautifully faceted Swarovski. We've gone extra low apparently because of the boo-boo. Again, that's, that's just over a pound. 
for cyan red. Anything red, as in which is man-made, you know, like your crystals, like your seed beads, um, costs more. The pigment is much, much, much more expensive. So um, you do tend to find the cyan Swarovski to actually be... Uh, to actually be dearer than many other colours out there. So that is completely our error. It is a triple trouble, not a double trouble, triple trouble. Um, and you're actually getting a total of nine pendants for under £10. If you're looking for quick makes, then look no further than what's on your screens right now because literally all you need is a jump ring, really, um, or shepherd hook. Literally open and close it using your pliers and away you go. Have I got quantity of these? 36 so less than 50 again and again absolutely flying um, if you've got a phone in your hand fabulous you know if you're in a queue stay where you are just because I move on doesn't mean that they've run out or they've sold out um, I'll try and keep you sort of as, as up to date up to speed on what's available and what's not so less than 50 of those oh jet black beautiful look at this and you can really kind of see you can see spinel, can't you? Because one of the benefits of, of Swarovski, obviously, it's, a, it's, it's, it's crystal. Um, it's not a gemstone. But you get amazing luster. Um, and with something that's jet black, you know, you can really see that beautiful luster across the surface of these stones. Hugely historical. They, they have a massive, massive range of colours, Swarovski. Um, and again, black or jet, as they actually call it, with the rhodium coating on the back is one of their most popular. Um, so let me sort of talk, about, talk to you about rhodium. What is rhodium? You see rhodium on 18 karat white gold. You see rhodium on many of your precious metals. It is actually the brightest white plating that you can actually put influence to, uh, to a metal itself. Um, it's very durable and it's six times the price of gold. It's, it's actually found in the earth, but it's six times the price of gold. It's very, very, very expensive. Um, so I'm not surprised that Swarovski are actually using that premium um, material, if you like, uh, for longevity of their products. 5 95 only for the two packs which basically means you're getting six pendants folks yeah these are really popular have I got many of these 48 I think it's a fair assumption to have less than 50 on every single one of these items I, I'll, 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 I'll let you know but Eva hello to you Surrey hello to you Hertrude hello to you Pauline Rosemary Pamela Alison Patsy Ruth Annette Linda Mandy Beverly's bought three great quick makes you know think about the craft fairs are they open yet are they open I think outdoor ones are opening if they're not open now they're opening very soon I think I think so. Um, so if you're looking for quick makes in terms of you know business or, or 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 gifts even, then these pendants are absolutely perfect for that, don't you think? Because it's going to take you less than a minute really um, to sort of attach them to a chain of your choice, and away you go. I mean, how lovely to be able to gift genuine Swarovski. Do you think that recipient would be thinking five ninety five? No. 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 Of course not. Right. Our alarm clock deal. We have. A mega bundle on your Swarovski pearls. Now look at these. Yesterday, do you know I had those locket pendants? You know those ones which you could put things in? This would be perfect for that because with your Swarovski pearls, now they can be inset into Ceruline, they can be inset into your silver clay. Um, you literally can just push them in or you can just kind of have them leave them very shopard like sort of tessellating um, in something like a locket really 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 pretty and they come in all different colors so these are your Swarovski pearls um, and they are made out of crystal so they're very 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 durable so I've got all different colors I've got silvers grays whites um, sort of the darker tones as well and you get hundreds it's your alarm clock deal that's happening at in 15 minutes time there we go 8 30 this morning so make sure you're with me for that it's probably the biggest bundle I've ever seen of Swarovski pearls ever uh, um, uh, uh, what happened there All of a sudden, I just had a sudden intake of breath oh got a right bundle here one two three four five six yes there's only 24 of these, see if I can hold it all. I don't know. I'll give it a go. So these are all your pendants that you're getting. There's only limited quantity, and you're also getting some of your lovely bicones. There you go. Oh, you can't see that colour though, can you? Is that... Yeah? Got it? 
So you've got your tanzanite colour, your sapphire colour, your jet, your amethyst and also, I don't know what they call the yellow. Is it... Uh, I'm going to say that, is that John Quill? John Quill is the yellow. And then also your bicones, which look like peridot, yes. You know, I, I agree with you there, Adam. It's like a peridot-like colour. Really, really beautiful. So a huge collection. Flying. Absolutely flying. So in total, that's what? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 pendants and also um, your bicones too. For £16. Sorry? 18 pendants. Did I count that wrong? Oh, yeah, there's one here. Is that right? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. 15, and then, yes, 15. And then your bicones. Am I missing some? Oh! You don't get the bicones. <laughs> You get another pendant. I'll, t I'll shout out the colours. So you get the amethyst, the jonquil, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, uh, the tanzanite, uh, jet and light sapphire. That's what I've got on my specifications. And a little surprise pendant too. It's not your turn yet. Just wait. Just wait, he's eager. Hot fix! Me, me, me! So you are actually getting 18 pendants, I beg your pardon, so 18. Gloria, Eva, Annette, Tanya, Pauline, Beverly, uh, why don't you, Ken, Janice, Essex, hello to you, West Lothian, hello to you, Tracy, Cumbria. 18 pendants of the brand Swarovski. Can I just give you a little tip as well? If you are gifting Swarovski, which I have done in the past as well, now, you know when you take these little packs and you undo them, every single pack of Swarovski, be it, be it these, be it Hotfix, will have this on the top. We'll have the actual branding, very simple, uh, very clear logo. Do you know what I always do? Cut that off so you just have the, you know, the logo itself and put that in the box. Is that a nice, is that a good tip? Yeah, so if you cut that off, straight line across, pop it in the box, then the person knows that it's Swarovski. There you go. Hiya, Patsy. Morning, Alan, all at JM. Sitting here with my recently sorted Swarovski boxes, um, buying up to fill the spaces. Love the sparkle. And me, Patsy. And me. I mean, who couldn't? Let's be honest. I mean, we all love our genuine gemstones, and I'm not saying that it would ever replace genuine gemstones, of course. But there is definitely a place for Swarovski in the jewellery market. I mean, Marilyn, if it's good enough for Marilyn Monroe, it's definitely good enough for me. I mean, some of the biggest celebrity names in the world, in the world, have chosen to adorn themselves with this beautiful gemstone. Or, I say gem, okay. It, it, in my eyes, it is a gem, because it's pretty, isn't it? Um, okay, it's treasure, let's call it that. Uh, what number? Treasure. Treasure, I get that from my little one, because she calls everything pretty treasure. Oh, mummy, it's treasure. Yes, it is. She loves... You talk, Patsy, you talking about your Swarovski box. Willow likes to have a little... Mummy, can I play with the sparkles? OK. But then, right, limited quantity. You get the big bicones. I've only got 13 of these. I think they're going to be an on-screen sellout super quick. Can you see it all? Yeah? We're very limited on your bicones, and they are arguably one of the most popular cuts um, of Swarovski. Um, that's because there's so much you can do with them. I mean, think about your Mark, uh, Mark Smith Kiss Cross uh, designs. Use, uh, use, uses bicones, doesn't it? Um, you can literally just put them on memory wire. You can use them on your elastic. I've got no problem with that at all. Um, there's your price tag. So in total, these are big packs. You get a lot of... You know, you get a lot of your of your colours. So you've got the amethyst, you've got that beautiful celeste blue, you've got an amazing, oh, I'm trying to think, that's called smoky, I think, that one. Um, then you've got this greenish light colour, you've got the jet. Look at this one. Isn't that gorgeous, like a lavender colour? Beautiful. So in total, how many packs am I getting? Ten packs. Five, eight, seven, eight. Nine, ten, yes, that's it. Ten packs of your of your bicones. Down to the final five of these. 
the final five of them. So you're getting colours like your uh, Peridot, you've got your lovely light sapphire, you've got your jet, you've got your opal colour within here as well. Um, you can kind of mix them all together. Um, they look lovely like so. I, I know that um, Mark in the past, I've got Mark with me actually, he's joining me here in the studio on Friday and he actually made a really nice memory wire bracelet completely out of Swarovski bicones and it was the most beautiful. It's the most beautiful design. Very sporadic and completely, it's not, it's not regimented, it's just whichever colour, whichever bicone he happened to pick up. £31, the final one of these available. So, pardon? You ha pardon? 12 in basket, sorry, they keep, I, might, I have to talk up, sort out my talk back, I keep cutting in and out. It's like, <laughs> hello Cumbria, hello to you Susan, Claire, Angela, we're over allocated anyway, well done, well done, check out. Gosh, there's loads of goodies here today, isn't there? Loads of sparkly goodies. You're going to love this next one. It's that beautiful, Adam just used the word gosh. Golly gosh. <laughs> Golly gosh. <gasps> this is my favourite of all the Swarovski cup chains. Look at this one. Oh, I love it. I mean, does that not look exactly like a, a diamond tennis bracelet? You're getting four of your varying cup chains. I'm going to sort of pop them all over the back of my hand. You've got your baguette cuts, at your claw set. These are like the rubbed over setting and also beautifully Bollywood. You have this lovely Siam red. So all four of these, the lengths themselves are 50 centimetres. So in total you're getting two metres. Two metres of your cup chain, fast as fit. What? We launched these at that price tag. I'm talking about one. You know this, jewelry makers, right? Do you remember when we first launched Cup Chain? It might not have been this particular cut or shape or size or colour, whichever it is, but we launched them at 29.95, and that was for one length of the 50 centimetres. You're getting four, and there's so much you can do with this Cup Chain. Again, you can macrame around it, use it as your lazy strand, so that goes down the core, and then you wrap around the actual Cup Chain. Um, you can use this with, let me think, let me think, I'm not a guest designer, but I, even my brain is sort of ticking over. Um, you can actually use these just with a simple clasp at the end. Keep it as it is. You can use them and sew them onto your fabric so you can set them in amongst your wire. The, you know, the opportunities of this with this cup chain are completely endless. We launched one single 50 centimetre length at 29.95 and you're getting four today. Neil and Linda, well done. Beverly, Essex, congratulations, multi-buying. Um, Elizabeth, Anne. Angela, how many have I got left? Five. So Elizabeth, you can do this. Angela, Susan and Tracy, if you check out your baskets. I don't know about the phone lines as of yet, um, but it is going to be a sellout for sure because we know that, that people who, who saw the launch of Swarovski here at Jewelry Maker and saw the launch of the cup chain will know that that's an unbelievable price tag, right? Um, we're over allocated. Well done. Oh, that's lovely. I want some of those. I want those. It's at this point I can hear my mother say, I want, don't get Al. No, okay. I say the same to my, my daughter now, isn't it funny? Yeah, you literally say exactly the same. Willow, is that how we ask for things? Sorry. Um, please, may I? Look at this. I've not seen this one before, have you? Gosh, that's pretty. It's very elegant. I know when, we, when Linda joins us, um, she's Skyping him. When she does join us, I know that Linda would put this with something like, um, I don't know, like a, with, with, with la loads of pearls. Is there a necklace down there that incorporates pearls um, and Swarovski cup chains? I know she's made a piece before in the past. I like, absolutely love, 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 love. Um, yeah, and it's just literally rows, layers. What? Um, of, of, of Swarovski cup chain and pearls as well, and a really beautiful, quite a, a relaxed, I suppose, um, sort of arrangement around the decolletage. Eight ninety five only. Again, you're getting a metre here. A metre of Swarovski cup chain. How much would that be if you were to go into the Swarovski shop? I don't know. Haven't been in any of the Swarovski shops for a very long time. Feels like ages, actually. 
Um, uh, but I shouldn't imagine it's going to be anywhere near a £10 price tag. How many did I have of these? 20, but they've almost sold out. Five left. Six left, sorry. Surrey, Tracy, Neil and Linda, Lynn, Cumbria, Cheryl, hello to you, Beverly, getting three, Eva, Mandy, Angela, Lanarkshire. Um, yeah, it's going to be an on-screen sellout for sure. If you've never worked with Cup Chain, I strongly recommend it. If I actually turn it round and show you, can you see? Each of those little cups, you know, where the Swarovski actually is, can, will actually slide off the back. So if you wanted to attach a class, can you see how they run along a channel? A little bit like, I don't know, like a train would. See, imagine the train track. Um, what the Swarovski is actually attached to is the track itself. So you can actually just slide them off. Um, and that's where you attach your clasp. You know, really, really, really simple to do. Super simple to do. Um, okay, well done, sold out. 15. 16. A heart bundle. Gosh, I'm so surrounded today. I've got no space. How many? There's only 16 of this one. Okay. And they're all Swarovski hearts. So all of these packages, are you going to be doing that? You're going to be keeping the, the logo so you can actually put them in your, in your gifts. So everybody knows. Now these are, um, you've got some of your foil backs, you've got some of your sew-ons. These are sew-ons. Can you see they actually have the two little holes either side of the, of the heart? So you can sew them or glue them, it's up to you, um, onto the fabric. These are hot fix, so you've got a mixture. So you can actually either glue it with your normal glue or use the hot fix gun. So on, so on. These are foil backs. Uh, they're hot fix and these ones are drilled so you can actually bead with those as well so it's a real mixture there's only 13 of them though all heart shaped mi uh, in a mixture of sizes from 6.6 .6 up to 12 millimeters in their size they're so, so pretty so pretty uh, it's a brand that i'm i was really 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 excited when we launched Swarovski here at jewelry maker because the potential of what you could do with their products is endless i mean um hot fix was invented in the year 2000 um, that's when Swarovski actually brought that to air. Uh, but Swarovski, um, as, as a brand, has been going for literally over 100 years. Over 100 years and used in, in terms of jewellery and, of course, clothing too. I did actually say, um, was it to Wayne? Was it to you, Wayne? I said, actually, Sewing Street should have Hot Fix too. Because it's the kind of thing that you can imagine. That's our sister channel, by the way. Um, that you can imagine... Um, being used on, I, I, I did this this morning, literally said, can I have a piece, went into our VIX and said, can I have a bit of fabric and hot fixed it onto there. So this is hot fixed and you're getting some of those in your bundle. So literally hot fixed onto a piece of fabric. It should, it's great. It did take me about two minutes. <laughs> it didn't take me long at all. So it's great to use in things like your textiles as well. Over allocated. I'm going to have to move my book. Hang on. Let's put that there got so much that's why oh these are right these are gorgeous Ceraloon perfect the smaller ones you tend to use the most of actually in your Ceraloon but also they're really lovely in things like silver clay um, and you can glue them onto onto I don't know I'm picturing a, um, a bridal veil you can glue them onto those you can secure them into lots of things. I know florists use a lot of Swarovski, um, these kind of uh, components. £27.85, you have 200 in each pack. So that's 600 of this beautiful aquamarine colour. You can see the foil background, so that's obviously the area that you would secure. How about what, sorry? For 600, 600 for six pounds and 55 pence. Genuine Swarovski. But again, it always reminds me of designers like Shopard, because I love Shopard as a brand. Um, I think it's probably a fair assumption to say that I'll probably never own a piece of Shopard because they're tens of thousands of pieces, uh, pounds rather per piece. But you know, they have a collection called Happy Diamonds where they literally have, I don't know, watches and things like that, and they have the gemstones actually kind of tessellating. 
over the over the sort of the watch face really 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 pretty inspiration so at 600 you're getting in this bundle we did say last in stock so there will be limited jewelry makers and um, grab them whilst you can it's the best opportunity for you to secure the, the most amazing deals today on your Swarovski we are not we're not stopping Swarovski I can say that for sure we're not stopping Swarovski um, but we're actually maybe ordering new colors and new lines and things like that so um, and of course when we do big shows like this they're so popular they sell out and it's pointless us, us having like 13 in one area of the vault so we bring you deals like this amazing let's go sorry Oh, uh, how many of you have got of these I think this like, might well be the fastest selling this might be the fastest dial now the fastest selling bundle I think this is going to be these are your briolette drops are the pendants they're ready-made pendants and they look beautiful with gemstones too so can you see they're all drilled at the top so just one of those on a chain you've got a mixture of your is it is it um, they're called I'll give you this. so golden shadow are the big ones that are just here then you have your graphite which I think are the ones in the center and your silver knight as well very 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 popular the briolettes and we don't see them that frequently so 21 of these I think this is going to be one of the fastest selling bundles because they're so versatile 19 pounds and 95 pence so you're getting a pack of three in each so three six nine twelve fifteen fifteen of your briolette pendants in total for 19 pounds and 95 pence so 360 degrees. Um, these look absolutely amazing. And it, again, I'm going to say in amongst pearls. They look beautiful in amongst pearls. You can almost picture them in some kind of very decadent chandelier as well, can't you? And certainly, so just swinging off a pair of opera length earrings. Down to the final 12, Rosemary, Christine, Helen, Essex, lots of multi buyers on this one. Beverly, congratulations. Hello to you. Uh, Sapna, hello to you. Sorry, hello to you, County Atrium. People on the phone lines. Um, if you are there, fabulous. Stay where you are. We will be bringing you more goodies. Bear in mind, these are all limited and we're straight down into single figures. So it's got, they are going to be on screen sellouts without doubt. Pauline, Tracy, Mary, congratulations to you as well. I can't remember the last time I actually saw these Briolette ones. I mean, obviously I know they exist and I know we have had them, but they're not very frequently on air, are they? Very limited. And I know, again, because we have a queen jewellery maker, lovely Linda tuning in at nine o'clock i know that these will be one of her favorites i wish I, I wish i knew where that necklace was which i could show you because it actually has one of these golden shadow briolettes that just literally just suspends down in amongst all of the lovely clusters of pearls and sarossi cup chain one left uh okay let's do these are crying out for your seraloon which i do hope we'll have again on show soon so these are your, I think they call them Nevettes. Have I got the right one? 17? Ah, these are coming up. Sorry. I don't know where I got that from, Wayne. Sorry. Your Briolettes. So we also call them, here at Jewelry Maker, it would be a faceted rondelle. But they call them Briolettes um, in the world of Swarovski. Trying to hold them is the tricky thing. Got it? Yes, seven packs in total. Look at all of those. A mixture of your sizes as well. So you've got in this um, 12 packs and six packs. The six packs are eight millimeters. The 12 packs are either six mil or four mil. Um, they're beautiful though. It's my favorite cut. I'm gonna say it, there we go. I love Briolette cups, Roski, because they just look really pretty and stretchy. <laughs> um, you know, they are like our faceted rondelles effectively. If I, just, if I just place these down for one second, I'll hold, I don't know, let's pick these ones up. You can see they are like our faceted rondelles. They're gorgeous in amongst your, um, you know, stretchy bracelets, necklaces. They fit on wire as well, I should say, because they've got really nice, sizable drill holes um, within them. They're really just, just gorgeous. So anybody thinking about doing your bridal commissions, you need to be making the most of this uh, of this show um, because Swarovski is huge in the bridal sector, isn't it? Absolutely massive. And you can pay hundreds of pounds for some of their designs. Um, loads of you with any baskets. I had how many? Did you say? Nineteen. 
And now none. Okay, well done. Is it time for the alarm clock deal? Okay, so these are really pretty and they're, they're super versatile. So they're definitely one of those things that I would say add to your basket because you can actually influence them to many of the mediums that we bring you here at Jewelry Maker. So coming up next, your alarm clock deal, a beautiful introduction that Swarovski brought to us in the year 2000, and that is of your Swarovski pearl. I said this wrong earlier, Hotfix was invented in 1974. It was the pearls that were invented in the year 2000. Now, there's so many plus points that I can actually say about, and I'm going to hold a few of these up, you know, whilst I'm talking to you. Um, there's so many reasons why Swarovski wanted to enter into sort of the pearl sector. These obviously are not a cultured pearl, they're not formed within mollusks, because many people are um, vegans, will actually favour these because they're actually man-made um, and it is crystal as opposed to actually being from a living organism. They are fantastically durable. Um, you'd be really, really, really hard pushed to actually break one of these at all, whereas obviously your normal pills would be much more delicate and much more uh, fragile. Um, so what they do is they take the, uh, the powder of a crystal and they kind of grind it down almost like we would do with a shell pearl and they reconstitute it into the perfect spherical pearl like shape obviously using um, there's more advanced technologies than that but Swarovski keep all of their secrets hidden um, so obviously they can't be copied um, but yeah they are really really beautiful so every single one of these pearls they are complete pearls they're not drilled um, in any way shape you can embed them into your clays you can embed them into your polymer you can embed them into your ceruline you can embed them into your silver clay. You can use them in pendants, um, like I said earlier on, so in, in something like your locket, a locket or something like that looks really pretty. And of course, um, there's nothing stopping you using just good old glue. There's nothing wrong with that because most, actually most jewellers use their uh, jewellery making glue more frequently than probably our jewellery maker clientele actually do. Now you are getting a bundle, each of these packs either, either contains a hundred and some contain um, 48. There's 640 in total of all uh, of all of these different color, uh, shapes and sizes. So yeah, obviously store them, store them well because they're little tiny little delicate pearls. All of these, over 600 of your Swarovski shell pearl, um, I shouldn't say shell, sorry, Swarovski pearl, they are fantastic and it was, it was 2000 so they're really new um, to, sort of not, I don't want to say just jewellery because this is massive in every kind of aspect of craft really, you know, think card making, think textiles most definitely, can you imagine these actually secured onto a bridal veil or maybe, I don't know, um, you could get some glue, uh, the spray glue glue can't you you can get spray glue that you can maybe put on silk flowers and then dust these over the top there's so much that you can actually do with these so anybody that's creative will come up with um, come up with some inspiration likewise with your hot fix you'll be looking around your home finding things that you can actually secure them to 14 pounds and 95 pence um, for 600 of your shell of your Swarovski pearl, sorry, stop saying the word shell L, because it's not shell. These are Swarovski crystals itself. I'm going to leave those with you because already they're, they're proven to be popular. Let me show you this. I've got a mega bundle on your Aurora Borealis. Did you know it was Dior that collaborated with uh, Swarovski and came up with the AB? Um, lots of the big brands, Chanel. And Dior, most, I think most influentially, actually collaborated with Swarovski and came up with this still the most popular coating. We call it AB, stands for Aurora Borealis. It gives you that beautiful kaleidoscope of colour. You have a huge, the biggest bundle I've ever seen of AB at Swarovski. That's coming up at what time? Five minutes, so not too long to wait for that one. In the meantime, more clearance. More clearance in... In your pairs. Oh, I'm going to have to show you these one by one. There's no way I can hold all these. Ready? That's lovely, isn't it? 
and I like that green. Look at all of these. So think, think our lovely Claire McDonald and her cocktail rings. So anybody that's a wire worker, oh, this is a dream come true for you. Look at all of these that you're getting. Love that one. You've got your smaller pairs. Oh, Adam, you know the slides that I sent to uh, I sent to Emma. Can I just show um, our lovely Rihanna? Uh, hi, Rihanna. This looks remarkably like your rubelite that you're wearing there, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does. All of these, thirty-four ninety-five. This is this, yeah, for the one on its own. I agree. I I totally agree. I think you can imagine. Imagine that in some silver wire or gold, whichever, whatever, um, you know, prong set. Oh, my goodness me, how beautiful. But you have got a huge, a mega bundle is the answer. A mega bundle of your Swarovski pears. Um, I think one of these packs, yeah, that one there, they're actually, they actually have a drill hole. The rest of them don't. So they've got the drill hole. The rest of them are just waiting to be set. Either into Sarah Lune, if you're not a wire worker, don't worry, that doesn't exclude you. You can use these on things like beading foundation, backing foundation, your shibori silk. You can secure them into, oh gosh, so many different things. The wonderful thing about Swarovski is it, it, it loves glue. So it's fine to actually use glue with the Swarovski brand, as well, of, co of course, as your talented wire work. How many did I have of this massive pair bundle? I had 50. Okay, half the stock has gone already. There is a queue, though. There is a queue. And, and just a little teaser there, that Rubelite, by the way. We have Rubelite coming up in today's show. That is beautiful. I shall be buying it today, uh, for sure. Hello, Maria. Hello to UK. Carol, Angela, Essex, Dawn, Tracy, Helen. Hello to you, Alison. Do you want me to show you again? So you've got that really beautiful opalescent blue. And then you've got the large. I'll do it, try and do it in size. And you've got the large Rubelite colour. Oh, yes. Then you've got, let me put those two down there. Yeah? You stay there. And then I've got these. That one's a big one too, isn't it? It's really hard to hold all these because you're getting so many. So many of them. I'm going to have to use two hands. There's all those size. That size or bigger. Because <laughs> that one here... That crystal clear is that those two are definitely bigger, aren't they? And then you've got the more delicate ones in your pairs. And you also have your drops, which have got a drill hole. $34.95 for this huge stash. These bundles, when you said you were doing bundles, Wayne, I tell you what, you must be popular with the warehouse right now. He's shaking his head as if saying, no, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I was being facetious. Right now, they're probably thinking, how many bags of Swarovski in one bundle? But they are all going to be a sellout anyway. Well done. Best prices on, on Swarovski I've ever seen. Uh, sorry? Navettes. Navettes. I gave you a little, uh, little teaser of these earlier on. Navettes. Or our Briolette. Not Briolette, sorry. Marquise. They're so elegant. Your Navettes are super, super elegant. Again, use just a little bit of your uh, E6000 that works with them. Super glue works fine. Oh, I shouldn't say brand, should I? Strong glue. Can I? Um, yeah, any of your strong glues, really, I'm sh which I know there are many. Um, or use it in things like your, your clays and uh, your Ceralume, most certainly. Ten pounds! Sorry, I shouted then, didn't I? Sorry, £10 for five packs of your Navettes. These make the most amazing flowers. So if you, were, uh, if you are embedding it into something like your silver clay um, or in your Ceralune, um, you can make the most beautiful flowers out of these. 
you know, almost like an oriental flower. £10 only. Again, I've got a limited quantity of these. The colours that you're looking at, you've got peridot, you've got a really lovely light amethyst, light siam. Um, what am I missing there? You've got a gorgeous, oh, it's like a deep peridot green, isn't it? Mixture of your colours, jewellery makers. These are absolute giveaway Swarovski deals. Grab them whilst you can. And I think, you know, Swarovski is something that... Oh, we, do, we do Swarovski shows quite a lot, don't we? Um, quite a lot. Emma's like, yes, you do. Yes, you do. I take those photos quite a lot. Um, <laughs> um, but it's because we're massive fans of them. And I tell you, whenever you see a Swarovski show, that's the best time to get the prices. It really is. Can I also point out that we are 15 minutes away from the babushka dolls? So can you imagine, if you just have a little look at our lovely Linda's babushka dolls, can you imagine one of the little Navettes glued in, glued in a pom-pom? Baby babushka. Ah, oh, that's a whole lot of bees, isn't it? Baby babushka. <laughs> you could glue them onto, um, in amongst the pom-poms, in amongst all the seed beading. They're super, super versatile. Well done. Is it time? Okay. The number one most popular uh, colour, for want of a better description, of that Swarovski, uh, Swarovski have ever developed is the AB. It was something that was masterminded in a collaboration between uh, Dior, so one of the biggest fashion brands in the entire world, and of course themselves. It's still, so if you think about it, for that length of time, it still is their number one seller. And Wayne has put together a huge bundle up next. Swarovski is celebrating uh, over 120 years um, at the forefront of fashion and if you actually look at the history of their brand, um, it, it, it's a fascinating company actually to read into. It was invented by Daniel Swarovski um, who was, was, was actually... Um, born uh, in Bohemia, um, which is obviously a part of the Czech Republic now, that is renowned for crystal cutting. Um, I understand, have, I've never been there, I'd love to go to the Swarovski uh, sort of factory itself, but I do understand that if you are an employee of Swarovski, you won't know what your next employee actually does. You'll have a roundabout idea, but you won't know exactly what they do. And the reason why it's so secretive, I suppose, is because they don't want their uh, secrets, their techniques, to be leaked out to competitors around the world. Um, this is your Aurora Borealis. The company was founded in 1883, as I said, by Daniel Swarovski, uh, and it has a hugely rich history of craftsmanship. Uh, during the 1920s, um, if you think about sort of the flap of fashion, it caused a massive surge and demand for Swarovski's designs. After World War II, the company uh, founded Swarovski Optics, so it's not just fashion. They actually have a huge influence in many different things actually around the world. They're a, num they're a leader in, in, in optics. Now, they specialise in things like your... Um, uh, telescopes and, um, and binoculars and things like that, so lenses, so they're specialists in that too. And it was around that same time, at the, uh, you know, at the end of World War II, um, that big designers such as Coco Chanel and Christian Dior actually started incorporating Swarovski's beauty into their clothing. As I said, it was Dior who subsequently went on to develop the, higher, uh, the highly popular AB, which is what you're looking at here, or Aurora Borealis. If you're looking at Swarovski, and if you think about through history, um, particularly if you're somebody that you know likes films or, or celebrities, there are many, many, many big celebrity names that have actually chosen Swarovski as a, as a brand to adorn themselves with. Marilyn Monroe famously wore um, Swarovski in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. She also wore it. She was sewn into a dress to sing Happy Birthday to John F. Kennedy. Um, if you think about films like The Wizard of Oz, the ruby red slippers were Swarovski, and many, many 
many more. But out of all of the colours that they have developed over the years, um, over 120 years, this is their most popular. We have 24. Uh, I thought, or really, look at the different shapes, look at the different colours, not colours, sorry, cuts that you've got, sew-ons, you've got your faceted rounds, you've got your sew-on pairs, you've got your large statement ABs, you've got your foil backs, you've got your beautiful, um, I want to almost describe them as a, as a rice bead, 21 of these remain within the vault, this is their number one selling, I, want, I keep wanting to say the word colour, design, effect, whichever it might be, um, that they have, have ever actually achieved and I can't ever imagine them not doing Aurora Borealis. The reason why it's so fabulous, I mean whatever lighting condition, whether it be daylight, whether it be candlelight, whether it be in, you know, incandescent lighting, I don't know, whichever, fluorescent, you will constant see, constantly see, um, you know, almost a, um, a blaze of colours, a huge mirage of mass, uh, amazing colours. Stay where you are, that's going to be a sellout, jewellery makers. Congratulations to you. We'll leave the graphics running. Up next, though, it's time to show off your creations. It's the Wall of Fame. I love this bit. Look at all of your, I don't know why I had to sing it, but look at all of your beautiful creations. Look at this, 253 is a beautiful rose coming from Sue. Please find attached my entry to the Wall of Fame this week. Uh, wire and red beads from jewellery maker, green beads uh, might be, they're from my stash, not sure where they're from. Anyway, thanks everyone for being there every day throughout lockdown. I feel you've saved my sanity, but not my bank account. <laughs> it's uh, fair enough. Um, this is my first attempt at French beading. Wow! I have to say, Sue, if that's your first attempt, that's absolutely incredible. And sanity is much more important than finance, isn't it? Much, much, much more important. Well done, that's beautiful. Um, wow, Shibori and Sea Beading, 254. Uh, first of all, a big thank you to everybody at JM for keeping us all sane. Here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. A seed bead and Shibori cuff with a resin and small flower centrepiece that I made. I used the backing foundation and backed it with faux suede from Sandy Gray. Sandy beautiful can I just say you've got a really pretty name as well Sandy Gray um, wow rosary linking this is pretty 255 it's from Claire Williams hi Claire hello Jim family and fellow waffers uh, my entry for this week is a rosary link necklace and bracelet set using mukite nuggets and gold plated copper wire all components are jewelry maker thank you to JM for keeping us all sane during these unusual months and thank you all for the inspiration entertainment and fabulous deal deals sending virtual hugs to you all as well as fellow waffers ah uh, Claire that's beautiful and love to you as well more amazing shibori and I also spot some Swarovski. Uh, 256 is from Isabel. Uh, good morning all. I finally decided to have a go at making uh, my own Shibori ribbon and here is the result. It took a long time to create using satin and inks um, wound round a drain pipe. Wow, you made your own silk. Um, while it doesn't have the uniformity of my purchased pieces of ribbon, I do love the results and the technique. The cabochon, sea beads and pearls are all from Jewelry Maker of course. Thank you for the inspiration you give us every day. Day. That's amazing. Well done you. Well done. Always trying out new things. 257. This is stunning. It's from Kerry. Hello to all at JM. Here is this week's entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a 925 sterling silver sapphire necklace made for a commission. I used your beading thread to thread the sapphires on and put a few 925 beads to break it up. I added 925 chain and a bolt ring clasp, all purchased from yourselves. Could do with a win, but showing my pieces is worth as much. Good luck to everybody who enters and keep, uh, keep bringing us the beautiful gemstones. Kerry, what a lovely message and a beautiful necklace. Well done. Thank you. Um, wow, 258, some incredible wire work. And this is from Michelle Rathbone. Hi all at Jewelry Maker, here is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's an eye brooch using 0.6 and 0.25 silver plated wire based on um, 
on, on the back of a demo from Laura Binding. Good luck to all and glad to see Eleanor back. Oh, thank you, lovely. That's the, oh, that's me. Thank, it's lovely to be back with you, darling. I'm really pleased. I'm a happy bunny. 259. Love this, Jill. Here is a photograph of a paracord bracelet in a fishtail weave that I used uh, using, sorry, black paracord from Jewelry Maker and a black clasp from my stash. Good luck to everybody entering the Wall of Fame th uh, this week. Jill, that's amazing. Love that. They're hugely popular at the moment. If you watch that Aunt Middleton show, they're all wearing them, aren't they? Look at this. 260. Laurel, look at these pearls. Wow, I made this pearl and tanzanite bracelet for my sister um, as we lost our father in March after being unwell for a while. I'm so sorry. Apart from the crystal ball, um, all findings and gem are from Jewelry Maker. Uh, much love. Laurel, that's beautiful. And sending you, sending you lots of love and best wishes. Okay, uh, beautiful. Love this design. It's so I think we always call it, it's, it's one of those uh, wearable pieces. From Joyce in Herefordshire, uh, enclosed is my entry for this week. A necklace made with some beautiful agate uh, I had from you lately. In the centre is a large red striped agate coin with smaller striped red agates. Silver plated fancy uh, spacer beads um, at each end. Your programme is so enjoyable and oh so tempting. Stay safe from Joyce in Herefordshire. Joyce, that's beautiful. Um, and last but by no means least, look at this. This is amazing. 262 is from Donna in Bristol. I hope you're all well and safe. My Wall of Fame entry this week is a resin bracelet with gilding flakes. I've not really worked a lot on resin, but I bought the starter kit from JM about a year ago, along with the gilding flakes and some moulds. And since we've been in lockdown, thought it was an ideal opportunity to give it a proper go. I have to say I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit hooked now. This piece I'm keeping for myself as it's my first make, and I have loads of interest and will be making more. Take care and keep safe. That's Donna in Bristol. These are incredible. Well done. And good luck to everyone. Everybody. Of course, the draw happens tomorrow with the lovely Carol. Uh, so make sure you tune in for that. I'll keep everything crossed for you. We've got so much more to bring you jewellery makers. More Swarovski deals. Lara Mar at 12 o'clock. And the Babushka dolls after this. Tune into Jewellery Maker every morning at 8am for our breakfast club. We'll be bringing you low, low prices, last chance to buy, and end of line stock. Make sure you're watching because once the deals are gone, they're gone. Check out your Wall of Fame entries in this hour and be in with a chance to win £100 credit to your account. The Breakfast Club on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver, or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewellery Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewellery Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewellery Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry maker, create, wear, share. I hope you'll be able to join us this week as we explore another single source location gem. A sunstone with unparalleled levels of clarity, yet at its atomic level, copper infusions that gift this most remarkable natural gem the, some of the brightest colors the gem world has seen. It's attracted the likes of the GIA and six years ago, 
it attracted us on a pilgrimage to the far reaches of outback Oregon. This week, we're gonna be ending that six year journey by finally bringing home and launching Oregon Schiller Sunstone. Hope you'll be able to join this Thursday between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call center. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. At Jewelry Maker, we're always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to put it into your basket online or speak to one of our brilliant customer service team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. Lovely to be with you. Can you believe? I told you it was going to be a mega show. I did tell you. The first hour, awesome. We've got more beautiful Swarovski deals coming up throughout the course of the show. But back in stock by probably the most popular demand um, are the babushkas. Now, when Linda launched these, and I had the huge privilege of launching them with her, instantaneously it was a... Oh my goodness, these are absolutely incredible. So what you get, and she really did pitch these, by the way. She went to our buying team. Um, Linda will be joining us, in fact. Is she, is she with us now? Is she with us now, the queen of jewellery maker? Yes! Morning. Morning, beautiful. How are you? Yeah, very good, Elle. Thanks. How are you? All the better for seeing you. Linda, I was just... <laughs> I was, I was literally just saying that you really pitched for these from the from from the beginning. Yes, yeah, because I just think they're such. Um, well, they're an icon, obviously. They're uh, well in uh, with the Russian folklore, but they're just such an enjoyable thing to do because they're all unique, every single one. Um, and you can just decorate them in any way you're inspired. You can make ones that are really hilariously. Uh, sort of uh, with sunglasses and biker outfits and all sorts of things. So you really <laughs> can stretch your creativity. I, lo I love that idea, literally kind of <laughs> turning your babushkas into rockers and things like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, the, 
these have been a, a long time, well, when we first launched them, they were quite a long time coming, weren't they? Yes, they were a long time coming. I personally tried to get the little glass faces um, myself and um, I couldn't find anywhere to purchase them from outside of Russia itself. Mm -hmm. um, and they were taking weeks um, if I could get them at all. But also they needed to be paid in Russian money, which was a bit of a problem. Yeah. Um, so they alone have been uh, quite difficult to source for Jewelry Maker. Um, but this time it's a bit special, as you know, because we've got the faux fur pom poms. I, I was going to say, we've, you've teamed them together, haven't you? Which they weren't yeah. last time. They weren't together. They were separate in different kits. Um, but they work perfectly i mean i think i think we've all chosen a favorite here linda we're absolutely loving the mummy and the baby one <laughs> yes. i think because yes. it makes the most beautiful almost little little moses basket doesn't it yeah well the thing about um babushka um, you know, the Russian nesting dolls and that. Well, Matryoshka um, is from the Latin stem of, of mater, for mother. And um, Matryoshka stroke babushka is a strong female figure right. in Russia, which is a sort of centre of the family. So I think particularly where we are at the moment with, um, with the virus and things like that, um, it's quite a good theme. And yeah. perhaps quite a nice thing to work on because it is so family orientated. Yeah, I mean, I, I can remember um, my brother went to went went to Russia on a school trip um, many many years ago, and I had been desperate for those Russian dolls, the dolls yeah. that literally the family of dolls, and he actually brought some back. Yeah, they are a truly iconic uh, image, aren't they? From absolutely, yeah, completely and utterly. Um, in Russian folklore and have been for years. The first sort of nesting dolls, I think, were created in the late 1800s. Wow, wow. Um, so and now the icon has just, you know, um, just stayed with us. Wow. Well, we're loving these, Linda. They're absolutely incredible. Um, and we have three kits in the 9 o'clock hour, and then we have further kits then in the 12 o'clock hour, I understand. Yes, that's right. Three in the twelve also. These come with the pom-poms, which... Let's just talk about pom-poms just briefly before I bring the first kit to air, because pom-poms are massive again, aren't they? Yeah, they're absolutely huge. Um, everywhere. I mean, pom-pom earrings, um, pom-poms on, you know, designer bags and things like that. They are simply everywhere. Yeah, say. I was going to... Are huge. I was going to say, I'm thinking of there's a there's there's a there's a Fendi do a pom 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 bag. I'm sure that's probably not the only brand, to be truthful. So you're looking jewelry maker at your first kit now. Just to give you a heads up, we have approximately a hundred. Uh, 99 of this one um, of each of those kits so they w that's not enough to go around um, the demo will be uh, we're going to be you're, you've got a wonderful demo as well what we're going to do is we're going to count you in on this one to make it fair so 60 seconds and that's when the graphics that's your call to action in fact I'd be using this as my call to action to be truthful now we've included hot fix in these as well Linda because hot fix works yes. fabulously Alongside Absolutely the kit. I mean, um, hot fix is obviously very easy. I think we may have the hot fix tool on the show today. We have. Uh, oh, great! That's absolutely great. That's a very easy tool to use, and um, it is. It you know these Swarovski hot fix are so sparkly. Yeah. Um, so um, useful for doing things like this sort of um, basically 2D images. You can just fix those hot fix, creating texture, sparkle, luxury, um, whatever really. And that's the joy of these dolls is that you can dress them either very, very, very sort of peasant-like or very, very, very like going to the Russian opera. 
I love that. I love. I mean, it's taken us back, I think, to sort of our, the days of our childhood when we used to sort of sit and dress your dollies. You know, we'd. Yeah. yeah I, I, I love that idea. So the hot fix gun we have coming up, jewelry makers. That is coming in the show as well. Um, and it is. It's not a huge. It's not a massive investment as well. And it's a tool that you'll have forever. Right now is the time for you to be getting Anastasia. Um, Anastasia. She's the blonde just here. She's the blonde. We've got a blonde, a redhead, and we've got brunettes. I'll hold her up. Um, um, so you get three of your Anastasias. Um, I'm going to pop the hot fix down. You get how many of your pom poms? Two, four, six, eight, ten of your little black pom pom poms, and also your seed beads. Now the seed bead sizes. Let me just get this right. Um, you have the black in a 6-0 and then you have your silver line gold AB in your 11-0 as well. So they're the AB straight away. 30 of these have gone, and I'm looking. Um, Anastasia is at the bottom. I love that these dolls have got their own names. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, my favourite name is Anushka the Babushka. Anushka the Babushka. Oh, it's a good yeah. job Willow's not here. Otherwise, I fear that you'd be losing some Babushka dolls. Because um, <laughs> yeah. I bet little the girls. Thing is, is they, they are so attractive. And the pom poms are the same pom poms that we've had once before. I launched them some time ago. Um, the faux fur L. I mean, if you if you um, touch that faux fur, you can confirm <gasps> just how luxurious that faux fur is. It's amazing quality, and they also have this little little loop, don't they? I don't know if you can see. It's kind of hidden in yes. in the fluff. That's um, right. But look, you've got this little loop that you uh, you can actually attach to. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly. I mean, that little loop buries is, is really well buried within the fur. Um, you can, if you want to, cut that loop out if you don't want it to be there. But certainly for the likes of sort of jewellery, um, then it can be really useful, particularly for sort of things like um, earrings and that. And trust me, um, I have seen these beaded babushka dolls. I've done a lot of research over the recent weeks, and I've, I've seen them being retailed upwards of about £75 upwards. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. I mean, okay, it's all hand beaded, so that, you know, they, they are worth that, that value. Absolutely. But, um, it just shows if you if you work on them, and also you're gonna, if you're going to be selling it either on an online shop or hopefully when our fairs and that come back, that you will be a little bit sort of unique. And they're just so attractive. They will... At the very least, bring customers to A hundred percent. If I walked, if you were on a stall and there were babushka pieces like this, I would one hundred percent be buying one. Twenty three ninety five for this kit, and that's a minimum. You've got three babushkas. Plus, you can go on to make more because, you know, not to be outdone, let's have a little look at this beautiful pom-pom necklace, which is just next to me. Um, that's using the, you know, the black and gold sea beads from your kit and literally four of your pom-poms. Look how lovely that is. Beautiful. Yeah, the um, the pom pom necklaces are really in vogue. I mean, I must also mention the fact that I did track down online a Chanel babushka necklace. Did you? Yeah, and that has recently. I think there were there were a few made, and the most recent one sold for just under three thousand dollars. Wow. And L, it's made of silver coloured chain. You've got your little one little babushka on it. Obviously, you you're across seas and that um, faux pearl. It literally says faux pearl, um, silver coloured chain. Uh, the little babushka, um, and just under three thousand dollars. That's just and I know it's Chanel. So, yeah, you know I, we can make I, that comparison. I can but, see one um, which is nowhere near even elaborate as that as well, which heaven knows what that actually cost is. So we are talking big brands that actually do yeah. uh, the babushka um, inspiration as well, jewellery makers. So these are flying. Um, they did last time as well, Linda, didn't they? They actually absolutely uh, flew out the door. This is the black, um, the, the black colour. We've got a natural colour um, and we also have the white too. Uh, we're going to bring you the white next. Now, there's a there's a big demo. You've done a lovely demo for us, haven't you, as well, Linda? Yes, so. I've just done the one demo today covering, and I, I sort of made it that little bit longer because yeah. 
I, th I thought I'd sort of start at, at the very beginning, just really concentrating on um, the face of the babushka. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the, I, I go through how you dress it and uh, give you hints and tips. But um, the thing is also, I might let the cat out of the bag now, but as you see in that little, baba that little baby one, baby, baby babushka, that's a mouthful, as you say, um, and so we've got mummy babushka and we've got baby babushka. Oh, so you can bubbles. make, you know, you can make the tiny babushkas oh. completely. Um, like there's one there, isn't there? The black, actually it is a black one from, um, I think I put the little, the little face with the black pom-pom. Yeah, we've got them here. Got the little one coming up. Yeah, we've got, uh, so we've got um, the smaller sizes too that go, yes. um, that are coming up a little bit later on. So get this kit and then you have the smaller little babushka faces coming up in the 12 o'clock hour. Um, and you've also made earrings with those, so they look really yes. pretty. Now this is Marina. Marina is, let's have a look, what colour is Marina's hair? She's a brunette. She's a brunette. And they're very beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Look um, at those. So she's like a cabochon, isn't she, almost? Yes, but what, what she actually is, is she's the image. Yeah. The image has been printed um, and then put onto backing. And then that is a glass dome over the top. Okay. Um, so if you do that in profile, you can see that beautiful dome. And um, they are really, really, really well made. They're gorgeous. And even on the side profile, you can see the actual face, can't you? Yes, um, exactly. Wow. They're all very, very beautiful. And I think I get the impression that once you start with your babushkas, this is going to be something that you just don't want to stop making. I can imagine Absolutely. this being, you know, um, a huge, huge passion for our jewellery makers. Well, completely. I mean, we've all got these sort of, um, most of us anyway, have got this extra time on our hands at the moment. These are projects that you can start and put down and pick up again. Um, you don't have to finish it all in one go. It's very relaxing. Uh, it's fun. And let's face it, you know, can you imagine creating like a Russian Christmas tree? Oh. With various babushkas and pom-poms, you know, the fur pom-poms and all sorts. It would just, you know, we've got sort of nigh on six months of Christmas now. That would be something to work for. That's crazy when you hear that, six months till Christmas. Um, but... Yeah. Um, but I have to say, again, less than 100 of these are actually available. They sold out. This is, sell is going to be a sellout as well. Um, so you've got the white pom-poms. You've got a really lovely clear uh, um, Mayuki. Uh, so crystal clear Mayuki 6-0s. You've got that really beautiful zesty lime green. And then in your hot fix, um, which you've, you've used, I've noticed you've actually used a sort of, almost like, a, like tiaras for your babushkas. Yeah. Yes, I have, actually. I think that one there with the blue pom-poms upside down, now. Which one? <laughs> I can't see. I've this got one a little here. head's hanging down. Oh, down she once. is. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. But no, the, um, the white one that's um, that my babushka there or matryoshka there that's the white one is basically a, a Christmas tree decoration because basically it's, uh, if you look at it, yeah. it, has, it hasn't actually got a body. It's got a frill line coming down its neck and then the four um, pom-poms, faux fur pom-poms, and that is made really as a uh, tree decoration or some form of decoration. We were just saying she looks like a classy girl. She looks she does, like a really she? classy she's very, girl. Um, she's very wrapped up warm against the Siberian winter. And she looks like she means business. She does, doesn't she? Um, so, yeah, you, instead of actually turning this into a necklace, you can see it's literally got... You've just seed beaded a loop at the top. Um, so that's obviously to hang on your Christmas tree. What yeah. amazing, amazing gifts these would be. You know? Yeah, completely. Yeah, completely. Because of the sentiments as well that go with them. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's a strong sentiment. And as I say, at this, you know, where we are at the moment... Um, with the, with the, with the family sentiment and everything. It's just such a nice thing to sit and work on and then perhaps work on a few. And you know what would be nice when the, when the kids go back to school, hopefully, and they, and Christmas fairs, hopefully, you know, um, to come back again and things like that, that you'll have a bit of a stash. It would be lovely to donate <gasps> to Christmas fairs. 
Mm. I'm just picturing that now because when I, when I had my jewelry business um, and I used to do, I used to go to different events, but I always consciously used to do the school fairs because I loved them so much. Um, I'm just imagining these babushkas at a school fair. I mean, it's not only going to attract the mums and dads; it's going to attract the kids as well, isn't it? Exactly. And you know what kids are like. Yes, mummy. Um, Daddy, please can I have, please can I have. Exactly. So exactly. this is Tatiana. <laughs> I, lo I love these names. Did you name them or they are they actually? No, I didn't actually. No, no, I didn't. But I do, do remember mentioning to Georgia, I love the names you've given me. So. Yes. Beautiful. I, I love this colour as well. I think this colour is absolutely gorgeous of the pom-poms. Um, so this is uh, your gold. You get a mixture of your golds and your 6Os and 11Os of your seed beads. Again, 10 of the softest faux fur. And there is a big difference in quality of, of fur, isn't there? You know, obviously... Um, faux fur all the way and I think some of the biggest designer brands are only using faux now which is wonderful news um, but there's obviously different levels of quality of it you don't want to, 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 to with all that time you wouldn't want to actually invest um, creating your beautiful babushka pieces and then it become matted um, so it, it, it we've we, you've actually chosen a really high quality faux fur this faux fur is absolutely beautiful. It's so tactile. And the thing about it is it doesn't shed. It will not shed. No matter how much handling you're giving it while working with it, it doesn't shed. Um, and also, you can sew through his L because if you put your needle through that pom-pom, you hit like a bit of a restriction. Um, and that the needle will pass through that all the way through. So you've got a solid connection between your thread and the pom-pom. So whichever angle or however you want that to dangle, the angle of the dangle. Angle uh, of the dangle? <laughs> yeah, the angle of the dangle can be really constructed because it's so in incredibly well weighted, but, but it's weighted with something that you can put your needle through. Oh, I, l I love you, Linda. Um, we're giving these little babushka dolls their own little personalities. We can do, we're just yeah. imagining, uh, we're imagining the personalities that your bab babushka dolls would have. Again, twenty three ninety five, uh, just incredible. Are these are these on like a, 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 a not, they're not even on a beading foundation, are they? Some of them. Yes, yes, yes. The bigger doll, yes, they are. Oh, they're on a beading foundation. Um, which obviously um, you need something to sew on to. Yeah. So in the, uh, I think in the in the 12 o'clock kits, I think there is some beading foundation. Okay, so that's in, in the 12 o'clock hour for our viewers. But I notice, I forget her name, what's her name? Is this Marina? Marina's not on beading foundation, is she? No, she's not, no, no. no, no. Um, the, the, um, the face is... Because you basically, um, you glue the face to the beading foundation mm -hmm. and then you cut around the edge uh, if you're not, I mean obviously if you're doing a complete doll, then you put the face on, you draw your image, I'll go through all that on the, um, on the demo, and, um, but you glue the face on and then you cut around it if you're just using the face alone, leaving about two mil all the way around in order to give, do that sort of framing. I think they're absolutely incredible. Um, I, I, I love them. So the small little baby faces are coming up in the 12 o'clock hour. Get your larger babushkas now because there's three kits right now. In total, we've got less than 300 of your babushka kits. That is not enough. It's not enough at all. Um, okay, so I'm going to leave those final few. They're getting quite limited now, each of those lovely colours. It's hard to choose a colourway. So if you can, go and treat yourself because we don't get... I can't remember the last time and we actually had the babushka kits no they were i can remember working on them when i was on holiday in france last september so it would have been before christmas wow so you're talking at least six months yeah at least six months turnaround to actually get hold of them um yeah. okay we do have a dvd ah oh, oh. emma sorry darling oh some, I can see it. So you actually filmed a DVD on this as well then, Linda? Yes, I did. Um, when um, we launched the babushkas, um, I did do a DVD, yes. So basically that DVD is 
dressing that Christmas babushka. Obviously, you can use whatever design that you want, but it's st it, it, it starts and it finishes in one go. In other words, you know, from beginning all the way through to the final um, last stitch on dressing her as well. I mean, so you could just literally, as you said earlier on, I'll turn around this DVD round as well. You can literally let your creativity flow, can't you? It's, I mean, completely. Yeah, I mean, you know, you can, you can look online, you can look at loads of things actually, and look at fabric and just get yeah. some inspiration. Um, and the inspiration floods in. In fact, you know, I've got so much inspiration in my head that I just wish I could just work on babushkas the whole time. No, oh, well, I'd love, I'd love you to because I think they're amazing. So the DVD is approximately sixty minutes. It's literally uh, start to finish. Um, how to incorporate? If you can run a stitch, because uh, one thing that keeps popping into my head, Linda, is anybody can do this. You don't have to be a jewellery maker as such, do you? Absolutely not. Um, uh, you'll see on today's demo that. Um, I give you hints and tips on how to give yourself like a blueprint on your design. In other words, basically taking a pencil mm. um, and sort of giving yourself some outlines on, on the beading foundation um, in order to get a backdrop um, of however you're going to dress your doll. And then um, the sort of intricacies of, say, the hot fix and the stitch work and that. But as you've just said, if you can thread a needle, pop a seed bead onto a needle, do a stitch, one running stitch, that's all, that's all you need. There is no special sewing techniques whatsoever. I love it. Four pounds and ninety-five pence only for the DVD. I mean, you're talking less than thirty pounds for the kit. The only thing you might need to add to that is obviously a, a beading needle um, and thread. So your yeah. wildfire and beading needle and a bit of beading foundation, maybe. Yeah, exactly. And, I mean, let's face it, we're not talking about making one doll with these kits. No. You've got, you've got the three faces, so you've got, a, um, you know, a minimum of making three per kit. Wow. Um, and um, also, then, you've got your, you've still got seven pom-poms left. Yeah, yeah. Would, with that. I feel like we haven't shown these beautiful necklaces actually because because they are beautiful uh the little pom-poms on their own aren't they and and is, is that just a simple beaded necklace yeah it's just literally um wildfire as you say size 10 needle threading it up loading it with the seed beads pushing it through a pom-pom loading it over the seed beads etc etc i love that it's such it's such fun and i don't know how many times i've said this before but jewelry obviously is to wear jewelry it's it, it's an adornment it's a decoration of course and it can be something that you're looking for i don't know that is that's that's pretty or feminine but it also can show a personality can't it? And I think wearing these faux fur pom poms absolutely do. Yeah, as you said, there's a lot of big designers using faux fur now, and there's a lot of faux fur jewelry, a yeah. lot. Yeah, Mass um, and I'm thinking, you know, the winter months and that. Obviously, you know, you've got that Russian, the Russian winter. So obviously, that's where the fur came into my head. Thinking, yeah, let's mix the um, the pom poms with the babushkas, but. Um, if you imagine just wearing a, a plain um, winter, let's say, fine knit jumper mm. and then putting a pom-pom, long pom-pom necklace on, it's quite stylish, you know? Yeah, yeah, it really is. And, of course, these are ethical, so anybody that's got yeah. any concerns um, about whether they're um, animal fur, they're not. These are the, high, the finest quality faux fur. Um, it's getting a limited opportunity, both on your DVDs and also the kits now, jewellery makers, so um, make sure you check out. We're going to bring you some Swarovskis because it's, it's the perfect marriage, isn't it? Uh, Swarovski and Baboon. Yeah, well, let's let's just think Fabergé and Babushka. Yes. Let's go for a Fabergé Babushka. So yeah, okay. Do we need to do we need to look at that? Is that something a collaboration that they've used? Um, no, not as a, not as far as I know. But I'm just thinking if you bring those two images Stylistically. together. Stylistically. What I'm saying is Fabergé, you know, with um, the wonderful design of those Fabergé yeah. eggs. Fabergé jewellery, etc. If you look at a Fabergé egg, you can take real inspiration yeah. on how to decorate your babushka. Absolutely. Um, look at these. <gasps> 
Imagine your babushka with some of your wonderful Tiffany cup chain. So this has got actually an, an eight prong mount. It's probably the most decadent of all their cup chains. Um, inside you can actually see you have that deep smoky quartz Swarovski crystal. Um, these are 50 centimeters in their length each of these and you're getting two of them so a meter in total. Um, of course in the lovely deep brush gold. Um, so we have been bringing you Swarovski at clearance this morning um, no we're not we're not stopping Swarovski no absolutely not we uh, might be investing in more different varieties but when we launched the cup chain this one absolutely it was around and above actually the price that's on your screen so I think you're getting buy one and get one free and then some so this is massive massive savings Linda to use cup chain I was trying to sort of uh, suggest it in, during the eight o'clock hour it's actually a really easy component isn't it it's incredibly easy component to use. I can just imagine one of those babushkas um, and using the cup chain around the neckline. That would be a very luxurious um, piece of jewellery. But all of that cup chain, you they, it's got like a little bar running between each crystal. Yeah. And you can snip that. That little bar then will fall out. And then you can sew with your size 10 needle underneath that crystal, keeping that, um, uh, well, I've lost my word for it now, you know, um, where the stone is. The setting. The setting, let's say a simple word like that. Um, Adam yeah. helped you so out with you, that one. You, you keep that setting, which really embellishes that crystal, doesn't it, the yeah. setting. Um, and then you can say you can sew underneath it, so you can sew those onto, um, to textiles. It, it, it's such a great product. I mean, you look at it and you think, okay, do I just attach a clasp? You can do that, absolutely, but you can do so much beyond that yeah. too. Um, okay, yeah. let's bring you some more goodies, shall we? I'm absolutely surrounded here, Linda. I've got so much gorgeous stuff to bring our gorgeous viewers as well. Um, so if you love the decadence of the previous cup chain, then, but you're thinking, I'm not a gold wearer, this would be lovely with the black, I think, actually, the black babushkas. <clears throat> we have, uh, this is uh, the black diamond Swarovski crystal, and it's in a gunmetal casing. Um, so, yeah, like a really deep, almost like a titanium-like colour, isn't it? It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, I, mean, I was just mentioning the sort of Chanel look um, for the babushka jewellery in particular, um, or let's face it, if we want to give this biker image, I've seen some incredible ones, you know, with like these biker images, real sort of tough guy babushkas. Mm. Um, and this would so enhance that, wouldn't it? I love that idea. I love, love, yeah. love that idea, you know, actually take really running with it and having fun with the babushkas, you know, sort of, I love that idea. Yeah, have your, 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 your sort of, you could have your mods and your rockers and things like that, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah, fantastic. I love it. Yeah. Uh, Twenty two ninety five. This is a massive clearance deal for a meter of. I think one of their most beautiful products that Swarovski actually have uh, um, have actually developed. Um, yeah, versatile, but absolutely beautiful. I was referencing um, during the eight o'clock hour, Linda. I don't know if you heard me. You know that necklace that I love that you made which yeah. has just got layers of pearls um, yeah. and Swarovski. That's got cup chain in it too, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it certainly has. Yeah, um, uh, it's, it is, as you say, a, sorry, I'm just looking at it now, Dan, because you're a little bit behind on the other iPad. Um, it's just shrieks luxury. And let's not forget that that cup chain that we're showing on air now is exactly the same product that Swarovski themselves use in their jewellery. Absolutely. In their, their outlets. Yeah, it's, it, this, is, this is not... Um, you know, a take on Swarovski. It is Swarovski. It's exactly what you buy if you go into the shops, isn't it? Maybe a different design. These are components, but it is exactly that brand. Yeah, um, this, is the, this is the same component that goes into their, their jewellery. 
absolutely. Um, I mean, oh, this is so pretty. I'm a big fan of the cup chain, um, not only because of jewellery in terms of what you, how you use it in your jewellery, but because you can use this in sort of interior design, which is something I'm, I'm, I'm quite uh, passionate about. I love sort of making um, and upcycling and things like that. So this is great for all of those things. So within this bundle, this clearance bundle, I'm going to say with an emphasis, you have one of the most expensive, because I understand the opal is actually very expensive for Swarovski to create, and you have this really lovely, um, it's described as an emerald green, obviously. Both of these are 50 centimetres. I'm a fan of the delicate ones. I really like those little, and this is the smaller size. This is ridiculous. I can't even get my head around this. There's only 18 of these, 13 pounds, oh my goodness. and 95 pence. I know. Oh it's crazy, That's isn't it? That is crazy. I mean, those two are so um, incredibly usable in a piece because that opal, you know, opal, um, I mean, I've seen the Swarovski opal, the opal gives off these little iridescent uh, colours and emerald green being one of them. Yeah, it, it's just gorgeous. And we're talking about, I mean, obviously, is, has it gone? Sold out, yeah, sold out. We will have more, don't worry. Uh, um, but yeah, sorry, Linda, did I cut you off then? I'm... No, not at all. No, sorry. No, no. Um, but I was talking, it's different mediums too, because I, I, I'm not the most skillful of jewellery maker, but I use the cup chain in macrame. So it looks really lovely in macrame, doesn't yes. it? Yes, because you've got that little gap. Um, absolutely superb to macrame uh, with. Yeah, definitely. And it just looks amazing in, in uh, particularly the, um, the smaller version that you just said that you particularly like. Mm. Um, A, that would work beautifully on your uh, babushka dolls as an edging. Yes. Uh, Oh, so luxurious and all, but it looks stunning as drop earrings. Now, this really is a fabric. This is uh, oh. your Swarovski Crystal Fine Rock Fabric. Now, what they do is they've almost got granules of your beautiful Swarovski, which has been... Uh, embedded for want of a better description into the fabric um, if I actually show you here it kind of peels off I'll just put these down for a second um, probably haven't picked the best one and you can you can glue it can't you it's got a transparent backing and you can almost glue it onto sometimes that you, you can actually buy bracelets shapes or but you can actually secure it to any form of metal really yeah, you can, Al, but you know, at the moment, the, um, there's a huge, massive, huge trend of hairbands at the moment. Yes. Isn't that? Velvet hairbands and crusted in, in um, jewels and pearls, etc. What can you imagine that? <gasps> and uh, nod, nod, wink, wink. We will be at some point in the next few weeks where I'm going to be launching a new padded velvet hairband. So get these while you can. Um, and that's me trying to be subtle. So there's something on the horizon, I feel. Yeah. Yeah. Something on the horizon. Now yeah, you're getting, absolutely. it's really hard to hold not, these because. Not, not, not wink, wink. I didn't say that. No. But, oh, no, 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 no. But, but it's just to say, please get these while you can because we may not have them when the hair bands are actually launched. You won't, we definitely won't have them at £17.95, and pence. that's for sure. Absolutely not, no. That, I mean, that is for six in total. You can cut it wow, as well. That's just incredible value. I'd have thought that for one. Oh, really? Did you think? You know, this Absolutely. is like a mega, mega, mega clearance, Roski clearance, because they're like, as you said, there's very exciting things on the horizon. We said it with the takeover, and I'll say it again. Um, really exciting things on the horizon. Let me just show you this one, too. Um, and, and I don't know, it might include these, it might not, but there's so much potential of what you can actually do with these fabrics. Completely. Absolutely. I mean, you can... Um, I can remember using... And it was before Jewelry Maker had this particular product and I had to buy it. But my niece, she does a lot of athletics and um, things like that. And she was doing some dance thing to mm -hmm. do with her athletics and that. And she wanted all of her um, sort of 
top to be decorated in crystal and that and i bought some of this and used it and trust me it's been in a washing machine umpteen times oh really so it's that yeah. durable then I, I mean i'm sure there's nothing stopping you using these you know much like your hot fix using them on lapels <laughs> using them on handbags using them on you, you mentioned metal and fabrics of course but shoes you can use it on all yeah. sorts yeah, sky's the limit, Al, totally. Wow. I mean, a wristband, if, you, if you've if you got a sort of a band on, on a, a blouse or a top uh, along the wrist, why not put it on there? And why not actually use it as a foundation for your babushka? Definitely, so, definitely. You could cover the whole of the sort of skirt area, couldn't you, with that? Yeah, seventeen ninety five. That is a crazy price tag. I've got to be honest. I, 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 I think one of them, I can't remember, but that seems amazing for one. Um, okay. Let's bring you more Swarovski goodies. Golden Shadow. So I understand AB is the number one most popular. Number two is Golden Shadow. Right. Um, I'm right with that. So if you loved the AB bund mega bundle that Wayne did, I had to say it like that, then you'll absolutely adore this one. I, I, I can't hold all of these, Linda, so I'm going to have to literally kind of put it across the board. And hold it up like that. Wow. Yes, on the overhead, sorry. Here you go. Wow. Do you know, Elle, I can recall when um, some time ago, Sorosky themselves had a um, shop in London in, I think it's Great Marlborough Street, called Sorosky Crystallised, I think it was called. Yeah. Um, they sold they've since closed it down but they've saw they used to sell components these exact components for um jewelry makers they had a lounge upstairs that you could go and sort of play in basically with the with the Swarovski elements and um i can remember seeing all of these little packets all around the outside of this shop and my goodness it was expensive yeah i i bet well i tell you what it it you can see why it's the second most popular because it has this decadence to it, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, those that um, with the little holes in are meant for, you know, you can use those on textiles and that. So again, yeah. with the Babushka dolls, absolutely perfect. Yeah, your sew-ins and things like that because these are sew-ins. So you had the AB Mega Bundle, which I think sold out. Um, you're getting everything here, which, I mean, I can't even count them. There's that much. 13 packets. So, oh. which obviously include multiples of, for £30, um, I mean, those in amongst, I said it before, but in amongst pearls, on your babushkas, can you imagine one of those suspended from a babushka doll? Exactly, yeah. Oh, it's, I mean, you know, those, I can honestly say, and I'm sure anybody that knows Storowski prices, etc. And and I'm not knocking that because they are worth it. It is superb. It's the best. Yeah, it it's is. the best crystal in the world in in my book. Uh, I mean, look at those teardrops there. That you know the the uh, briolette drops and that. Um, but for thirty pound for all of that is absolutely a steal. It, it really truly is. I I, 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 tot I totally agree with you. A hundred percent agree with you. And we I, we keep saying the only reason that you are seeing these mega deals and these huge bundles at such a reduced price is because it's not because we're stopping Swarovski. It's because there's new things on the horizon. So um, and they don't always do the same colours. I'm not saying they're going to stop Golden Shadow. I shouldn't imagine that would ever be a decision that Swarovski make as a as a brand um, because it is so popular. So so popular. It just has this decadence, doesn't it? It's just got a massive decadence behind it. Well, totally. Um, I mean, the the sort of upper excellence of the Swarovski is, is a company called, with the founder's name, Daniel Swarovski. And um, the bags and the accessories at that particular level can run into hundreds of thousands. I'm sure. I'm sure. It's a fascinating history, actually, that the company actually has. A huge uh, history. And it's not just fashion and jewellery. It's... Uh, you know, binoculars, lenses, lots of different things, you know, that they actually specialise in. I didn't have that many of this bundle, jewellery makers, and there is a small queue. I have 15 left, though. So the best advice that I can actually give you during today's show, look at these ones, wow, is that if you can shop with us online, that would be fabulous, either via the app or via the website. And there's no queues there, of course. But if not, just stay where you are. I get it. Some people like to speak to our contact centre. They are a lovely bunch, aren't they? 
They're a very, very, very friendly bunch. Right, moving on. Sorry, Wayne. Um, here's me. Hello to our call centre. They're all self-isolating. They're all at home. All at home, bless them. Uh, where did that come from? There. Here we go. Doing an amazing job. Ah, oh, now. You said about sort of Daniel Swarovski's own sort of collection, if you like. This is taking a component to a whole other level. Now, this is a triple trouble, and you actually have, um, uh, I, I don't know, am I pronouncing this right? So the vitrail, uh, it's yeah. a tilted chaton. So that's the, obviously the shape of uh, your crystal. So almost like a, if you were to look at a round brilliant cut, but in two, two dimensional design. And then it has the ready-made, um, beautiful, beautiful, Casing, I suppose, for want of a better description, that is also rhodium plated, and you're getting three of these. Who wants these under ten pounds? For all three. For all three, they're pendants, aren't they? Because you've got the little loops. Can you see there? There's the little, there's the little jump ring at the top that you can just attach a bail. <gasps> yeah, they're absolutely beautiful. They're very um, sort of. Uh, John Paul Gaultier, yeah. I mean, he did do some designs for Swarovski. And I think that um, this this is very, it, this isn't one of his designs, but no, it's very much it? alongside that, isn't it? That look of Jean Paul Gaultier. Jean Paul Gaultier, Dior, um, at Coco Chanel, we are talking, you know, the big, big, big names in fashion that have, you know, consciously collaborated with Swarovski as a brand. That's, mm -hmm. you know, that is the prestige of what you're getting here, jewellery makers. Yeah. Um, so Adam was saying, yes, the kaput pendant was the one, which we did have once upon a time. Um, yeah. Uh, I, th I don't think we've actually got it today. It is lovely. And it's very go goatier, actually. You can kind of see the designer straight away. Never in a million years should these be under £9. Pounds. Ridiculous. Uh, they, I mean, they should be... Um, you would see those at, at the minimum of £9 pounds for one, not one packet, for one item. Yeah, totally agree. I'm gonna, oh, I'm going to leave those with you. Um, so, Linda, you're, are we, are we, de we're doing what, sorry? Are you happy to come back and join us at 10 o'clock? Absolutely. For the, for the hot fix bundle. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm, yes. not a, I'm not a designer, but I've been having a go with this at home, but I'd very much like your input, if that's okay. Yeah, brilliant. Absolutely no problem at all. I'll oh. go and make a cup of tea and I'll be back at 10. You make a cup of tea because we're going to admire your amazing demonstration. We're not going to go straight to it just yet, but Linda's demonstration is coming up immediately um, after this because we have the babushka dolls. Thank you, Linda. We'll see you in a bit. Thanks, see you soon. Bye. Oh, I really love that lady. Yeah. She's, she, she's such a nice lady, isn't she? And she's awesome as well. Just so awesome. Incredible. So we're going to be seeing more from the lovely Linda um, in a few moments' time with her babushka demonstration. For those of you that haven't checked it out and, you, and it's sat in your baskets, give you a heads up. I will definitely do that sooner rather than later. Um, they're a lot of fun. Like I said, a six mil, uh, sorry, six months um, waiting time for us. That, that's how long it's actually taken us to, um, to get these back in stock. So if you've ever wanted to make these beautiful babushkas, here's how. Hello, it's Linda here from Jewelry Maker. It's hello from me and it's hello from her, my little wintry matryoshka. Um, decoration, jewellery, anything that uh, is inspiring you with these beautiful, beautiful um, fur pom-poms and the seed beads and the gorgeous cheeky little faces. Um, sky's the limit, absolute limit. It's the most enjoyable thing I think I've ever done. So here's my little Anushka the Babushka, um, otherwise known as Matryoshka. Matryoshka in Russian means um, old lady or grandmother. And in um, Russian folklore, it's is absolutely huge. She can be dressed in all sorts of seasonal wear, etc. But do you know what? This little sort of wintry wear for me, oh, it's just gorgeous. Just let me show you another couple of items as well that I've done. I've done a little one here which is a necklace, so a nice piece of jewellery, again with a gorgeous black faux fur, um, beautiful quality faux fur, pom-pom, 
two little Swarovski um, black. jet black hearts and a little tinsy wincy little matryoshka that I think is so sweet and really wearable so there's those two and then there's this one here um, she is um, again jewelry where I've just sort of decorated the, the actual head the face and uh, popped her onto one of these baby blue pom-poms, um, put some neckline in and put in the, uh, the um, tassel and I just think they are so beautiful. And then another one before we get started, because wait for it. Oh, I've got one. This lady um, is carrying probably her little granddaughter uh, in her arms. Again, all um, clothed up for, uh, let's say, a Siberian winter in Russia or even here at the moment. It's gone so cool. Um, so, in the hope that you like them, in the hope that I've inspired you into having a crack at making them, should we have a go? Right. First of all, you obviously need to, they are, I've, in the kits today, we have the larger. Um, faces, now these are glass faces, um, beautifully made, um, won't wear out. Um, Absolutely stunning. You can see the dome in there on the profile. Beautiful little cute little faces. Um, everybody and anybody will fall in love with them. I think we have them in the redhead, the blonde and the brunette. This, as you can see, is the blonde. Um, so if you're making the actual doll, um, sort of uh, for... for perhaps a Christmas decoration or just any form of decoration, Easter as well would be nice, then you need to glue on the head here, okay, the face I should say, and I just use the glue that's super. And then basically it's very easy design, um, the actual doll, I'm going to use a In here so what we do really and I know this is upside down I'll turn it around in a minute is go about half a centimeter around the edge of the don't worry too much it hasn't got to be exact because the uh, the stitching will uh, will work and bring you your form in so if you just sort of draw around like that so you've you sort of framed a head and then you basically you know The, um, the Matryoshka dolls, the Russian stacking dolls, um, you can do that shape. So we would come sort of out and gentle curve, bringing it round. And then what I normally do is I go into the center of the lips there and do a little line. Okay, and then I'll come out again on the other side and try to do a mirror image down to the base and that's all that's all you need to do if you want to however do the the shapes again with the um, little skirts uh, and Russian sort of folk uh, costume then all you need to do is obviously that shape you would just come down here you, you may put an arm in here like like so and then um, you could do the mirror image on the other side or you could have the arm coming down and then basically bring out kick out here for for the skirt it's entirely up to you um, what you want to do but trust me 
if you make one of the originals like so you will definitely want to make um, the ones in in more like costume you can make some really quir quirky funny ones as well right so let's get on now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start I've just actually sewn on um, sorry I've actually glued on here um, one of the larger head shapes um, I actually quite like them when they're decorated as a piece of jewellery with just the head or as I said before if you're going to make them into a piece of jewellery perhaps you might just shrink them into more of a baby size in which case I know that we've got the smaller heads as well to go right so that is glued on I have now got a length of wildfire and a size 10 needle on the end of my wildfire I've got a little knot and what we're going to do is a um, normal even peyote stitch all around the outline now even peyote obviously that means you're going to have an even amount of of beads encompassing um, that face so what I tend to do is work in two so I'm coming in from the back and bringing my thread through now I'm going to pick up two of these size 11s I know they're small but if I worked in bigger beads it would um, they, sort of sixes and eights would probably be too large um, to frame the face in a pretty way so I've, I've popped on two let them drop down okay so just let them drop down onto uh, the frame of the face push them back to where the threads actually coming in from and then stab down with your needle and pull through right now if you imagine working in like ones or random numbers um, you are eventually going to have to count those beads um, and to be truthful I've gone wrong on many an occasion with my counting so I know if I'm actually working in twos each time I will have that even number now to keep a nice line uh, bring come in from the back and bring your needle in through the center you see the center of those two beads there bring it the needle back through there and then this second bead here pick that one up and give that a little tug if you give it a little tug upwards it just clicks nicely into place okay pick up another two and you, can, you need to work slowly with this because it's so incredibly absorbing why would you want to rush something like this um, so work slowly and enjoy it let those two drop down if you put a bit of tension on your thread now um, you can see that those two are sitting quite nicely so again a stab stitch virtually on top of that last bead in place pull it through again coming in from the back and finding uh, the center point between those last two beads bring through your thread give it a bit of a tug see those those three beads there have tightened up pop your needle through that last bead and again pull the thread through and when you pull it through give it a little pull upright and again then you'll see that that's sitting in quite nicely so the next thing to do is load up with another two go back into the center give it a good pull come back through that last bead two more beads and load up and then you will have something that will look like that okay so we've got a framework all the way around that head of um, beads now you might notice little spaces and that there but I'm um, I've tried this in many ways whether to sort of have those beads really tight together um, and I have found that if they are really really tight together um, they will as you can see just on that one there they will sort of just slightly raise up but this is your first row um, so don't worry about those little spaces because the next row will cover them anyway so the next row on your even peyote stitch you have finished and you're coming in through um, a space between the beads okay so pick up the first bead 
from where uh, your thread's exiting. So there's that bead there. And pull your thread through. Now I'm going to pick up a different colour. I'm picking up this gorgeous sort of um, Northern Lights type of um, blue. Now what I'm going to do now is um, it's exiting this bead here, the thread. So I'm missing that next bead in line and I'm going to take my needle through that one. So all I'm doing is missing one bead. Pull that through, give that a little bit of a tug. And then again, pick up. And then again, there's the exit bead. Miss this one and go through the next one. So it's pick up a bead miss a bead and go through the next bead so i'll do that one more time so there's the thread exiting here there's the next bead in line so i'm going to miss that one and take my needle at an angle it's easy if you do it at an angle flip it round and then again pull your thread through one more time so you get more of an idea exit bead miss the bead take your thread through obviously with the bead on now what you'll see now is that these new bees are standing quite proud you can see them they're standing proud there getting ready for um, the next row which it just gets easier actually um, all the hard work's been done by getting on that first uh, that first row of beads so go all the way around when you come all the way around to the finish your needle will exit this bead here which is right next door to the first bead of the second row so it'll exit there so what you need to do let me see if i can show you on the next example no right i'll bring this one back and just jump around to as if i've done the whole thing okay so our needle will be coming through the gap between this first row bead and that first row bead there. That's where the needle will exit when you've got all the way around. So what you do, you then, you have to do what we call step up. So this gold bead of the first row, bring your needle up, through, you don't have to have too much tension there just bring that thread through gently but give it a little final tug when when the threads all the way through and then we step up into our second row here okay and this is what you will have when you've gone whoops excuse me i've got again slip it slipping on the ice right so what you've got now You've come all the way around. So we've now got our second row in place all the way around. Here's where our thread's exiting. Okay. So as I've just shown you, the thread's exiting there. So what we do now is we come through that next bead in line, which is the bottom row, incidentally. Bring your thread through and then come up into the first bead of our row two so now we've moved up a little bit again now in order to uh, bring those into place now we're going to do exactly what we've just done so i'm going to pick up another of these blue beads and this is this is where it gets that little bit easier now because we're going to go through every blue bead ignore the gold beads go through every blue so we're going into this one and give that a final tug and then we're going to go into the next one. You'll soon know if you've missed one because somehow it seems to scream that that pattern isn't quite right. And it's normally because you've actually missed the bead. So here's the next one. And bring that through. Give that bit of a tug. And then your next one. And through your next blue bead I'll do another couple and then show you um, the next row so all of those blue beads you need to work through in which case then you'll come right back 
to the very beginning. So if I take my thread through here, um, this is this is simply just so I can show you the next row, right? And zip back to where I started on that um, third row. If I just bring that through from the back there, you'll have gone all the way around, so you'll be in this position anyway. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to pull this sort of framework, I want to pull it in a little and to frame the face. Now, in order to do that, I need to drop down a size bead. So um, the next bead um, going down in smaller beads from an 11 is a 15. So I've got some little silver 15 beads here. I'm sure you'll have some in your stash. If not, then um, we'll have plenty on the website. Right, so this is where we have come and we've come all the way around. So again, I'm stepping up. So I'm going to step up into that third row and give my thread a little pull. Pick up one of my 15s. Now every other bead, again, you'll see if you turn it to the side and work like that, you'll see clearly the beads that you're going to go through. They, they all stand proud. That third row is standing proud of the second row as the second did of the first. So we're going to go into that bead there and pull that in and then pick up another of our 15s and then again there's the bead that's sitting in between. We don't want that one, we want the one that's standing proud. So again through that one. And then it's just a matter of simply repeating that all the way around. So there's the next one here that um, it's quite obvious when you turn it onto its side. Come on needle. So it's slipping now because I'm working nearer to the actual glass face. My needle's slipping a bit on it. Right now if you can see now what's happening is I have got you see these three beads here they are um, effectively my fourth row, right? Now, all the way around again, okay? And then you will exit here, right by that first bead. Again, step up, put on another 15 and go into that next silver one. Another 15 into that next silver one and so on and so on. You will then have got um, basically what's on this one. Um, this is the exact framework that I was just demonstrating there. Um, and I, all I've done there with the beautiful hot fix Swarovski is I've hot fixed those gorgeous Swarovski crystals onto the hairline. Uh, sorry, onto that sort of, um, I suppose it's like a, a bonnet, isn't it? Like a frame around a bonnet. Um, now, uh, you might be thinking, well, how do I get that um, that head onto the faux fur? Do I glue it? No, not if you can help it, to be truthful. Um, what you need to do is, let me take this one. That isn't finished, but this is an example, and I'll take one of these gorgeous blue faux fur. Now, okay, this is um, a small pom-pom with the larger head on which is exactly what I've got here and then I just put another pom-pom underneath and then I've worked sort of some embroidery around um, on, on the clothing which again is entirely up to you little hot fix on there again this one very similar but she's got her bonnet on and she's got two little um, of the pink faux fur here like a little papoose and there's the little the smaller little head which I've just done in exactly the same way as I just showed you and I just put like little little plaits of hair there they're just little fringing so that all is done before you pop it onto your faux fur right now the faux fur it does have a, a little um, hanging point which is nestling in here okay now we're not going to be using that um, but it is there should you want to dangle it um, as a, a tassel top or something from a neckline but we're not going to be bothered with that so I prefer to have that sort of down um, on the neckline so all you do is you place your beaded 
finished face, right? Um, and with your finger, keep it nice and um, tight. And then all you've got to do is to take your thread and you'll feel resistance, okay? Which is brilliant, okay? Because that means you're sewing through something. So if I pull that through, you'll see now that that is really quite taut. So if I bring that face back into place and pull my thread, okay? And then obviously you could use, you wouldn't be using black um, with this um, pastel blue, would you? You'd be using white or a matching thread. And then you can go back roughly in the same direction and then feel your way back through and your the edge of the um, beading foundation that you've glued on, you will eventually, you'll pick it up. Um, sometimes it's easier than others. Um, sometimes it's a bit tricky. So just keep because obviously you're going to be meeting the back of that glass but don't forget you're also going to have a much wider edge here in order to come through i'm having a, a um to, to look for the beading uh, foundation there but um under normal circumstances as you can see on here i've got a much more of a, um, a sewable uh, places for my threads to come through it comes through all these beads here so that's that's the bonus of uh, if you've got a, the head that's completed again pull through and then just miss three or four mil and find your foundation again and push through you see how tight that is to get it through that means you're going to get a real safe fix on that head gluing it it just doesn't work on the faux fur um trust me it just won't work on the faux fur eventually that glue will dry off and unfortunately her pretty little face might fall off so um that's how to pop it on to um your pom-pom um obviously it's entirely up to you what sort of designs and that you use um how you dress your um your dolls or um the jewellery that you may be making i'm just going to as i finish this video i'm going to go and make a pair of little earrings um what i've got here i don't know if you can see these markings but what i've got i've glued on the face as i said in the beginning i've left about two mil around the edge for the beading of that sort of um framework around the head and then i've given her sort of this little skirt shape so basically i've just used a tailor's chalk and i have drawn in a few little lines to guide me so that means probably here i might put a rivoli bead or something really sparkly her arms are coming around here so um we can be quite busy um on the decoration there unless of course she's holding a baby and the skirt as well i put in a few little lines to follow um again it's russian folklore they can be really bright um so you can use a variance of beads and bead sizes crystals anything you like really um and then when you finished i should have said this earlier but before you actually start um beading up it's a good idea to just take a template on some ultra suede so that you have got the correct shape for your backing which will go on quite nicely onto the back of the finished piece and then around the edge here you can do a little pico work um, which i will cover on another occasion but most certainly you'll be able to find out how to be pico it's a matter of a blanket stitch but with three beads rather than two or you can just blanket stitch the bead round or if you really want to you can glue it on but it's much better trust me if you can bead this ultra suede onto the beading foundation on the finished beaded doll it brings in the lovely frame which i think you'll agree it just gives it some form seeing the little shoe sticking out there um she's all ready to go to uh, wherever she's going um nicely wrapped up I really hope you've enjoyed this. I hope I've covered everything that you um, that you require. I'm going to show you this little baby one again because she's so cute. Um, I really hope you'll have a go at doing this. Uh, I can't tell you how enjoyable it is. Any any questions, any problems, any issues, you can get me on jewelrymakerfacebook.com. 
um, and I'll be happy um, to help you out. But it's easy peasy with these pom poms. It's so luxurious. Well, I hope to see you again soon. Um, take care. And um, back to my mum, Troshka earrings. Bye. Linda Brumwell and I understand she's joining me again in this hour is she there she is hiya hiya darling did you got your cup of tea I did good good so you're sitting comfortably because this is going to be an absolute frenzy this hour right I'm looking forward to it Elle. so I um one of the products and I said this at the very very beginning of the show that um we we launched over the past sort of year two years I don't know exactly how long it has been um that I'm most excited about has actually been the hot fix gun and I think you said it actually during whether it was during your demonstration um or or when we were chatting earlier you said that it's incredibly easy and I think that's probably why I love it so much you, you know some tools when you look at them, it's almost intimidating. Does anyone get that? Yes. Yeah, I think by the nature of using that word, you know, oh, it's a hobby, but you need this tool and you need that tool and that. Sometimes it can be a bit scary, but not with jewelry making. Um, they're all very simple tools as well, and particularly the hot fix. It's an ends to a means, really, isn't it, with the uh, hot fix products. Very simple to use, very well designed. Product. There's two, two functions, that's it. There's literally <laughs> two, two functions. Battery operated, um, which literally go in the end. Um, the lid comes on and off. There's only one switch to turn it on, and I'm showing you just there. This is, this is mine from home. Um, one, uh, one, so once it's on, and it, you, just keep an eye on that, because obviously you'll feel, you'll actually feel when the battery starts draining um, because obviously it doesn't it takes a bit longer for the hot fix to actually secure and the two functions literally is if I press this that's a vacuum so that's sucking the hot fix up to the tip and then once you've actually positioned your hot fix you release the vacuum and just hold hold it on I'm not pressing anything you literally hold the hot fix onto whatever it is you're, you're hot fixing at that time and it's that simple it's I think one of the most exciting tools that we have actually launched here at Jewelry Maker and um, it was invented in um, in 1974 so um, it's actually relatively new and uh, Swarovski came up with this idea because obviously we, we, we saw with Marilyn Monroe, as I said earlier on, hot fix was being sewn, hand sewn into fabrics, but they, they must have thought, well, there's got to be an easier way than this. Let's, uh, let's find an easier way. And that's where this actually uh, came, uh, came along. So Linda, um, Wayne suggested this show and when he was saying about the hot fix gun he said do you fancy having a go it was I was under lockdown and like many of us I had lots of time on my hands so I was like yeah send it over to me and there we go this is what I actually did so a pair of trainers that my willow is absolutely desperate to wear so I bought the pink trainers oh. and all the sparkle um, were literally the hot fix so oh. There you go. I also did the picture frame. So it's very, it's not, it, there's no pattern. They're literally just, it's all over. So we'll have to find a picture. Adam's saying she put, I, I should put uh, the team in there. I should have done, shouldn't I? A nice photograph of the team. But everything, you can use it. You've used it on the babushka, on your fur pom-poms. <laughs> um, you can... <laughs> Look at him. He was a, a very, very last minute uh, um, hot fix. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's a bit like me all at the moment with all this sticky out 
<laughs> I've just found out that this was actually one of um, Sam Wilson. That's his owl that sits on his desk that I've just, I was like, oh, I'll hot fix this. I'll put him oh, back. I love you, Al. He just, he, he looks, he looks. He'll look but he's been well. blinged. <laughs> <laughs> He's I been blinged up. Volumes to the owl. I think so. I think. Listen, is that there's no other one like him now, is there? <laughs> no other one like him. And then, uh, likewise, so just little little adornments like this, little decorations like this, just on uh, um, on, on a ceramic <laughs> on a ceramic <laughs> vase. But then, all the, by the way, this one, the owl, and likewise for this little bit of fabric was all done in a space of about five minutes prior to the show. Prior to the show. I'm sure you'll agree with me, Linda. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Of course it is, because you've got a blank canvas to work on. And um, the hot fix is such a simple thing to do. Um, you can actually draw your design, say with a tailor's chalk or something like that, or with one of those. You can get these pens that eventually, uh, well, after a couple of hours, they actually fade away, so you don't see that outline. Um, and then just follow the outline. I mean, what can be more simple than that? And I mean, those little trainers, I should imagine Willow is absolutely desperate to wear those. I know my, um, I've got my four granddaughters would. That's given me a really good idea. You've got to do it, Linda. You've got to, and we've got the perfect yeah. bundles as well um, to, to, you know, to, to bring you alongside the hot fix gun. I have 128 of this available. I have to tell you, I sat on my on my dining room table. Um, my husband's been working at home. My little one's been at home, and I sat with my hot fix gun. It's when I was doing the picture frame, and both of them obviously i didn't let willow but my uh, tom was like can i have a go <laughs> it's one of those things that you just fancy doing it's really good fun and it you know it's it it you you'll you'll get carried away with it that's one thing for certain that's why we're putting mega bundles together now there's 128 of the the actual gun available um and we're going to do something really exciting. So we're going to put a 60 second clock onto your screen. The reason we've incorporated it um, at Linda's request alongside the babushkas and the faux, um, the faux pom-poms is, is a perfect combination because the whole concept of Hot Fix was that it could, it, it would actually work, you know, directly onto clothing and fabric. So think about, I don't know, if you've got a bridal boutique, you could Hot Fix onto bodices, you could Hot Fix onto to veils, you could Hot Fix onto tiaras, metal, wood, anything really, can't you? There's, there's when my daughter got married, Elle, sorry to interrupt you there, when my daughter got married, um, her it was a winter wonderland, so we use literally thousands of Swarovski crystals. Um, hot fix I used on all the invitations, on all the stationery, and I think I went through something like 9,000 hot fix. Really? Um, but at that point then, that was back in 2009, so at that point then I hadn't got our, um, our hot fix tool um, and I got one that was an electric one. So consequently the flipping electric cable kept getting in my way. Uh, um, not so the, the benefit of this is it's so, so much better being battery led. And it's, it's, it's literally, oh, let me just double check that because I think it's, uh, they're AAA, I think. Which are the bigger ones? Yeah, yeah. AAA. 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 I think it's three. No, no, I think it's AA. AA, AA is it? Ones. Sorry, AAA. I can take it off and show you. Um, but yeah, this is battery operated. The graphics are live. Dial now, jewelry makers, because 20 of these have already gone. Um, they are so much fun. Let me just see. What batteries are they? AA. And you, it yeah. takes. Three. Takes three of them. But they, they, it will actually give you a lot of working time, three of those uh, double A's will. And also, it operates also when you put the vacuum on um, to pick up your crystal, yeah. and then as you say, you release it, and the um, obviously be careful because that little element at the end gets hot. Um, you keep that in place, and as you quite rightly say, that then, um, it only needs to be kept in place for about 20 seconds max. And that then melts the glue that's on the other side of the uh, hot fix component, which is obviously, again, a Swarovski, um, let's say that glue is obviously the one that Swarovski used themselves on their elements and things. So it's very trustworthy. 
I'm sorry, I'm, d I'm trying to put the batteries back in as you're talking then, Linda. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. You wouldn't, it, it, it's, there we go. 50 of these have gone. By the way, we are massively, massively competitive. I mean, what you're about to see, we've seen retailers at £47 um, and, and above, to be honest. So what you're about to see is going to be hugely competitive. I will show you how simple it is. And listen, I am not a guest designer. I'm not a guest designer. I haven't got the talents or creativity, uh, creativity as the lovely Linda uh, and other guest designers. Um, and I like something that's really instant. I, I'm not one of those, those people that will invest massive amounts of time um, into a creation. That's, I think, one of the other reasons why I absolutely love this. It's not intimidating. Um, it literally is three batteries, and away you go. Obviously, do be careful. I, would like, I wouldn't say it's for absolutely all ages, because obviously this does get very, very, very hot. Um, but it's definitely something anybody that's got uh, is responsible um, can use. Let's bring your price tag onto your screen, jewelry makers, um, because you won't believe this. And I've got mega bundles of your hot fix coming up. Mega bundles. You are going to be hot fixing until the cows come home. Twenty nine ninety five. I mean. <laughs> Um, when you when you've got that tool, you you know that's it, isn't it? You you're prepared then. That's you it. Are prepared. Yeah. Um, okay, if you imagine, let's go with this scenario. You imagine, <coughs> excuse me, a flat back stone that you want to put onto a design. If you'd got to glue that flat back stone on, it would be so painstaking. It would also be incredibly messy. Um, but this this product, the gun and the hot fix, are made to work together. Um, so consequently, you get the best possible outcome. Yeah, and they are absolutely Did secure. Did we mention now that there is that little light yes. on the end of I that? Yes, well. I haven't. So yes, it's got That's a complete. That is so useful when you're working with clear crystals. So you can, it it actually. I've got thirty of these left, but it actually shows you, and you can be really precise. Um, it shines a light on where you're actually obviously directing well, the crystal yeah. itself. Um, I've, the only thing I haven't hot fixed at the moment is actually a gemstone, but I actually don't see why not. I don't, I don't see why not. Should we give it a go? Should we give it a go? So I'm going to, yeah. like I say, I am not a guest designer here, but I'm going to use, use the vacuum. Can you see? So you see the vacuum, I'm deliberately holding it there. And all I do is let go. It heat, it's heating the glue, which is on the back. You don't have to hold it that long. It does depend, it depends on the actual size of the gemstone here. Sorry, I probably haven't had this on warming up for that long. But depending, if, uh, depending on the size of the Swarovski, um, if they're larger, you have to hold them for that little bit longer, don't you? Yeah, so, yes, you do. It's that surface area. Um, once you've got the connection, Right. Once you've got that connection there, mm -hmm. um, you can then sort of move that gun around just to get the outer in case it doesn't cover the whole of that stone. Yeah. Um, now, another top tip on this is as well, if you look at your finished design and you think, ah, oh, that hot fix there is really annoying me. It's not quite in place. Put your hot fix gun back on it. Leave it on for about 20 seconds. That glue will then start to melt again and you can slide it into place yeah, again. Yeah, you, you can move them around. It does give yeah. you the timings, doesn't it, on the actual packaging of how long you have yeah. to hold. Now, I yeah. haven't let this heat up here in the studio, so that's probably why this, is t this little one's taking a little bit longer. But um, once you get going, you know, partic particularly the smaller stones, take literally about five seconds, don't they, to actually adhere. Yeah. It all depends what, what the surfaces you're gluing to. Gluing to that gemstone will take a little bit longer. Mm. Okay, that's a little cold gemstone. But if you imagine um, a textile, something like that, it's going to glue in a heartbeat. Well, let's, let's, let's do a textile, shall we? Here we go. I can leave that one there. Because I did actually, well, oh, I didn't steal. I did ask the, uh, the, the sewing, our sewing street crew. I said, can I borrow some fabric, please? So they gave me a piece of fabric. Let's choose. Here I've got this one which little. Can you see it there? Little bunnies. So here we go. 
and it's not it literally takes there we go done on yeah, so exactly. you, can, you can do it on, on, on pretty much any fabric, jeans, shoes, I only have 25 of the tool actually back, we will re recap it but we're going to allow the, our call centre to catch up with um, the volume of you there jewellery makers, so it's battery operated that's all, um, okay amazing, let's bring you some mega bundles because you will not want to put this tool down. Trust me, it's become, going to become one of your new best friends. So you're going to need hot fix and then some more hot fix. So how often do you hear um, us all say how huge personalization is? Um, I don't think my husband is going to be watching right now, but Father's Day is going to be around the corner. So I got from, from, from Willow and this one, the, a little picture frame that's been personalized. Imagine then taking it to a whole other level of being able to personalize using the, the powerhouse that is the brand Swarovski. I'm talking about, I don't know, wine glasses. I'm talking about vases. I'm talking picture frames, wedding occasions, jewelry boxes, jewelry. How about clothing that we've just shown you? Cups, porcelain, metal. You can pretty much hot fix onto most things. Pretty much. I mean, and that's exactly what you are going to want to do. I would be obviously mindful of the safety aspects of things. This is a hot element, so I would probably avoid things like your electrics. Um, yeah, but you can pretty much, well, you can hot fix a lot. So imagine just being able, I mean, if you look at the shoes that I did for Willow, that took me five minutes. And all right, I probably could have done a better job to be fair, but she loves them and she cannot wait to wear those. So imagine being able to do that for your grandchildren, your nieces, your children, your nephews, your friends. Maybe you know somebody that's getting married on a certain date. You can hot fix those dates. You can literally just, I don't know, you've got an old picture frame that's looking a little bit tired around your house. You can decorate it with the premium brand that is Swarovski. You could absolutely, I, Adam has just said, this could actually be a potential career. I, I, I completely agree. <clears throat> Vicky, uh, who's uh, one, of, one of our presenters here at Jewelry Maker, but currently she's on Sewing Street. So Vicky Gordon, she spent an absolute fortune having a microphone Swarovski hot fixed for her. And her phone, she's had... And trainers too. So she's when she saw us this morning with this, she was like, oh, I could have actually done this myself. And we, we all went, well, yeah, you actually could, to be truthful. So this is something that, I mean, people with, with, with endless amounts of money, I've heard of cars being completely hot fixed. Yeah. Totally. I yeah, mean, absolutely. Completely. I, I can remember seeing a program on. Um, customizing these luxury sort of four by fours and this one guy i think in brunei had taken in his luxury four by four and had it completely hot fixed wow i mean that completely talk... hot fixed. at the price of something like a quarter of a million it cost to have it done i bet because look at the think of the time that it would actually take um, <clears throat> um wayne has just said he's seen rocking horses hot fixed and things you could really 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 go all out or you could keep it quite low key like I've done here as well. But the, again, what you said earlier on, Linda, it's this and these. Yeah, exactly. And that is it. I'm going to put a 60 second clock onto your screen because this is a mega bundle. 
Now, I know we've touched on it because you've got a mixture of the sizes. The larger ones and obviously the surface you're adhering to, that's depending on the time that you hold it there. So um, the small ones, like these little pearls, for example, the tiny little two, three mils, take seconds, don't they, Linda? Literally seconds it to adhere yeah, and to bond. Absolutely. You know, once you've got into that little bit of a rhythm, you it will be sort of hot fix into your head just how long um, it takes to put a certain size stone on. Yeah. You, you won't even have to think about it. It's just, it'll become second nature. It absolutely will. And, and I have to tell you, this is a lot. This is the bundle, <coughs> excuse me, that I actually had uh, that did the picture frame, that did this little plant, that did the shoes, that did the owl, that did the actual fabric, and I still had so much left over. So much left over. I mean, honestly, I could probably go on and do this picture frame at least two times extra. Um, yeah, there, there, is, there are packets and packets and packets of hotfix in different sizes, and also different shapes, because you've got those lovely teardrops too um, <clears throat> which create the most beautiful flowers if I turn that round you can create like really lovely little hot fix flowers so it's not just the rounds you get those lovely drops too this is do you see why I'm getting so excited I think this is one of the coolest products that we have here at Jewelry Maker and it works amazingly alongside the babushka dolls um, oh, God. Absolutely. Um, without, yeah. Because you can use. You can also. Sorry, but you can also, oh. if you are into sort of textile jewelry of any type of textile, um, hot fix is a great boost for that. I mean, with my shibori, I use. Yeah. Uh, I use hot fix a lot. Around, not on the shibori because that's pure silk, and I don't want to put the hot gun on it because I might just singe the shibori because it's such a delicate um, fabric. But certainly onto the beading foundation around the, uh, the shibori. Do you, I was trying to think earlier on about, do you remember there was a very, very, very expensive uh, denim brand? I can't remember who. There was a denim brand. Was it For All Mankind? I think they did it as well. They used a lot of Sarosky And Crystal Juicy Coutre. Yeah. Uh, but there was another one, I think, that started it. And literally, they hot-fixed onto the pockets on the back of jeans. And you yeah, would be exactly. paying hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of pounds for those jeans. Now, ordinarily, for this bundle, if you were to buy it individually and sort of collate it all up, it would add, it would total 124.85. This is a mega, mega bundle, but it's also a mega, mega deal, jewellery makers. You will have hot fix. <sighs> hot fix, I mean, more than enough hot fix to do so much. I mean, if you do bridal commissions, if you want to do bespoke commissions, if you, if you love Swarovski as a brand in your home, who doesn't? Um, then this is something that you absolutely need to be getting hold of. Are you ready for this mega bundle deal? There's not enough of these to go around, though, I'm being told. There's not enough of this bundle. I do have additional hotfix bundles, by the way. So for, the, for literally the tools to start this um, fabulously fun medium... Yeah, how much was the gun? 29.95. So for £80... You're away. Now, I don't know, have you, the last time I went into a Swarovski shop, I said some time ago, it was a long time. But I'm pretty sure for one of their picture frames, which won't have anywhere near the amount of Swarovski crystal as what's, what's on here, is going to cost triple figures. It is, isn't it, Linda? Absolutely. Totally. Um, you know, it, it is very much deemed a luxury product. But again... If you go into that Swarovski outlet and you see a picture frame or whatever that's been um, decorated with hotfix, it's this hotfix. Yeah, it's, it's not these anything else. Tools and it's this same process. It's exactly the same tool and it's exactly the same as what you're purchasing right now. Yeah. Exactly the same. Um, I know that uh, we've got a pair of shoes in the office that's a pair of stilettos that's been hotfixed. We could hotfix, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know, <laughs> uh, wooden busts that we've got here in the studio. There's absolutely, really very little limits. Absolutely. I mean, I have got a pair of um, red, 
I can't wear them at the moment, but I've got a pair of red suede stilettos that have got like a black cord running all the way down the heel up to the sort of ankle. And I've, I've hot fixed those. Oh, wow. So, 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 admit, I bought them for my daughter's wedding and I'm not, and they were just cracking. So you are the only person in the world to wet, have those shoes? Absolutely. How amazing is that, that you can actually say this? Yeah. I mean, Casey got married um, 10 years ago. Those, not one, I promise you, not one of those hot fix crystals have come off. No, 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 no. They're absolutely secure. Fran's asking a question. Bright greetings. Uh, can Hotfix be set into Ceralloon? Yes. Yes. Yeah. You, you probably yeah. don't even need to use the gun. Yeah, um, actually, I would use, yes, I would. Um, have you Ceralloon and use that vacuum because it's, it's a nice um, yeah, yeah. way of being able to position. But right? you don't have to and glue it, is what I mean. And it's you take your, your finger off of that vacuum that the heat comes in, hmm. right? So pick it up with that vacuum and place it onto your Ceralloon design and then um, quickly just push it into place. Just let go, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, so you, you're you effectively using it as set, a... Sorry? You can then carry it. If the Ceralloon is actually set, hmm. right, and gone hard, um, say like you want to do a pebble, then you can... That's another idea. That you is, know, yeah, it, then, then you glue it. it. This is a great idea. Is that from Gillian? Yeah, Gillian. Can't wait to hot fix my crutches. Wow! Yes. Oh, my goodness, Gillian. The, um, I was looking online, um, I think it was what, sometime last week, and the funniest thing I've ever seen was literally a ankle plaster cast completely in A.B. Swarovski crystal. Can you imagine? I mean, Gillian, you have to send a photograph of that as well. Yeah. You have to. I think that's going to look amazing. Right, um, listen, there's only a few of that bundle left. I have got more um, hot fix bundles to bring you. Well done, because you're going to have so much fun. And please, 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 can you send photos into the studio, um, to the Wall of Fame, because we'd love to see your hot fix creations. Um, right then, what can I do next? Seven, 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 seven. There's only 19. I'm just going to move my books out of the way. Honestly, I'm surrounded by beautiful Swarovski. Um, this is all hot fix, so it's going to work amazing. If you got the gun, you're sorted. I can't believe how com uh, competitive that was as well. For yeah, that. These are lovely colours. Oh. There was no competition. You're right, Adam. You're, you're absolutely right. There was no competition. We were streets ahead of all of them, weren't we? Look at these. Beautiful colours. Um, which was the first babushka doll? What was her name? Uh, Anastasia, wasn't it? I think this is Anastasia. I can see Anastasia here. So these, you've got each of these packets. Well, not not this one. This one. These have got so the variation of the sizes. You've got some of your hot fix hearts. Exactly the same process. I loved these. The hot fix uh, Swarovski pearls. We actually have a bundle of that coming up later. Look at these, all the different colours. Wow, again, it's a mega bundle. Down to single figures, that's the black hot fix. You've got the, that, I think that's, uh, is that the dark silver night? And then, oh, you've got that, that, can you see that one there? That's the rose gold. 49.95. I would definitely, definitely suggest you know, um, we don't have these on every show, and, and I've actually tried to buy them in the past off the website. They're not always available. So stock up on your hot fix. Yeah, definitely. Um, to be honest, when you first start using it, if anything sort of uh, is static, and uh, I mean, I'm not saying hot fix people, but anything that sort of stays still long enough, you, you tend to want to hot fix it. You, de you, de um, you definitely you know, do. That's the truth. There's nothing. I mean, textiles, garments, all sorts of things. Um, I'm just looking at the moment in my lounge. I have got a um, sort of a conical glass shape like that. With a sort of a bulbous bottom, and that's totally hot fixed on the bottom. Wow! And it looks absolutely gorgeous. And you so, want to um, you want to hot know, fix it next, now, don't you? For the next goodness knows how long, you know, once you get your tool and the hot fix uh, crystals 
Um, you'll be as happy as Larry, whoever Larry is. You'll yeah. be going around hot fixing. The whole of your outside of your house could be hot fixed. Can you imagine? Can you imagine as well, and especially like if you did like a candelabra or a candle holder, like as Adam's just said, right? And then you've got you, you have you have a, a beautiful dinner, you have some lovely guests, you light those candles, and you see Swarovski glistening away. I mean, does it get any more decadent than that? I don't, I I don't think so. There is, you're, you're so right, there's so much that you could do. I mean, honestly, um, like I've, I've, I've been saying to the guys, uh, Mark asked me earlier on, our MD Mark, he said, uh, how's Tom coping without you? I said, I think he's glad that I'm back at work, to be honest, because I was starting to get on his nerves. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's probably because I was walking around like this. Can I hot fix that? Can I, can I hot fix this? Can I hot fix your phone? Elle, go away. Can, yeah. Just go, go, I'm working here. Oh, okay. But yeah, everything was getting hot fixed. This is a beautiful bundle. It's a 19 packets. Uh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lay them out like this because I can't actually hold them all. There's that. It's a good problem to have. It's an excellent problem to have. So if I do that, are they going to fit on the desk? Yes. And I'll try and tilt it towards you actually look at all of those you know uh, while you're laying those out i've just thought of something that would be absolutely beautiful would be to hot fix an umbrella <laughs> even if it's just around the perimeter of the umbrella or on the sort of handle wouldn't oh, that be good oh my goodness that would be amazing wouldn't it <laughs> you can't like, use them with or uh, like a like a parasol or something like that yeah. Beautiful. Um, there are 19 packs, and this you'll see that it actually includes quite a lot of the shell. Um, so, okay, sorry, I've got to stop saying shell. Sorry, the, the, the pearl, uh, the Swarovski pearl, which I love. I really love those, and they are super quick as well. For some reason, they're a lot quicker. You um, know, you just said shell. Yeah. Okay. That's reminding me of something. I, um, when we were in the Caribbean, I know that sounds. But when we were in the Caribbean some years ago, I naughtily brought back a conch shell. And it's all pale pink and iridescence inside. Um, shouldn't have done it, but it was a long time ago. And a couple of years ago, I, following the contours of this conch shell, I hot fixed it. And it's in my bathroom. I've just remembered that. And it looks stunning. I bet. I bet. Really beautiful, catching the light. And nobody yeah. else has that now, Linda. You're, <laughs> you, you literally are the only person to have that as, a, as an ornament. So pretty. The colours, let me just list through some of the colours that you're getting. Uh, light grey pearl, um, you're getting so many here. The cream pearls, light, larger light grey pearls, white pearls, um, another white pearls, different size. You've got the crystal AB, you've got black diamonds, you've got chrysolite, which is like a really can you see that one here i'll hold That's it up for you chrysolites are really beautiful like a green yeah. color yeah yeah so really unusual crystal ivory cream lacquer golden shadow vintage rose black diamond crystal ab um you've got pacific opal Ooh, i mean they're very, these are unusual colors in this bundle aren't they oh that way very unusual and i mean you know that's impressive that you're getting such look at that and then that's in the packet yeah the brilliance of that uh, of that of that stone there in the packet imagine once it comes out of that packet yeah. wow yeah it's going to look absolutely incredible and again just for those people that have just tuned in all you need is this that's it 29.95 just brought it to you it's the most competitive price i've ever seen um, that's all you need to get going. Okay, jewellery makers. I told you it was going to be a cracker of a show, but there's still so much more to bring you. Your deal of the day, by the way, is 15 minutes away. The one, as you mentioned, the Caribbean, Linda, we have Larimar coming up oh. as a deal of the day in 15 minutes, and it's a beautiful strand. A beautiful strand. But up next, it's another star by.
Now, um, I look at this bundle, and the other day on, on television, did anybody see the Disney film Moana? Yeah? You know the, is he a crab? He is a crab, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Shiny, that one. He's just drawn to everything shiny. Um, Wayne was singing it earlier on. This bundle must have been the inspiration of Wayne watching that film. Must have been. Because it is so oceanic, so tropical, so, so beautiful in the palettes that you've chosen. Now, you have some of the rarest colours. Uh, the rarest colours, I'm going to grab my tweezers just to show you each of those colours because look at this one I think it's called Paradise Shine I love that one Paradise Shine you've got a really amazing cobalt blue look at that wow. amazing isn't it you have now these I've never seen these before they have a bezel all the way around so they can be almost create like a stud, I suppose. Check out this gorgeous teal colour. You see that? Beautiful, almost like an indicolite. Then you have this dark emerald just here. Twenty of these have gone already. This beautiful deep emerald green. I mean, I could go on. You've got the lightest, more of a, a sort of praise light green here. You've got your A, B just here. I'll call them out because I think their descriptions are wonderful, actually, for, for uh, Swarovski. Um, so you're looking at the pearl white. You're looking at uh, crystal. You're looking at golden shadow. You're looking at, see if I can find the name, sorry, uh, blue zircon. Crystal AB, Emerald, Black Diamond, Capri Blue, Chrysolite, Smoky Mauve, Paradise Shine, and, and, and that's just a few of them. This is an absolutely exquisite bundle. How many do I have of this one? Oh, it's a big quantity. Right, this is on my radar then. This is on my radar, £49.35. pence. I just love the palette, the <coughs> blues and the greens. Do you agree, Linda? Oh my goodness, yeah, uh, um, a vision has just come into my head of buying some reasonably cheap um, Christmas baubles, right, and then hot fixing them with various designs. I can remember, again, this sounds a little bit sort of, I just said Caribbean, and now I'm going to be saying Harrods. But I was in Harrods years ago, and I treated myself to a hot fix Harrods Christmas bauble. It cost me over a hundred pounds. I've still got it. I use it every year, so it was worth every penny. It's an heirloom. Yeah, but you can make those using those. You know, you can get them everywhere, can't you? Those cheaper, um, sort of all different coloured baubles, and yeah. then hot fix them. And that's exactly what that that bauble I bought in Harrods was. Oh, I mean, it's the, kind of, it's the kind of shop that you can imagine these being um, retailed at, can't you? Obviously, not necessarily the components, the finished article, which I yeah. can't uh, emphasize this enough. With the creativity of our jewelry maker customers, you know, if literally the hotfix tool is placed in your hand, a bundle like this, the, uh, you know, the end result is just going to be breathtaking, isn't it? Totally breathtaking, totally unique, totally yours. And the thing, the absolute beauty about that is, you know, you can search the shops yeah. looking for something, that image that you've got in mind. Well, that image that you've got in mind, you can make yourself now. Mm -hmm. You haven't got to do it, and you can make it at a sort of fraction, fraction of a fraction of the price. Um, Adam's just said, could I, could I literally hot fix onto my wall? I don't see yeah. why not. Of course you can. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I've done that. I've For a kid's room. Like, literally on the plaster around the light switch. I have got that in my uh, bathroom upstairs. Oh, amazing. Um, do you know, I I've just been wallpapering the baby's room, actually. I like wallpapering. I find it really therapeutic. But I'm just picturing like a little girl, something very whimsical. You've got fairies. You've got unicorns. Imagine actually turning that wallpaper into something two-dimensional with your hotfix gun. Absolutely. You know, these sort of murals that you can get now for, for kids' rooms. and Or, actually, again, I do apologise for this, but I've just revamped my, um, my summer house in the garden. Mm. My, my husband calls it my posh shed, right? 
into the summer hat. And um, I bought a sort of um, sticker of Coco Chanel, you know, um, women should adorn themselves in ropes and ropes of pearls. And I'm going down the garden after this show and I'm going to hot fix the word pearls with my hot fix pearls. Wow. So, you know, it, it just brings on more and more and more inspiration. I agree. Uh, we've got a few people asking, saying, have you got smaller bundles? Um, well, let's see. Let's see. Yes, this is one of them. There's only 28. Are you ready? For those of you that were shouting out for uh, smaller bundles, you're going to have to be quick on this one. Um, we say smaller. One, two, three, four, ten. There's ten. Ten <laughs> packs still. We're going to take it under 20 pounds. Under twenty pounds. Again, you've got your uh, black diamond. Oh gosh, I can't. That one I've not even seen. I don't think that colour there is that like an amethysty colour. So let's have a little look. You've got your pearls, a hundred of those. Um, you've got a slightly different size, forty-eight amethyst, blue rose, crystal, emerald, paradise shadow, black diamond, crystal AB, and emerald. Um, so we had less than thirty of these. Under twenty pounds. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable to even imagine that we can get hold of this amount of Swarovski for anywhere near these prices. Down to the final one. Wow. Oh, I, I would like to ask Wayne where he's, he's definitely found somewhere in the warehouse that these have been hiding. Well, he did just say... there to... are so many colours, and I, I can sniff Swarovski at 20 paces, right? <laughs> and um, he's been somewhere, and he's found colours I didn't know we'd got. D D Wayne did just say 80% of our hot fix that's in our warehouse is in this show. So, I would imagine it absolutely yeah. is. Probably more like 90. Probably. Did you say number one? Here we go. Do you want under £20 again, jewellery makers? I've got 30 of these. That's a lot of, that's a lot of Swarovski. All hot fix. They are all hot fix and they will all go, oh gosh, I can't even hold them all. And they will all go, oh look! Stars! Oh wow! They will all go with your hot fix gun. Um, under £20, £18.95. pence. That's so you've crazy. got Rivoli's, you've got Mauve, you have White Pearl, you have Crystal AB, you have Crystal Antique Pink, Amethyst Crystal AB, Paradise Shadow, Tanzanite in there, Stars. Yeah, I mean, guess what? It's gone. Sold out. Well done. <laughs> well done, well done. Oh, that's astonishing. That, the bargains there, Elle, are just... I know. It's, I, it's, it's, it's a cracking, cracking show today. And we've got your little... The mini babushka faces coming up in the 12 o'clock hour and Larimar as a deal of the day. What we might do, jewellery makers, just because we're... We're all hot fixing now, aren't we? We might push the deal of the day back half an hour so we can bring you all the hot fix right now. Um, here we go. 84 of these are available. What's such a decadent, a really decadent combination? So can you see? Need to jiggle this. Those are the rose gold ones. Can you see that? Not actually rose gold, but they're the rose gold colour. And then you've got the black here as well. So they're mixed bags in different sizes. So they go from 3 up to 7.1. Um, in jet, crystal rose gold, and also um, 100 pack in the 4 mil jets. We, you're going to do what? How about the lowest ever price on your hot fix bundle? Yes. There's 84 of them. You know, Elle, those, those packets are really useful because they've got all the different sizes in them. Yeah. And that I, one that's beautiful. I mean, 12 95 is, 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 is minuscule amounts for this, the quality of this product and this brand. I said earlier on, Linda, that one of the things that I do when, I, when I'm making with Swarovski is I cut, you know, the brand, the name at the top, which I'm just showing you with... Just mm -hmm. here. So I cut that straight across, and if I make something, I literally pop that in the box. So the person knows that it is genuine Swarovski. We're not talking Good about, idea. you know, that's an inferior. That's a great idea. Do, do you agree with me? It's not an inferior Absolutely. crystal. Absolutely, yeah. That, that's a great idea. There you go. Twelve ninety-five. You've got hundreds here. Um, and, and I really like the combination, the black and rose gold combination. Very decadent, that, isn't it? So yeah, I can... I can see that on a, again, 
let's let's make this babushka Christmas tree with the baubles all draped in hot fix as well. Well, I need to. I need. To, bye. I'm going to do that now. Oh, she's she's a hot fix in your baubles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Baubles. That's yes. great. Yes. Everybody hot fix. I tell you what, do a hot fix rainbow and put it in your window. Ah, oh, yes. I love all these ideas that are coming out. Literally, there's there's no limits, really, is there? Or very, very few, I should say. Very few. I mean, you said jewelry boxes earlier on. I mean, gosh. And what about what about your glasses, your specs? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, what number was that? No. Um, Adam was saying paint a kid's room black on the ceiling and then make it turn it into a night sky, like spacey. Amazing. <laughs> what next? What num I've got to re I'm really trying to make sure that these go back in exactly the right box because uh, Laura will be, she won't like me otherwise. Um, oh, this is a pretty bundle. Linda. I mean, brides all over the world. You have two packets of your clear Swarovski and two packets of your aquamarine. This is pretty colorings. There are less than 50 of these though. 12 pounds 95. So you could, you could stick to colour themes, couldn't you? You know, I, I'm going down the wedding route just because of the something blue. Well, yeah. certainly, um, if you are doing, if you're doing, um, if you've got a, a hobby of your, you know, making cards and card craft and all that sort of thing, this obviously you can very much use within that. I know when my daughter got married, as I said, um, I printed a lot, all of the stationery and it was like a um, an outline of a winter tree in black with a little bird sitting on the branch and I hot fixed wow. all around um, in little, you know, uh, say six or seven on each one. And it just, it was just so special. Yeah, I bet. Um, that's what you just said branch what a great idea have you ever seen sort of you know you find sometimes on maybe a, a, a walk you might find a really beautiful gnarly branch yeah. and uh, one of my friends has uh, does this she actually spray paints them white you know sort of an old branch that's broken off a tree and she'll spray paint it white and at Christmas in particular she hangs lots of her decorations from them but how lovely would it be to spray paint it white and actually put again like hot fix on there so pretty exactly. all these ideas um, well, the, the ideas are just infinite, to be truthful, aren't they? 17. Here we go. Yeah, exactly. There's only 19 of these. Now, these are the bigger of your hot fix. So, kind of like, um, if you imagine the dimensions of a one-carat diamond. Uh, it's about 7, 8 mil. Yeah? That's what you're getting with these. Now, these, dial quickly on these ones. Because they are the larger ones and they shouldn't be. There's a lot. <laughs> I really am struggling to hold them all. Um, 19 available, 7 millimeters, so they shouldn't be this, this price. They absolutely shouldn't be that price tag. So they take, uh, it's, it's just a slightly different, uh, a, a slightly longer, making sure that the glue is actually adhered. And very gently move your hot fix gun around. Is that right, Linda? Yeah, first of all, keep the hot fix gun in place on the center of that stone and um, take the hot fix gun off and then just touch that stone after a second or two because uh, it goes cold very quickly, the stone itself does. And if it doesn't um, particularly move at all, pop your hot fix gun back on and just move it gently, gently, ever so gently, little yeah. movement over the top. And it, and it you, well, you said earlier on, actually, in the nine o'clock hour that... Um, Alice bands are massive at the moment, yeah. aren't they? Totally, totally. Yeah. Really expensive. See, there is so many things that jump in. You can just sit, I can sit here and look around my room 
and think that fireplace needs hot, hot fixing. fixing that, hot um, fix. that cabinet over there, the TV screen could be hot. Actually, I forgot that. I've got a television on the wall in the um, in the kitchen. I bought 10 years ago. And honestly, I promise you, I can show you a photo of it. I've hot fixed the edge. You've hot fixed your telly? Yeah. I just, I need to see all this, Linda. One day I'm going to come round your house and look yeah. at how, just how, just how beautifully <laughs> hot fixed, decadently be stunning your decor actually is. I'm not surprised that your, your, your decor is stunning. Um, so this is all around the pearls. You know, we said that we had that we had the pearls. I was really fond of these. If you find them, I only, um, if you look at the frame that I did, I used the pearls first. I actually used the pearls first. Um, they stick really well. I, if I was in a position like you right now, jewelry makers, I would absolutely be dialing through on this one. I love the pearls. Twenty-four ninety-five. Oh, Wayne says, nah. Should we take them under ten pounds? What? Can we even buy them at that, Wayne? You went no, well, as if to say, what you don't tell me, don't say it, L. Don't say it. Okay. How beautiful would these be on bridal shoes? Oh yes. You spend. I, I, listen, from from when when I got married. Um, it's, it was actually one of the things I really begrudgingly paid. I didn't want to spend a, a, a big amount of money on shoes. And that's very unlike me. Um, because I thought, well, you're not going to see them. Um, I want them to be really comfortable. So anyway, I did buy a pair of, of, of not expensive, just, just, just ivory shoes. But if I was to look at something which was per Swarovski pearl embedded, then you would have been talking about three figures at least. At least, at least, and probably starting with the three. Yeah, Manolo Blanket style prices. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you know? I mean, the pearl and the crystals work together beautifully, creating texture. That price is basically, Wayne, unforgivable. <laughs> he says, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, can you make a note of this item code? Oh, he says there's not going to be any of them left. Uh, yeah, I'm just thinking, shoes, they'd be beautiful. Get some oh. really lovely s shoes. I don't know, ones which, maybe some shoes which you've grown tired of, you're a little bit bored of. Let me get this packet down yeah, here. We're talking about doing, again, harping on Christmas decorations and that, but can you imagine with the pearls? I'd like to make, like with you now, Elle, baby's first Christmas. <gasps> <laughs> Do you know oh, what? Dear. We're going to have a nation of hot fixers after today. That would be lovely. Adam saying a plain black blazer, hot fix that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I love yes. it. I love all of these ideas. Uh, okay. What number, sorry? An encrusted baseball cap? Yeah. Maybe a, a, a trilby? <gasps> I mean, if you actually That's look nice at idea. those items um, in the shops or online, um, you know, you can get them sort of high street, you can get them really, you know, high designer. Mm. Just look at the prices. Yeah, exactly. And the ones that are the cheaper ones are not so Oh, crystal. definitely not. They'll be an inferior uh, crystal. Um, absolutely. Yeah. And you do see the difference, don't you? I think, you know, if you look at something that's Swarovski next to something that's not, um, yeah. you can see the difference. They are yeah. apps. There's a reason why they are globally recognized um, and let's not forget this is this was this product was de developed in 1974 so they've bettered it and bettered it and bettered it ever since then um, you heard of Linda's experience then when you were actually saying that once it, it was um, um, an electric tool now it's battery operated so you can hot fix on I don't know if you've got a long car journey to do when we're when we're allowed to escape then you know take your hot fix gun with you why not <laughs> Oh my goodness me! I just, I just want to go and hot fix at the moment. Ignore that. That's the phone ringing. Somebody's, somebody's saying, Linda, what are all these hot fix bundles? Seven ninety five, Linda, for this bundle. That's just. I mean, I, I can't work out that discount. It's enormous. 
Um, yeah, it is enormous. You're right. So the colours you're getting here, the green is the chrysolite, um, four mil. You've got four mil crystal. You have uh, crystal ivory cream lacquer, which are these ones here, just really beautiful. They're a little bit like the opal colour, um, and you have the golden shadow. It's a stunning colour combination. All of these are four mil. I like the four mils a lot like four mil gemstones um, we have coming up uh, some more of your babushka dolls so i could hot fix onto my faux pom-poms couldn't i yes i've done that at home yeah i have done that yeah um, yeah definitely you can hot fix on. I mean, we are literally just saying this, 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 this. There is no boundaries. Well, very, very, very few boundaries, should we say, to the hot fix gun. Um, lots of these bundles, and I kid you not, 80 to 90 percent, did you say? Um, are it actually in today's show? So that's it. That's all we actually have at the moment. Um, I can remember. And remember, Kleshner actually, she, she hot fixed because she, she goes traveling quite a lot. How many of us have been in this situation? You buy, you buy a suit, your suitcase and you're waiting for it. You're waiting for that. Oh, it's, the, it's, that, it's that time of the holiday that I dread. You just, oh, God, please get my suitcase so I can go home. You just, <laughs> yeah. you just want a cup of tea. That's all you want to do. You want to get home, don't you? So you stood there waiting and you don't recognize your suitcase because there's lots of the same ones. Have, you, have we all been in that situation? You can personalise your suitcase. You know. <laughs> and you have people not? on that console go, ooh, look at that. Ooh, That's a nice that. suitcase, isn't it? Um, okay, who wants another massive bundle? Coming up next in Starby. This is a big bundle. I'm going to have to use the overhead camera again <clears throat> because I'm going to try and put it in some kind of order. There is a lot here. Your pearls. You have your pearl. You have this wonderful, almost hematite like colour. Not seen those before. This is more of a, a creamy pearl. You have your hematite, but in a smaller size. <gasps> We have butterflies. I feel like I'm, I'm reading someone's cards. <laughs> you have, you have <laughs> three millimeter pearl. You have some of those lovely drops. I love those. Now these, that's that one there is like a like a paradise shine. This one here is like a. I want to describe it like a, oh chrome. There we go. It's described as chrome. Then you've got some more of your formula in that stunning green. You have more of your amazing pearls. You've got some of your 8 mil in your emerald colour. You have your 8 mil clear colour. You've got those ones, can, oh, I have to come around here, with a bezel mm. in the gold. And you've got the silver with a bezel. It's a big bundle, isn't it? Now, the fact that we've actually got these are little butterflies. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know how many times. Linda, do, how many times do I have to do this to you? Oh. I don't actually push it. <laughs> um, so, so you've got, I'll list them out actually. The Butterfly Crystal AB. Light Chrome 6 pairs just there um, you've got I won't go through all of the cream uh, all of the pearls rather but they're a dark gray pearl that's what they're actually described as and a hematite pearl as, as I suggested you've got the ones with the bezels just here gold ring and they've also got the silver ring the two different green colors you colors you've got erinite and emerald so this is erinite that's emerald and there's the clear it's a big bundle 44 pounds and 35 pence for more, so much hot fix, honestly, you're going to be, you are literally, I can imagine, your, your partners, your spouses, your friends, your loved ones will be like, um, do you want to come out? No, can't, sorry, I'm hot fixing. Uh, isn't it time to go to bed? No, I want to finish hot fixing. Um, do you want to have your dinner? No, hot fixing. You're going to be distracted. 
for, for, for a long, long, long time because it is such fun. Emma's just literally said to me, I want a hot fix gun. They are such fun. Yeah, they are. Um, and the thing about hot fix um, products is um, the more you have, let's say the more colours you have, if you know that there are any more colours, you want those as well. Yeah. Um, so it's best to put them into your storage and that's so that you can see exactly what you've got. But can you imagine having all of um, all of these wonderful colours and um, finishes on them, um, ombreing around a photograph frame or something like that, which is, you can really do successfully with Swarovski because they do have so many varieties yeah. of their main primary colours. Well, it's a massive thing and that, and that's really what started, you know, what, or what pushed Swarovski into the, 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 the fashion and jewellery market was actually using them in fabric. Initially, I mean, if I'm going back to, Mar to Marilyn Monroe's dress, um, they were sewn on, weren't they? They were actually literally yeah. sewn on by hand. Well, modern technologies have made it a whole lot easier. Um, so you can actually, this, this, is, this is a safe, secure glue. I, by the way, I've only got four more Hotfix bundles to bring you, um, and they're quite limited. Hi, Natasha. Do you need to attach uh, different tips to the Hotfix tool for different size rhinestones? No. No, you can, I mean, the, the one... Do you know, I can't recall um, whether there are two with that gun, actually. You might be able to get different sizes, but you don't have to. But you absolutely don't. not, no. I mean, the best, the best thing to have is a generic, the generic size. Yeah. Which actually covers um, all of them, then. As we said before, that you can move the... Yeah, um, just move it. Move it around. But on the small ones, okay, don't be worried about sort of singeing around the edge when you're using any of the two mils because it's domed. The outer edge of that gun isn't touching the fabric. No, and it almost dis it looks like, if I show you here, uh, sorry, Natasha, um, a two mil, it al you almost, uh, at first I was like, oh! I've sucked it up the vacuum <laughs> and I thought it was dis <laughs> I was like, oh no, but it does come out as soon as you release the, the, the actual, um, um, the gem, if you like, the Swarovski itself. So no, all the eight mils, and eight mils is the largest that we've brought you today, um, all can be adhered using this hot fix gun. You don't have any, you, don't, you literally, when, when Linda and I are saying, you don't need any additional tools. You know, um, so can you hot fix Beads. Yes. There you go. Um, I mean, I know for a fact that we have some wooden beads um, in the warehouse. Um, they would be hugely successful, wouldn't they? Hot fixing onto a wooden bead. Yeah. Um, but certainly, yes, I mean, you can hot fix onto, let's say, um, the large um, ceramic beads and things like that, definitely. So, so sorry. What was that, Adam? Oh, uh, so I, I think I think yes, you can. Um, w I mean, I've just been doing it with Agate. It takes a bit longer, I think, because they're so highly polished, and um, and they're cool. Gemstones tend to be quite cool. There are certain gems that I would probably avoid. Um, yeah. I guess we have to use some sort of common sense there. You know, like things like. Um, I probably wouldn't hot fix on something that doesn't like heat. Um, I'd probably be a little bit more careful about things like, I'm not saying you can't, but I'd be, I'd practice on a pearl. I would, I'm not saying you can't do it, yeah. but they're yeah, genuine but, gemstones. But, but use, a, use a shell pearl. I mean, yeah. why would you really hot fix a cultured pearl? Use a shell pearl. I want to hot fix everything, Linda. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's right, yeah. Um, I, I think, I think, do you, gemstones, yes you can, There's, it's not a no, but just be careful with certain gemstones, because like, like fluorite, the more fragile ones, I would definitely be more careful with. Um, okay, what number was that? Uh, what number was this one? <laughs> I can't, I can't remember, eight? There we go. Okay, okay. These are going to be quite uh, quick and speedy auctions now because we are coming to the end and limited. Uh, um, they're limited and these are going to be very affordable as well. Um, so for your golden shadow, 
at the second most popular colour of your Swarovski, all in your 7 millimetres. I only have 37, so in answer, yes, the hotfix gun will adhere these. They just take a little bit longer um, and for the glue. Because it's got, you've got to melt the glue. Obviously, it's a bigger surface area, isn't it? What? 595? <laughs> uh, I, think, I think I'm actually asleep. I think I'm dreaming about... Uh, it's not real. This is not real. It's certainly not normal, is it? No. No. I mean, no. I'd possibly say yes, five ninety-five for one of those packets, and that's a JM price tag. But yeah. this is um, this is not normal hotfix prices, though. I've that's not seen hotfix at these prices. Gone. No, definitely. Um, you know it, jewelry makers. That's why you're snapping them all up. Okay, let's do. Okay, limited bundle again. Here, attached. I've only got 38 of these. Oh, it's a lovely colour. They're attaching themselves to me now, these packets. Look at this. I think this is going to sell really quickly. Pacific Opal. Oh, I like those as well. Like a parade, like a parade bar opal. Yes. You can see the inspiration. How on earth are these 5 95 again? I love, I love, Triple Trouble, Wawowski. Wa <laughs> Wawowski. <laughs> Don't worry, Wayne. You, that's a lot of typing that you did with these bundles. Amazing. <laughs> Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing sold out. Congratulations. Wawowski. Hmm, I like it. <laughs> Moving on to. I've only got two more bundles left, so we're coming to the end of our little hot fix show. I love... There's just an element of class with this bundle. So it is your black diamonds. And you get a pack of 48. So is this triple trouble? So you've got just shy of 150. What? Five pounds and 95 pence. I mean, I, I, sh I should be getting used to this now, shouldn't I? After, okay. Yeah, this, the black, sorry, Al, the black diamond is not jet black. No. It's almost like um, a graphite colour. Yeah, the jet. So it, it's really sparkly. The jet is the opaque black, kind of like yeah. a spinel. The black yeah. diamond has clarity, doesn't it? Yeah, it certainly does, yeah. Gone. Ah, oh, the final one. But then we go to Larimar, so let's not sulk too much. Larimar as a deal of the day, amazing. Um, that's going to be a quite a quick auction because it is quite limited. I've got less than 50 of the Larimar. This is our finale. I do love these. Now, they're described as your flat back uh, drops. They make the most beautiful little flowers. Beautiful flowers. Nice little flowers. Very cool. Do you think Willow's going to be a, co a cool kid in her little trainers? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Gosh. You'll have a little queue at the door when lockdown's over. Yeah. Can you do all little some of those trainers? Saying, well, Auntie L, can you yeah. make my trainers like that, please? It'll be like, no, you need to tune into a hot thick show. Yeah, hot. Very well. <laughs> tune no. into Jewelry Maker. Um, it's gone. All gone. Take a little look back, though, jewellery makers, um, on the website because we might have a few bundles left over. Which one do you want me to recap? Which one? Oh, recap on the, on the actual hotfix gun itself. Um, I've got how many left? Fifteen. Fifteen of these left. It is probably the most straightforward tool. I mean, I've, I've got the Dremel tool. I actually still am a little bit intimidated by the Dremel tool. Still find it just a little bit scary. Um, I've got a few sort of tools over, uh, uh, of, which I've accumulated over the years. The Hotfix one, it's literally battery operated. Little vacuum, you press this button. You've got the trigger. Let's turn it on. You've got the little light. <laughs> You've got the little... Uh, <laughs> You've got the little light light to direct you as well. So listen to this. 
and then you release to actually secure it and hold the hot, hold this on top of the hot fix. There's no inter interchangeable heads. It's the same one. It's so simple. It's so simple. We have 15 of these left and over, did you say 29 in baskets? 29 in baskets. And listen, Emma here wants one. Mm -hmm. Emma wants one. Okay. It's, very, it's very therapeutic. Well, there's nine of them left. Obviously, make sure you turn it off because that is hot. And obviously, put your, yeah, your, put the lid. Uh, your nib on the top there. But, you know, it, um, let's face it, really, if you've bought a load of hot fix, you've got to have that tool, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. You, you, you have, and, and then you've got that tool, and then you can continue to purchase hot fix, knowing that you're ready and waiting uh, for your delivery. Yeah, you're never going to have to buy another bit of equipment again, are you? No, that's no, it. No. That's it. Um, right, we're going to cut to a very quick break, but um, jewellery makers, don't go anywhere because we're actually going to talk to you about your deal of the day. The deal of the day is a one locational gemstone. It's one that we seldom see here at Jewellery Maker. I know, uh, Linda, it's one of your favourites too. I mean, yeah. the definition of the Caribbean, it is the beauty that is Laramar. It was an age of fire. Volcanoes were emerging from a tumultuous ocean to become mountains. Lava flows were solidifying to become land masses. As the lava flowed and receded, tunnels and cavities formed that soon filled with unique minerals, crystallizing beautifully out of various chemical compounds. But this volcano was different. It consisted not just simply of ordinary rock, but copper deposits. And as the crystals formed in the cavities, they chemically interacted with the copper, turning the white pactolite crystals into a variety of blues. This is the only place in the world where this occurred, and it would change the future forever. History records that on the 22nd of November of 1916, Father Miguel Domingo Fuertes Loren of the Barahona Parish requested permission at the Dominican Ministry of Mining to explore and exploit the mine of a certain blue rock. Since nobody knew what the Catholic priest was talking about, the request fell through and the heaven blue stone was lost in the limbo of Latin American bureaucracy. While for decades the locals of the Bauruco municipality went to the beach to collect these blue pebbles, it took until the 1970s that the significance of the stone was established. Miguel Mendes, an artisan from Santo Domingo, heard rumors of the rock and went to find it. It took him and a geologist friend, Peace Corps volunteer Norman Rilling, several trips until they could actually find any evidence of it. They knew they had something special on their hands, they just couldn't prove it. A small sample sent to the Smithsonian Institute came back with the note that it was industrial waste. Not until they sent a larger sample to the Institute that it was established that they had found a new type of pectolite mineral. After a long debate over the name, Miguel took his young daughter's name Larissa and the Spanish word for sea, mar, and formed Lari Mar to reflect the mineral's ocean-like appearance. The name stuck. As it turns out, the few stones they found were alluvial sediments washed into the sea by the Bauruco River. An upstream search revealed the in-situ outcrop in the range, and before soon, the Los Chupaderos mine tapped the only Larimar outcropping in the whole world. The 45-minute drive to the mine is a bone-rattling uphill struggle. The road is often taken care of, but a single heavy rain can wash it out completely. Even cemented stretches don't survive the Caribbean weather for long. And yet there are several small communities up here, the last of which is the mine itself. The mining town, a small shanty town, serves as a temporary accommodation for the miners and their families. Since it's so far away from everything, the community brings everything that it needs to sustain itself, living here as one big family. Because like with any family, their lives depend on each other. You wouldn't recognize the area as an extinguished volcano if it were not for the heaps of volcanic rocks dug out from the mine holes. The mines themselves are only a few feet from the shacks, holes dug either vertically or horizontally into the dead volcano. As a matter of fact, some just go down straight vertically before turning horizontally, 
Others begin horizontally and then go straight into the mount before going vertically and then horizontally again. Always zigzagging around following the Larimar veins. It's a virtual maze dug into the mountain. And there are dozens of holes and tunnels, perforating the steep slopes like a Swiss cheese. The deepest hole is believed to be at over 500 meters dug deep into the mountainside. The holes are claustrophobically narrow. They're held up by wooden beams and sometimes concrete, and it takes a special kind of courage to venture into them. Indeed, mining Larimar is dangerous. Although, according to the miners, cavens are not as common as one would believe, the most common peril is suffocation. To avoid this, each hole has been fitted with large PVC tubes that feed fresh air into them, powered by a primitive turbine. The tubes are also used for communication with the miners underground. One man is always assigned to make sure everything is in order and to stand by at the hole. On any given workday, there are on average 10 to 15 people in every hole, but the deeper the hole, the more people it needs. And there are several dozens of holes, which means there's an average of 600 miners toiling underground in the hole of the area at any given time. Their nationalities vary between Dominicans, Haitians, and even a few Venezuelans, all working side by side, their lives depending on each other. Income is based on shared profits. Groups of miners work in individual holes, and whatever that hole makes is shared equally among the miners. The average is around 500 pesos a day, which translates to about 12,000 pesos a month, or about 240 US dollars, or 200 euros. While not a lot, it is above the country's minimum wage of a little more than 8,000 pesos. And some months they can make much more if there is a big find of good quality. But then a hole also may run dry for months until the new vein is found. In that time, nobody makes any money. You just dig. The risk does not seem to equal the pay. But with few other options in the area besides farming, the miners are glad to work here, always hoping for the next big vein. Once the stones are extracted and taken down the mountain, they're sold to buyers, of which some own Larimar workshops sitting along the coastline. The export of raw stones has been banned to give the local artisans a chance to create unique Dominican-made jewelry. And to buy raw stones is also risky, because the individual rocks need first to be cut open. It is difficult to look into the stone, and if you have bad luck, there's only little of the blue pectolite inside. If the quality is good, the rocks are cut into pieces or slabs, which the artisan uses for his work. The slabs are cut to size, ground to shape, and polished to perfection, always using grinding wheels and water. In the hands of an experienced artisan, it can take only a few minutes, and a beautiful blue cabochon can emerge from a previously gray rock, ready to be set in silver or even gold, depending on the color or the shape of the crystal formation. The volcanic gem we call now volcanic blue sometimes shows as turquoise blue with white clouds, sometimes ocean green, and then sometimes with red copper freckles. And each sheening gem is singular and guards a scene of breathtaking resplendence of an image of the Caribbean Sea turned into a gemstone. All this makes Larimar more than just a pretty rock. It has become the gem ambassador of the Dominican Republic here in the center of the Caribbean. I mean, is that not the most beautiful tale of a gemstone's journey and how we fell in love with this miracle of the Caribbean? It truly is, I think, the most exotic of all gemstones out there. Um, but unfortunately, with it being a one location and being one, well, the rarest variety of pectolite, pectolite is normally grey or white, but in the Dominican Republic, it is found in these beautiful blues. Not all of it is found in these beautiful blues. Um, and they also don't know how long that this wonderful treasure will be available to us. So a relative newcomer, that being said, it's been adored by their ancestors for many, many years. They actually believed that this was part of the lost city of Atlantis. Um, 
So they recognised these blues, but it wasn't more commercially recognised until the 1970s. I could probably count on one hand, in fact, no, I definitely can. I can count on one hand the amount of Larimar I have seen this year. Very, very, very seldom. And I have to tell you, the quality that you're looking at for your deal of the day is stunning. The more obvious those blue tones, the more desirable the actual gemstone is. Now what we're going to do, because this is less than 50 available, we're going to bring, uh, introduce a clock, 60 seconds, count you down to your graphics, make it fair for everybody. So the clock is actually ticking. A gemstone that exhibits beautiful silky lustres and that distinctive patterning almost like sunlight across the rippling soft gentle Caribbean seas. Um, it is the only source of blue Larimar and it comes from the Filipinas mine um, in Los Chesne, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, and it's formed, as you heard, within volcanic chimneys or tubes, sometimes pushed upwards through the hot gases that actually surface to uh, the Earth's crust. Mostly, though, the miners will dig at great depths. They work together, which is wonderful. This is not an operation where miners literally go off on their own or in little, even in little small groups. What, what, what offerings are unearthed from the Larimar mine Every single miner shares. So it's, you know, if, if, you're, if one miner is having a particularly good day and another miner isn't, they share the fruits of their labour collectively. So it's a really, really, really wonderful gemstone to source. 55 carats you're getting. Look at this actual beauty of those deep pectolite blues. It's, an, uh, it's a rare opportunity. As I said, normally pectolite as a mineral forms in like a grey or white colour. This beautiful tone is actually a direct result of a copper presence uh, within the actual gemstone itself. Um, one hand, honestly, uh, in fact less than, the, you know, the digits on my hand, I, I, I have not seen Larimar. I've, I, I, I probably... In fact, I don't even know if I've even brought it to air once this year. I genuinely don't even know. But it's seldom ever seen. And it can, can command some of the highest price tags. If you're lucky enough to have ever been to Dominican or to any of the Caribbean islands, you will have seen Larimar, for sure. You will have definitely seen it. But what you will have also seen is higher price tags in finished pieces of jewellery than what's on your screens right now. Because in actual fact, and we have got some fantastic relations um, with traders actually in the Dominican Republic and they even say I mean this is unusual even if you were to go to that location they make the most of the tourism trade and they increase the prices maybe that that what you'll see here at jewelry maker in fact not maybe they actually do they actually do that so Truly, I do think Jewelry Maker and certainly the Gemporia family are, 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 are the location or certainly one of the best locations to be sourcing this gemstone with our contacts. If you're looking for quality at the most affordable price tag, let's bring your deal of the day. I know it's late. I know it's late, but listen, we wanted to sort of throw, um, not sort of, I don't know, Larimar here, hot fix there. It was going to be hot fix, and then let's go into the deal of the day, because it's a hugely exciting gemstone. Um, I've brought Paraiba Tourmaline more often than I've actually brought Larimar to air. I've brought Alexandrite more often to air than I actually have your Larimar. It is the very, very definition of exotic, isn't it? And it's the very definition of beautiful There were, I say were as in past tense, I'm just checking my sheets, 48 of these available. Imagine, and I'm not talking about your big high street jewellers, do you notice how whenever you hear Larimar, it's not a gemstone that you hear you know, big jewellery designers' names associated to? Why is that? Is it because they don't love the gemstone? Categorically, no way. Um, you heard, you heard uh, Jake saying about the other day that, that that new gemstone that we launched that all completely sold out. Um, Aquaphrase. That looks actually it's the only gemstone I can actually say has got a similarity to it. The reason why we don't see Larimar in the big jewellery houses is it simply isn't plentiful enough. 
This is a collector's stone. It is a valuable stone, but it's, it's not, it, it can't even be entered into consideration for the big jewelry designers to enter, to, to, to sort of de design a collection because that has to be multiple pieces at exactly the same quality. Here at Jewelry Maker, we can bring you 48, but it's 48 of a parcel of this gemstone. That is not your price tag. This is the deal of the day. It simply had to be the deal of the day because it's Larimar, and I generally don't think I've seen it this side of uh, this, this, well, 2020. I don't think I have. 49.95. I'm not bringing you Larimar, which is cloudy, which is grey, which is inferior quality. I'm bringing you Larimar, which has got that wonderful copper presence, and it is that which is uh, responsible for producing those absolutely beautiful. Um, unique blues it's shiny it's stunning color like I said uh, owed to traces of copper but sometimes you will see trace amounts of red and brown and that's a result of the oxidization process um, and the presence of the iron within the gemstone Larimar with less white and more exotic blues are the most desirable and the most uh, the most valuable. Hi, Atina. I fought Larimar in the Dominican in the Dominican Republic. Sorry, and it's very very expensive. Beautiful gemstone. It is. And listen, I've I've heard from quite a few different jeweler, uh, jewelry experts and gemstone experts and investors and traders, and they all say the same. They capitalise, and it's. Genius, why wouldn't you? You know, if you think if you're on holiday, um, everybody's in a slightly different mindset, everybody's relaxed and, you know, you know, you've got your holiday spending money, what, you know, you're looking maybe to treat yourself and indulge. Um, so that what they do, uh, the Dominican Republic, what they do is increase the prices, but they do that actually in all of your Caribbean islands. So you're actually better off buying it at home and then maybe wearing it to that destination. Um, it is a gemstone that we've absolutely loved and for as long as I've been working here at Jewelry Maker it's been one of our um, dearest treasures, however one that we don't get to show very frequently. How, how many do we have? There are, oh, nine left within the vault. Hertrude, Maria, Annette, Alison, Heather, Terence, Tynan Ware, Essex as multi-bought collector, well done to you, Tracy, Angela, Diane in the Shetland Isles, hello to you, Anne, multi-buying, Marie, multi-buying, Kerry, multi-buying, Suzanne, well done to you, Jane in Merseyside. Why do you think everybody's choosing to multi-buy? Because it's a gemstone we don't see, and it's a gemstone that I can guarantee you will fall in love with. Although commercially it's very new, ancestors, as I've said, uh, have long prized this Caribbean gemstone. Um, it was rediscovered in 1974, as you've just actually heard and named after uh, Miguel Mendez's daughter. And the combination of her name and, of course, the word Spanish word for the sea. But sometimes you might hear of this gemstone referred to as... Uh, uh, the Caribbean stone or the Atlantis stone and that's based on old legends which claim that the Dominican Republic was once part of the lost city of Atlantis. It's just got the most beautiful story. Four of these are left in the world. Once they're gone, they're gone. June, Cambridgeshire, London. I've got Jules and Deborah there and I've got people on the phone lines as well. Well done. It is stunning. Do you know... I probably wouldn't even invest the whole amount of this Larimar. I would probably take a section, just like that, onto one of your slider bracelets. How beautiful. Well done, everybody. Totally natural Larimar. Totally natural. Um, I have one more Larimar, but I have five. I have five available. It's a finished necklace. Gosh, that's a lot. Are you actually kidding me? So this comes from Gemporia. It's a finished necklace, sterling silver, with your extended clasp. Five of you are going to get a major deal here. We're going to go straight down. We're not going to mess around because this is ridiculous. Well, you saw it stop me in my tracks. That's a lot of Larimar in your beautifully organic nuggets that I just love the textures that these create. At twenty-seven pounds and ninety-five pence, uh, well done, London. Oh, there's a lot of a lot of you love this one. Alison's there, Maria, Kerry, and Amy. But you have to check them out because there was only five. Maria, Kerry, Amy, London. You've done it. There's one more. Who's going to get that last one? Alison. Well done. Well done. Gone.
beautiful. Do you want to just quickly see it at the neckline? Well, it's lovely, isn't it? It's a ridiculous price tag for, uh, for Larimar. How on it? Maxi dress, floaty, nice floppy hat. Ah, oh, beautiful. Um, let's do some last of stock bundles, shall we? Your hot fixed floppy hat, yes. <laughs> uh, let's stick with the Larimar colour. Certainly the inspiration, I believe, of this beautiful bundle. Your aqua agate. There's only 15 of them. So you're getting one, two, three, four strands and one cabochon. Look, all of this, you can hot fix onto these. Absolutely. There's only 15 of them though, so last of stock bundles, jewellery makers, in these beautiful, exotic, I'm going to say that word again, uh, aqua stripe agate blues, £12.95. That's for five separate components. Four strands, the carrot weights you're looking at, 130, 240, 240 and 30 in the cabochon. Each of the strands are 38 centimetres. There's so much potential. If you're a lover of um, your chalcedony as well, um, for me, I'm looking at this bundle and I can definitely see, certainly these ones here, uh, that actually have got a real chalcedony-like appearance to them. Straight down to single figures, everybody. It's a, all, you'll always see, I believe, agates on our, on our screens here at Jewelry Maker, and that is because it's such a firm favourite. It's durable. You get wonderful cut palettes of colours. It works across all your different techniques and mediums. You could incorporate these into your babushka dolls. You could incorporate them into your shibori silks. And there's just, just super potential, I suppose. Over allocated, well done. Okay. Pink crazy lace. So this is your agate, just a bit crazy. I love the names that they come up with. That wasn't funny, was it? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it wasn't really a joke. But the patterning's a little... <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, the patterning's just that little bit. It's not quite so serene. It's more chaotic. Yes, that's what I should have said. Here we go. There we are. Do you see what I mean? You get wonderful um, <coughs> journeys. Look at these beautiful, almost chevrons, and then you also have cloud-like formations. Because the dye, uh, when, when an agate is actually dyed, it'll adhere to certain areas of the actual crystal itself in darker cut patches, and it highlights all of those beautiful patterns. So um, it's, it's, it's almost like revealing the gemstone's actual story. £14. £14.95 pence only for one, two, two of the large rondelles. You've got your large rectangles. You've got these beautiful, well, how would we describe that shape? Barrels. Little barrels. And then you've got your smaller rondelles too. Down to the final two. Check out. Stay where you are on the phone lines. And a hot fuchsia pink. Is Linda still there? <laughs> Linda? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. <coughs> Did you? Adam was like, I have been telling you. Sorry, I didn't think you were there. No, I'm it's sorry. Fine. I've absorbed in all the, the, um, you the this just, last lot of product. It's can you just stunning. butt in and tell me? Oi, Al. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm loving it. What did you think of the Larimar, Linda? Oh, my goodness. I mean, I, I was looking at some Larimar prior to the show this morning, and um, I could only really find, like, one piece of Larimar, perhaps set in a small amount of sterling silver. Yeah. Oh, of three figures um so that larimar was was really special it was an amazing price tag wasn't it incredible it wasn't incredible. larimar that was kind of white or gray no 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 it was it was sort of top end larimar yeah. has got all the um it was sort of that opaque and cloudy which is exactly what you want in larimar yeah. and those beautiful blues um that very high end, that was. I'm, I'm sorry, I am listening to you. It's just Wayne has put together massive bundles. I know. I'm, I, well, yes, I know. Uh, yeah, go on as he means to go on. Seven strands of Druzy you're getting here. In, oh, my goodness me. I don't know if you heard that, Linda. I don't know if you can hear what's going on in the gallery. Oh, I, 
I can't hear what Wayne's saying. Okay, perhaps it's, perhaps it's a good thing. Perhaps <laughs> it's a good thing. So I've got a mixture of your golds, silvers, different colours of your blues, these beautiful terrains, £15.95 for seven strands of Druzy. Wow. That's £2.27 per Druzy strand. I mean, those are singularly um, single um, elements, aren't they? Just one of those on a piece of jewellery. But I just suddenly thought one of those on a babushka. On oh, the... yes. It would work beautifully with the babushka dolls, which, by the way, are coming up in 15 minutes' time. Um, we've got the little babies, the baby babushkas. Oh, mm -hmm. I can't wait, Linda. That's going to be so exciting. Um, but grab these whilst you can. You're right, they're individual components, aren't they? Because you could literally yeah, have they, one they, of those. They, yeah. And what fascinates me is the, um, the different levels of that druzy, how it's formed uh, and created. You know, that sort of... Um, it's not just straight like a lot of druzy that you can find elsewhere it is so much more natural I, I totally and like i said th those those terrains the beautiful yeah. landscapes that you get across the surface of your druzy it holds on to those glistening dustings don't they <laughs> really hold on to it so perfect alongside the babushkas that's a crazy price less than three pound per strand and that's without counting how many is actually on one strand too so that's I mean, you can probably carry that bundle through to Christmas, really. Uh, let me show you. Oh. In all of the hot fix and all of the Larimar, I've become, and your babushkas and the baby babushkas and the pom-poms, I've become distracted and I shouldn't have been. Because we have the most insane rubelite strand. How many? Oh, I've never seen a rubelite of this colour before, other than when we first launched it. Look at this quality. That's completely natural rubelite. I want this strand. I don't want it. I need it. I need it in my life. It's the most beautiful rubelite strand I've ever seen. It's coming up at what time? at the very top of the hour but it's so limited so 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 limited oh and, and actually it's affordable as well it's just crazy okay let's bring you a sunstone now we've got some exciting sunstone parcels being launched by our gem investor jake uh, but in the meantime you can see why it's one of those that sort of captivates even the sort of the you know the the high professionals attention because it is dazzling in its appearance isn't it uh, dazzling in its appearance inside you have these beautiful sometimes hematite sometimes uh, copper uh, little platelets that actually cause a wonderful phenomena called iridescence how about all three strands not 69.95 which is what it would actually uh, should tally um, you've got your drops you've got your top drill drops two strands of those and then also these beautiful I mean that is almost Andalusite like colour orange, isn't it? That really beautiful, juicy Andalusite orange colour you see. How about under £20? £18.95. pence. There are only 18 of these available within the vault and we've got people on the web and on the phone lines straight away. Are you a lover of Sunstone, Linda? Oh, absolutely. Um, I was just thinking about that particular... It's got such a depth of colour in that Sunstone there and such a sparkle that I can see um, it going beautifully with the Larimar. Oh, yes. Really beautifully with the Larimar, um, as it would do with turquoise and anything of that sort of um, turquoisey colours. Beautiful. Sorry, we're all literally oohing and ahhing over that combination, Linda. I think it, it's stunning, isn't it? You could, you've got the warmth of the sunstone. Yeah. The warmth. And both of these are natural. Don't misinterpret sunstone for uh, sandstone. They're two different things. Sandstone is man-made, still pretty. Um, but sunstone is mother nature made. We're over-allocated. Over-allocated. That rubelite is coming up at the top of the hour. I don't want you to miss that. It is insanely beautiful. Um, 
a double trouble fluorite. Oh my goodness, but fluorite, not as we know it. Wasn't that a saying in something? It's fluoride, Jim, but not as we know it. Not as we know it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The, I was singing that song the other day. Honestly, Willow's face was like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so embarrassing, Mum. Look at these. You'll see where I'm coming from, though. Fluorite, but not as we know it. Do you see where I'm coming from? How often do you get the yellow fluorite? It, it, you get the purples, you get the blues and the pinks. How often do we see those beautiful canary yellows, especially two strands, especially of those carrot weight? You've got the wonderful, look at the striping detail. This is a giveaway deal. How many do we have? 41 of these available. So obviously fluorite, you get in multiple colours. It's known as the most colourful mineral on the planet. But I don't think I've ever seen it with such a dominance of yellow. Have you, Linda? No, never. I was just thinking that. But um, the joy of that is you've also got the rainbow um, of the flu uh, fluorite, flu you know, rainbow fluorite. You've also got that within it as well, yeah. which is a real bonus. And it makes it so interesting. Doesn't it? Um, it's a very, I love fluorite. I, I love all of fluorites. I just think it's a phenomenal gemstone. And well, it's basically, I think, the fluorescence from it. It's yeah. got that any sort of a glow. I've just noticed the price because I'm a little bit behind on the, on the iPad that I'm looking at, other than the one I'm working with. And that, again, is... It's crazy. It's well, there's, just a there's, crazy no, there's, there's no rhyme or reason. There's no justification. This is not something that is a lesser quality. It's purely because they are limited. So what we've yeah. done is sort of clearance bundles. You know, you've got to remember, jewelry makers, that we, you, obviously everything's been held back at the moment. Much of our product isn't being delivered at the moment. Um, thankfully, you know, the jewelry maker vault has kind of doubled in size because we've now got Gemporia too. However, you know, we still need those locations because. Can you can imagine the shipment that's going to happen when it does get delivered. I wouldn't want to be in our warehouse's shoes. They're going to be crazy, crazy busy. So that's the only reason I can actually come up with to, to justify those prices. Um, okay, moving on. What are these? These are lovely. I've, okay, so I'm going to say I'm, I've never again. I've never seen mookite in this shape. <laughs> uh, have you? I don't think I've seen mukai in drops. They tend to be in more your beads, don't they? In the rounds and yeah, definitely. more often. Well, there's only 38 of them. This one locational gemstone from uh, Western Australia. You can feel the heat in the gemstone, can't you? You can actually Ooh. feel the warmth in the gemstone. Seven pounds and 95 pence for beautiful natural Australian mookite. Uh, well, I'm saying Australian. They're all Australian. It's only one locational. Um, but I have limited quantity. Seven ninety-five again for mookite. Um, hello to Janet, Neil, and Linda. Hello to Jesse, Linda, Angela, Denise, Paul, uh, Essex. Uh, Annalise is there. Yvonne is there. Congratulations. We have your rubellite coming up, and then we have the launch of your baby babushkas. I can't wait. I can't wait because they are the sweetest, aren't they? The sweetest, sweetest. They're coming up as well in the 12 o'clock hour. Loads of items are actually selling out throughout the course of the morning. I did tell you it's going to be a bit of a corker. I did tell you it's going to be a cracking show. So, okay, are you about to be completely smitten? We are, I, I'm going to put love hearts in your eyes with this next strand. It is nothing other than beautiful. And it's completely Mother Nature created. Welcome to the luxurious and stunningly breathtaking world of Rubellite.
I wish I had more. I truly do. I truly, truly, truly do. But when you look at this next gemstone, just consider that this is solely Mother Nature. There is no enhancement to tourmaline. Um, I want one of these as well. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just answering Wayne. He said the same. There is no enhancement. And of the big three tourmalines, tourmaline is the, one of the most colourful uh, gemstones. Um, it is believed to have once fallen through a rainbow before it was submerged within Mother Nature's earth. And that is how it adopted those wonderful spectrums. But there are three front runners that command the highest price tags and are the most desired. One being Paraba, which is a beautiful blue. Another being Indicolite, which is like a teal, a dark teal. And the other, no particular order, is the romantic, stunning Rubelite. Now, this, I've never seen Rubelite of this quality. Never. You've got... Wayne and myself both saying, I need this strand. I need it. It is the finest quality rubelite I've ever seen at Jewelry Maker, and I've been here since 2011. What, what is the price? Are you kidding me? Have a little look at this strand, and then I'm going to take you to a, a, um, a jeweler, a jeweler site um, called Caterina Perez. And I'm going to show you a necklace and a few other pieces of jewellery from, made from this gemstone. So you're looking at Rihanna, the actual singer, um, and she is modelling the most beautiful rubelite pair. Do you notice when looking at this picture, the deep purple and pinks, purple pinks to purple reds. Rubelite is without doubt one of those big tourmalines, as I said, in the market, and it's well known for maintaining that colour under all different light conditions. And this actually represents one of the methods of qualifying that it is truly rubelite as opposed to being pink rubelite. It must hold on to those gorgeous red colours. Colour, here's another couple of necklaces to show you with rubelite. Colour is the most important factor of valuation of this gemstone, the most saturated and deeper the red colour, uh, the more valuable. So you're looking at here, on the left is Chopard, that's the one that uh, Rihanna was wearing, and on the right is Van Cleef and Ar Arpels, um, all completely smothered in diamonds, of course. Um, the next I'm going to show you, this was interesting and actually it sort of stopped me um, I had to read some more. So you've actually you've actually got a few um, you've got a few designs here. So Ivy New York earrings, uh, a Tiffany and Co ring, and to see the Michelle Ong one, the Michelle Ong necklace that was auctioned at Christie's. Now do you notice that, that that's actually not a faceted stone? It's very big. It's a very 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 large carat weight. It's not faceted. It's actually quite included as well far more so than the other pieces that you're looking at, that auctioned at Sotheby's for $72,000. So we are talking about a gemstone that carries massive, massive weight in, uh, in the jewellery industry. And I'm, I'm sh I was showing you that one there in particular. So it's not a negative for a rubelite to actually have inclusions. Obviously, it's more desired to have clarity, but it's expected because the actual inclusions are as a result of the chemical structure which is responsible for the rubelite's colour. Um, it's often referred to, same as you hear it with emeralds, referred to as le jardin, which is the French word for garden. So it's expected almost. The biggest and most affluent designers in the world um, use and choose rubelite. This one you're looking at is Bulgari. It's a firm favourite and they love to contrast it with other vibrant and rich coloured gemstones like your peridot and garnets and diamonds here. I mean, look at that. It's spectacular, isn't it? So Caterina Perez, Chopard, Van Cleef and Arpels, Harry Winston, Bulgari. It's, they are the ones that actually tend to snatch up rubelite parcels, which makes it very difficult for us to acquire parcels like this. We have 21. I'll say it again. This is the finest rubelite I've ever seen here at Jewelry Maker, and I want it. They are going. Of course they are. That's a completely natural stone. Stones are. Stones. Linda, 
Have you ever seen Rubellite more beautiful here at Jewelry Maker? No, never. The, um, the colour's absolutely superb. And it's obviously cherry-picked for um, the strands. Um, I can imagine them going through saying, yes, that'll work with that, that. You know, and keeping it so um, consistent with the colour. Um, again, I've just been looking online at, at various pieces of jewellery. And as you quite rightly say, you know, the highest, highest end jewellers work with Rubellite. Um, it's just, it's just one of those, you know, the family like tourmaline, I love tourmaline, but within that family, we have got some of the most collectible gemstones in the world. This is one of them. This to me, isn't necessarily me thinking, I want to make some jewellery out of that. That to me is a collector's strand. Absolutely. That's, do you know what? We've just had a text message into the studio, uh, Linda, from Maria in Surrey. It says, hi, Eleanor. I have this strand. It's so beautiful. I will never cut it. Um, I'll look at it every time. Uh, do you know, Maria, I totally get that. I, and I agree with what you're saying as well, Linda. It's heirloom, isn't it? Because to yeah. be truthful, I mean, I've, I've, the jewellers that I worked at had high-end rubellite. It did. But I don't ever remember, and this is actually hand on heart, the gospel truth. I don't ever remember seeing a rubellite which is that deep in its reddish yeah. raspberry colour. And that no, exactly. is what's so... Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that is, that is what you want from that particular yeah. tourmaline. You totally. want that, that red and the purples. Um, and as you say, you know, it's common to have inclusion. It's like an emerald. It's it's accepted that it has inclusions, but looking on screen at that um, at that strand, I can't see them. Well, it's almost sold out, and I'm going to bring. We're going to honour the price that was brought to you by our gem investor, um, by Jake himself. Um, oh, what really? Sorry, I beg your pardon. It wasn't Jake. This was this was Liam. Would you? How on earth have I, I I'm, I'm kicking myself that I haven't seen this strand up until now. It was only on last week. This is literally its second airing and it will absolutely be its last. I can't believe we're at 49.99. This is, it's, it's, it's top grade. Three left, 14 in baskets. Can I say a massive, I'm so jealous right now. So, so, so jealous. It's gone. Well done. Uh, Olivia, Somerset, Helen, Neil and Linda, Suzanne, Christina, Essex, Erica, Jackie, Carolyn, Bernadette, London, and Perth and Kinross. You have just got the finest rubellite that I've actually seen. Now, oh my, oh my goodness me, that's amazing. Well done. Do not go anywhere though, jewellery makers. Linda, likewise, she's going to be staying with me because we have the launch of the itty bitty babushkas. I can't wait. It's coming up after this. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button, fill in the required fields, and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you stuck for ideas with your jewelry making? Need some inspiration? 
then head over to the Jewelry Maker website and check out our project page. We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate or an advanced jewellery maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting. But being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity, is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. I hope you'll be able to join us this week as we explore another single source location gem. A sunstone with unparalleled levels of clarity, yet at its atomic level, copper infusions that gift this most remarkable natural gem the, some of the brightest colors the gem world has seen. It's attracted the likes of the GIA, and six years ago, it attracted us on a pilgrimage to the far reaches of Outback Oregon. This week, we're going to be ending that six year journey by finally bringing home and launching Oregon Schiller Sunstone. Hope you'll be able to join this Thursday between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. At Jewelry Maker, we're always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to put it into your basket online or speak to one of our brilliant customer service team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Lovely Linda. Hi. Hi, hi, darling. I'm so excited for these, and I'm. Uh, they hey. are going to sell out, aren't they? Yes. Yes. It's, it's, it's the first time we've actually done the baby babushkas, isn't it? Yes. 
juries. They are super sweet. And, and uh, if you wouldn't mind, Linda, just talk to us about, again about sort of the sentiment behind the babushka, what it means and why have we got the two different sizes? Um, well, the babushka or matryoshka, you can use either term. Babushka can be actually trans translated as almost a, a, um, a, a, a scarf or something like that in some forms of Russian. But matryoshka, with the Latin stem of uh, uh, mate, mate, um, is um, it, it translates as a mother figure, um, grandmother figure. So, and in Russian folklore, there are strong leanings on the matriarch in families. And um, as I say at the moment, as I said earlier this morning, I think it's a great theme to be working on for that strength of family at the moment um, and the the babushka stroke matryoshka really is just a form of you know the russian nesting dolls that we yes. all love uh, know and love um but i just think this sort of beaded form is just so pretty and i i've just i just can't wait for more and more shows including um i've got so many ideas but she's wearing a little bonnet yeah um it's, uh, you know, it really is, it, it satisfies every inspirational cell that you've got in your body. Yeah, yeah, I can believe that. And like you said, family, it makes sense to have sort of the, uh, I don't know, the, the, the babies, if you like, of, of the mummy babushka. I don't know if any of those kits are still available. I'm not sure. Um, have a little look at the nine o'clock hour or speak to our contact center. Um, but these are completely different colorways in terms of we've teamed up um, after popular demand, we've teamed up alongside the, uh, uh, the pom-poms, which were hugely popular as well when we launched this the first time round. So just, just so I know, how many do I have of each kit? Same, it's literally just under a hundred of each kit. You're getting the same quantity of your little babushka faces um, with the baby blue. So you, oh, you could t you team this for pe you know people that are expecting. If you know somebody that's expecting a little boy or a little girl, you can kind of customise it, couldn't you? Um, anyway, yeah. let's do a 60 second clock until the graphics actually appear um, because there are 98 of these. Again, they come with the hot fix. Those of you that have the hot fix gun, sorted sorted because you can use the blue hot fix on your faux fur um, you've got the three i'm going to pick one of these up actually i'll use my tweezers there's the little babushka doll and she is glass isn't she yes yes she is she's got a glass dome on on the top so and it's um completely blemish free um it, it's just attention to detail again beautifully designed very sort of Cute, cheeky, whatever way you want to look at it. Um, very easy to work with. Um, you work with the small ones in exactly the same way as you work with the larger ones. I love the idea that you had earlier on about almost giving them personalities. And we kept, I, I keep thinking like this. There's your biker chicks. You can have your, yeah. like, your hipsters, couldn't you? You could have... So you could. You could really go to town yeah. with these. Um, yeah, and it's like, you know, the... You know, the children have these doll dressing yeah. um, cut out things and things like that and they make you smile because yeah. some of the outfits are so you wouldn't think oh you think oh goodness and you really smile about it oh, so I sorry. can just I can just oh. see a load of bikers coming along on their Matryoshka bikes. <laughs> yes I can totally see that so this is Katrina Katrina, she's well, she's beautiful, and she comes with like a um, a gorgeous powder blue, a lovely, but lovely, delicate powder blue. You get then <laughs> your um, eleven O's. What are you chuckling at? Just chuckling the fact she was sort of. I think she's been on the vodka. Has she? Was she a bit squiffy? Okay. Um, <laughs> um, you get your eleven O's then. So with the uh, silver lined eleven O's, and also you get your powder blue matching powder blue. The, I've shown you the hot fix that you're getting in your four millimeter size, and three of your lovely baby babushkas. I almost said then baby babushkas, um, and there they are. Oh, uh, you see, no, you can get away with that because you can sing. Lucy's singing to me now. Come on, give us a rendition then. You have to come in here. We can't hear you, can we? <laughs> <laughs> we can't hear her. It is one of those. Um, but look, look at her holding 
her little baby babushka <laughs> is the sweetest the sweetest okay it is a launch we have 98 of these available or I should say we had you know if you want to get two kits if you want to get sort of the mummy babushkas grandma babushkas and also uh, the baby babushkas she's naughty as our Lucy then you're talking under 50 pounds under 50 pounds for literally a family aren't you it's incredible these are flying out the door we've never had we've never had the baby babushkas before it is the first time ever and under 20 pounds so we've got the pink, we've got the powder blue we've got the baby pink and then we've got a wonderful dusky rose all with different names and this is this this isn't linda naming them this is the names that they actually have isn't it that's right yeah so are they are they e as easy to work with oh absolutely you work with them in exactly the same way what um the little faces enable you to do is like make obviously the little small faces that will slot on um delightfully to those faux fur pom-poms but also to make a complete babushka um on a necklace also you know on earrings you can make a complete babushka which is only about an inch and a bit long let's say um and it's just as easy to work with as on the larger variety and obviously you'll do it a lot quicker yeah, because obviously it's a, sur a smaller surface area. You mentioned about, you mentioned about, let me grab these actually, because you've said about the babushka earrings. Now, this, these are the blondes, um, but look. They're amazing. I think, I think we spoke about, oh gosh, I can't, I can't believe it was nine o'clock and we're up three hours ago. Um, we spoke about sort of how popular these are going to be. You know, I'm, I'm picturing them at things like, German markets and Christmas events and things like that. They're going to draw attention, aren't they? Oh, absolutely they will, yes. Um, as I said at the moment, you know, with us having a little bit more time to devote to the things that are a little bit perhaps more um, seen as intricate, they're not. They're not. They're very quickly to do. Uh, I can do them very, very quickly. But what I love about them is I start one and then basically it evolves as I go. There's a sort of a pre-plan in the bottom of my, sort of in my brain somewhere, wherever that may live. Um, but then when I finished it, I've got something that is completely different. So yeah. it's sort of, you're quite right. The more you do, the more additions you add to it, the more personality and character comes out. I think that's so right. The personality. Yeah. I think. I think it is. It is. They all have their own little personalities. Yes, okay. They've got the same features, just with different colourings. But yeah. they they develop a personality. Like I can imagine her. You know. You know the sort of the big furry Russian hats. You know. You know yeah. the, the Siberian furry Russian hats. I can I can just picture her, and I bet she's like a Bond girl or someone like that. Uh, <laughs> hi Jennifer, uh, looking to make a brooch with the smaller ones. Beautiful, really yeah. really really lovely idea. Um, hello yeah. to you, and next saying lovely Elle. Can we buy the pom poms separately, please? I love these. Linda is so clever. They're only in the kits. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're only in the kits. Um, in actual fact, the you know, last time when we did it, it was can the pom poms be in the kits? And then it's the other. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so sorry. That's all we've got available. Right. Let's bring you. It's the same sort of idea, but just different colourings. Oh, oh, she's beautiful, isn't she? She's going to be, think about, try and name her, I don't know, I'm thinking supermodels now. I think she's some blonde Victoria's Secret goddess. <laughs> I'm chuckling because I can't, don't know where, I don't know where to hold her without poking her in the eye. <laughs> there we go, is that better? Sorry, Valentina. I'm sorry, my lovely. I'm trying my best. Um, I mean, listen, Elle, I've ended up, when I've been making these, sewing these, I've been having a chat with them. Have you, yes, I bet. I bet yeah. you do. I can imagine. So, uh, Valentina Babushka. Um, let's talk about the measurements of them, actually, because I haven't said that once. Uh, she's, she's 14 millimetres. 
So I'm wondering, Linda, for those people that do seed beading um, figures, you know, the little, little movable seed bead figures, mm -hmm. I wonder if these babushkas could be the faces of those as well. Yes, absolutely, of course they can. I yeah, think... they can be what you want them to be, really. Um, I'm going to give my granddaughter some of the faces to see quite how they interpret them. Yeah. Um, so that's from like a child's point of view. Um, but but no, absolutely. I mean, I, I love the brooch idea. Yeah. I love the thought of, um, of having perhaps... Twin, I've got twin granddaughters, as you know. So having um, the tw uh, twins, you know, because they are exactly that twins. Oh, lovely! The, and you can give the, you you can, have, the blonde. I mean, my twins are blonde and a brunette, so I could make the blonde and brunette brooch. Perfect. Um, lovely bead colourings with these. So your seed beads are both eleven O's, um, and you actually have. Let me just see the cut. Have you got the colours of the of, of your Mayuki? Uh, oh, here we go. Galvanised light beige and um, metallic gold lined crystal. They're really pretty colourings, aren't they? Very decadent. Yeah, very. And you're making at least three babushkas out of that 1995 price tag. And I know I keep referencing um, the mummy and baby over there, but I just think that's the most adorable idea. To, and I think that, you know, that could be worn. It's a decoration, but I know that could be worn as a brooch as well, couldn't it? Oh, definitely. Yeah, it can be what you want it to be. Beautiful. Totally. I love it. You know, as it. a brooch, it would be fantastic on something like um, a little jacket, a denim jacket or something like that, wouldn't it? Sorry, you cut off there. What was that? Sorry. Uh, as a brooch, it would look fantastic on a jacket, on a yes. lapel, or on, a, say, a collarless denim jacket or something like that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Somebody's asking a question. Mm hmm can you buy the doll faces on their own? Sorry, no. They're, you've got to... Uh, let me explain why. It takes us a long time to get these little faces. And what we get is limited. Is that, isn't that right, Linda? So yeah, it tends right. to be allocated straight away to the kits. Straight yes. away. Um, yeah, so we've, we've got... We've got a hundred approximately of each of the babushka faces, but they're all actually in kits, along with the actual pom-poms uh, too. 19.95, and to be honest, you're pretty much sort of buying the babushkas and getting everything else for free, I think. Well, not f totally, but at a crazy low price tag, I should imagine. Because what you were saying earlier on, Linda, is that, you know, babushkas, big designers like Chanel actually make babushkas, don't they? Yes, yeah, all of the big designers. And particularly now, um, the faux fur mm. is so on trend. Mm -hmm. um, and to mix the two, I mean, you know, a babushka face and faux fur around that babushka is so typically um, Russian, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and as I say, I'm, I'm really quite desperate to make um, a Russian Christmas tree this year. Oh, that, you have to take a photograph so we can all admire that. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is the finale Definitely. of your babushkas. So have a look back if you've only just tuned in. This is such a gorgeous colour. It's dusky rose in your pom-poms. We have the matching. It's like a dusky rose hotfix. Look at these lovely sea beads. So there's a, a lovely, like, um, well, hang on, I can give you the exact description of it. Uh, Fuchsia AB, and then you have your Duracoat Galvanized Muscat in your sea beads, so in your Mayuki sea beads. And this is our gorgeous brunette. Let me get some tweezers. This is Angelina. Sorry, Angelina. One second. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying my best not to hurt her. There we go. <laughs> there we are. And you get three of the beautiful Angelina as well. There we go. In that dusky, complemented with the faux, uh, so your dusky rose faux fur. Um, do you know there's cities now? Um, I, I think I was reading the other day that there's cities all around the world that are actually, um, rightfully, uh, sort of banning the use of fur it's all faux now which is wonderful really so and and we we spoke about it earlier the quality of this faux fur it literally is not going to come off you know you have that little can you see oops <laughs> hang on hang on hang on hang on that you've got that little elasticated loop in the center there that you can literally attach to so just use a little stitch 
Look at the quality of that. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's and a nice... the, um, the little babushka with the small pom pom, the little face, make up your babushka. And that could be a brooch, that could be earrings, that could be um, a necklace. Um, but also, don't forget things like um, bag charms. Yes. Uh, and things like that. I mean, they are so on trend. Massively Anything so. With both, uh, pom poms is so on trend. And a key ring, you know, if you. Uh, um... Yeah. My daughter's got one this colour, actually. She's got a little key ring. She doesn't, she doesn't carry a set of keys, but she was just drawn to the pom-pom itself. Um, I think when I was at a checkout somewhere, and I think they were hung there, it was, well, it was probably about six quid or something like that. But that's for one pom-pom. One little teeny pom-pom. You're actually getting ten in the kit. The three babushkas, your Angelina, plus your hotfix, plus two tubes of your... I mean, that's working out one, two, three, four, five. That's working out a couple of pounds per component, isn't it? Which is, which is amazing, really. So the babushka faces are a couple of pounds. The pom-poms are a couple of pounds. The seed beads yeah. are a couple of pounds. That's amazing. The hotfix are a couple of pounds. I've only just actually done that in my mind. That maths... Two pound. Five, one, two. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay, let's count those together. So, one, two, three, four, five. Three ninety nine. Okay, but if we were if we were to break it all down, obviously it's going to be way less than that. Nineteen ninety five only is, and you'll get. You said it earlier on. You're going to make at least three babushkas plus probably further jewelry with your pom poms. Oh, definitely. The pom poms have got unlimited um, sort of decorative uses, haven't they? And obviously, the seed beads will go on forever. Yeah. So, you know that that the value inside of that figure is uh, is massive. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I'm trying to find Angelina. Have we got Angelina? Is she actually she she might be the baby in uh, the Mummy and Baby? Is that Angelina in there? She's a blonde baby. <laughs> anyway, Angelina's in there somewhere. Gorgeous. Um, amazing. If you want to look at the demonstration, ha watch back on YouTube. We, uh, ha you had a lovely demonstration from Linda earlier on in the show. Or alternatively, you can text us. You can always ask us questions because we are live still currently in the studio. So um, text us 60777. Start your text. Um, with JM Studio um, and, and of course direct it in our direction we can put it to lovely Linda amazing amazing now I can't believe how fast this morning's show has actually gone um, I can bring you oh yes a few more amazing gemstone goodies chrome diopside look at the colour now, from, from recent, a recent meeting and a recent show with our gem investor, Jake, he tells us he can't get hold of chrome dioxide. Um, it's very difficult to get sort of a, a straight yes, no answer, whether it's actually currently being unearthed. But he says there's literally hardly any in the market. Most people are actually purchasing it and almost stockpiling it, really waiting for the price per carat to skyrocket, which it will. It's a breathtakingly beautiful gemstone, and you absolutely have one of the most vivacious of all colour saturations that's totally natural. Can you imagine this with your rubellite? Can I show that slide? Sorry, Adam. I mean, that, no, you know, yeah, I'm just going to show you the rubellite they had earlier on. Do you notice the combination, that beautiful raspberry pinky red of the rubellite? They've teamed that alongside peridot, probably more readily available than, well, in fact, it is more readily available than chrome diopside but can you imagine that combination with the rubellite that you've just had take inspiration 24.95 pardon it's like he wasn't here when jake was saying i i we can't buy chrome diopside in one ear and out the other, Adam is saying. I think it is. I think it is. Do you know what I'm going to do next time Jake's in the studio? I'm going to do what I do this to Willow. Come here. Boop, boop. Turn your ears on. You going to do that with you? <laughs> I can just see Jake's face. <laughs> It's like he doesn't listen, Linda. 
Yeah. I mean, twelve ninety five for a gemstone, which is pretty impossible to purchase right now. It was one locational, so let's just talk about it for in all seriousness. It comes from it comes from Russia. Um, it's totally natural. You get really beautiful high refraction, so wonderful brilliance inside this gemstone. But you know what you can actually. Um, mine and facet is minimal, especially in sort of these sort of two mil sizes. Because imagine the skill that it takes to facet this gemstone in two mil and to withhold that color. I mean, that's one of the things that Jake was talking about to actually hold on to that that beautiful energetic color without it sort of disappearing. They, they have what, what we call color extinction, so it goes almost black, almost very dark um, within the gemstone. Twelve ninety five. What do you think, Jury Makers? Do, I, do you think I need to go and turn Wayne's ears on? <laughs> I wouldn't I'll actually what, do that, that. that. That is a crazy... Chrome dioxide um, is premium. Also, faceted <laughs> and cut at that size is premium. Um, I can't remember the last time I saw chrome dioxide in that micro faceted. Well, um, I understand from, from, from well, what I hear, micro faceting, is, it was huge in 2019. And because obviously many of the gem events and uh, big shows haven't been able to, to you know, have been, have been closed, they're not allowed to um, e exhibit this year, 2020 trends will be exactly the same. So it's all going to be all about adjustability with your slider clasps, micro faceting, um, and, and your aquaphrase that you know th these are the big front runner things that many of which we have we are privy to here at Jewelry Maker, uh, but twelve ninety five is obviously non reflective of the true value. Well done. Let's bring you. How about a little bit of little bit of delicacy? It's a season of peonies right now. Isn't isn't a peony the most beautiful flower? It is beautiful, isn't it? And they're so fragrant too. I keep referencing peonies. I just think this reminds me of that delicacy. It's almost like chiffon. I can imagine chiffon floating in a breeze. Rose quartz, genuine rose quartz. You get this wonderful dreamy-like haze, uh, a level of transparency within the gemstone, of course. Uh, this is natural colour. Gorgeous. They're really, really pretty, aren't they? Love that. I'd, I'd be inclined to try and use these alongside maybe, I don't know, your dusky rose pom-poms. Gosh, with those dusky rose pom-poms. Wow, yes. They'd be lovely, wouldn't they? Oh, yes. It's that's, that's, almost, that's almost the colour of, like, a kunzite pink, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It, it, it's, it's a very grown-up pink. Mm -hmm. Seven ninety five, Linda, for, for... Oh, my word, look at that. That's it, gorgeous. It's such a pretty, pretty example of this gemstone. And rose quartz, you know, it's it's straight away. It's like it's like your tiger's eye. It's like your, um, I don't know, agates if you like. Many people instantaneously know it's a genuine gemstone. But we've got this romance that is, uh, this love affiliation also to rose quartz. Um, of course, it's the gemstone of friendship and unconditional love. So I can I can see that straight away. But it's just pretty. It's one of those really pretty. Um, endearing strands. It's got an, a hidden innocence to it. How would you work with these kind of faceted shapes? Well, immediately I can see that as a drop um, on a very simple earring. Yeah. Uh, perhaps with a little micro faceted chrome dioxide, then dropping that rose quartz, I think, would be absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. Uh, I actually do see those rose quartz um, just being left. Not on the temporary strand, obviously, as a, as a re-strand, but presented just like that. It's just one of those, um, so wearable. Um, but, you know, instinctively, it's something a bit special. Yeah, I totally, I totally agree. Yeah, obviously, re-strand it so they do tessellate perfectly. How about in amongst some nice little pearls? Definitely. Yeah, there's nothing nice in rose quartz with pearls. Pearls work with lots and lots of gemstones. But I can really see something like that vibrant chrome dioxide or a vibrant yeah. erico. Or that sunstone even. That's like um, bloom, isn't it? That's like a bloom yeah. combination. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Seven ninety five. Amazing. Let's bring you Oh Shades of Aquamarine. So, do you know what? 
I can see, I can see Goshenite, which is your pure. I can see Aquamarine, obviously. I can see golden beryls too. Some of the purest of your beryls are actually within this strand, all natural in your top drilled drops. Shades of aquamarine, really pretty. And again, maybe alongside the rose quartz or the Larimar that you had a few moments ago. What contrast the opacity and the, the wonderful patterning that you see within your Larimar um, with the sheer brilliance that are in each and every single one of these drops. I love the little hints of, of sunshine, I suppose, within these natural colorings. I love the purity of your colorless aquamarine as well. Um, so pretty. And again, with your babushka dolls, what I've loved about today's show is, is everything. I and mean, we've gone from crystal to, to babushka faces, to faux fur, to gemstones. It's all worth working together though isn't it it's it's all yeah. going to be combinations that go hand in hand well exactly i mean um essentially jewelry making is part of a huge world of crafting <clears throat> i think that's what we've covered this morning is that you know this is seen as a craft that will work with a lot more components than we actually think it will yeah i totally agree and high end this is a high end component <laughs> It's, I, it's my responsibility to, I mean, you can see this, I know, and our regular jewellery makers know this is the case. That's a genuine aquamarine of high quality, or aquamarines, I should say. Um, this is no reflector of the true value or worth. Hello, Janice. Hello to you, Mandy. Hello to you, Essex. Hello to you, Lincolnshire. Congratulations to you. Do stay where you are and check out those baskets. Um, yeah, you could tessellate these at the bottom of your babushkas, couldn't you? you know, Definitely. Come on. Yeah, that was a good event. Skirt. A center in the middle of the sort of sternum at the center yeah. would be fantastic. And then, um, I mean, if you want to create, which I am going to do definitely, create a Fabergé inspired babushka, then these are your shapes and your gemstones that you, you'll need. Well, as if like we planned it, Linda. <laughs> You talking about that, the centerpiece, and you've said, yes, beading foundation is uh, you can use, or not. But how about a gemstone as being the, you know, the body of your babushka? How about actually a big statement agate pendant? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, there, there is a lady in Russia who does do a series of babushka dolls using cabochon so you she does this series of uh meaningful gemstones that she uses as center uh center position and then works from the cabochon outwards basically and mm. see what happens um and all of her gemstones create um she's a little note of of the various um perhaps you know crystal healing and things like that mm. so i mean the shapes alone are great because you don't have to ha make a babushka in that original babushka shape you can have heart shapes at the at the base any shape you want so work with these shapes absolutely because some are sort of like uh, i don't know hourglass aren't they and some uh, yeah. are more uh, much more sort of circular it's it's your inspiration totally now i should point out that these as pendants um you know if you just wanted to keep them as beautiful agate pendants they are drilled um so they've all got a nice drill hole positioned at the top or here we go, of each of the agates. So that literally onto a jump ring, that's all, or a piece of wire, curled piece of wire. Um, wire wrapping, you could treat them as a cabochon and literally use the, the drill hole as your, na uh, your natural starting point, of course. Um, th there's just so much potential. And you can't beat agate in cabochons, can you? Because, because you get such large expanses. I mean, look at these, th look at that for a, a, a pattern, a story within a gemstone. Exactly. There's nothing like ag agate for, for its formations and the way that it sort of takes colour, yeah. you know, um, it's just, it's like a kaleidoscope, isn't it? It's yeah. absolutely beautiful. They're all so different. I mean, I know Steve Bennett absolutely adores agate. Yeah, he does. Um, I, I saw those he mega wears bundles. A lot. He wears it a lot, I gauge. Does he? Um, well, these, I mean, we haven't even given you the carrot weight here, but because they are, oh, here we go, 600. 600 carrots, marquees, pears. I've got this lovely irregular, almost like a watermelon tourmaline. That's working out at how much? £1.30. 
per agate pendant. I, 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 you know, if you look at other shopping channels, I'm not, I'm not talking about our sister channels. If you look at this, the ones that sell everything, you know the ones? Sell a bit of everything, a bit of home, a bit of this, a bit of that. Um, agate is, 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 is quite prominent on their screens, and it normally has a designer brand's name attached to it, but you're talking best part of £100 for one of these pendants, really, on a, bit of, on a little bit of satin cord. Mm. You're talking that, but obviously you have the capability and the uh, creativity to create that yourself, jewelry makers. Check out those baskets though, everybody. Um, we've been super, super, super busy today, and I know you've got lots of treats coming up as well within the mid, uh, within the mid show, um, wish, with, with Luscious Lucy. Sorry, what was that? I think he's taking them back. You've got Aquamarine coming up and tanzanite in necklaces coming up on the mid show i mean wow 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 i saw him pop, i saw liam pop in he snuck in he snuck in for a second occasion and grabbed him again i don't know i'm not really sure but look at those i mean this We've been talking about with, with, with the hot fix, with your babushkas being decorations, not just jewellery decorations and adornments, maybe around your home. Likewise with these big agate, uh, agate cabochons as well. It's not just about jewellery, is it, Linda? You could use those. I don't know whether you've noticed, but um, there are a lot of prints that you can buy for the wall, okay? Paintings, mm. prints, whatever. And there's a lot which are one big huge agate um, yeah. which looks absolutely stunning over a, over a fireplace or something so you're quite right you know the uh, there's other there's other sort of mediums that are using in being inspired let me say um, in uh, industries I should say other industries that are being inspired by gemstones because mm -hmm. I've seen so many there's somebody I know, and I can't think who it is, but she's got a huge agate, a painting of an agate in her hall. And it's so striking. I, I've got one in my living room. Oh, have you? Yeah, I've got, uh, it's literally a poster. It's literally a poster that I bought and took it to a frame, and it's in my living room. Oh, that, 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 she Love it. This frame. Lo she's got this, and it's so, every time I walk in there, you sort of get, I haven't seen it now for the last three months, but, you know, it's like the first time, every mm. time I see it. Yeah, I love it. Um, sorry, what I couldn't, couldn't, it? there we go, sorry. Here we go. I wasn't just stood uh, sat here. I was like, oh, I don't know where it is. There we are. Uh, 330 carats. These are lovely, and I almost, I gravitated towards these, actually. They're, they're, they're almost a Botswana, aren't they? They've got that Botswana-esque appearance. And I'm sure many of you are noticing they are knotted already. So, I guess designer Jan said yesterday, yesterday, she was like, that's a ready-made necklace if you want it to be. You could maybe remove one of the gemstones from the ends, use one of your fold-over clasps, and you've just, you've just saved yourself probably an hour's time of actual knotting. It's beautiful, this. I love the colours. Quite cashmere, gentle cashmere-like shades. 12 millimetres in their faceted drum size. £8.50. It's not a palette that we see that often in, in your, uh, uh, sorry, your agates and quartzes. It's one of those that... Um, both really uh, tend to be much brighter and I suppose we must never assume that everybody wants big bold colours. I actually think that is really beautiful, it's really delightful. I mean it's got what I would call sort of cashmere, Yeah. Um, you know the fabric cashmere, the wool, it's got that sort of um, feeling to it and then again on side a you know a little twin set or something but this is the sort of gemstones that you find in um jewelry in galleries in places like venice yeah. um and florence and places like that they the italians really love this type of stone well it's quite tactile and i suppose it's one of those sort of gemstones and pieces of jewelry that you can imagine sort of just i don't know thrown over a um a jacket or or a coat you know in amongst a sort of an, a, a woolly scarf you can you can imagine it throughout all the seasons eight pounds fifty jewelry makers only for 330 carats well done Oh, I'm so glad you said that. I, this this has been absolutely 
teasing me. I've only got a few. It was a deal of the day, wasn't it? It's been teasing me and I've been desperate to show you again. I have the final 16 Swiss blue topaz. When you think about, oh, I know, when you think about beautiful blue gemstones, gorgeous blue gemstones, a topaz is most likely going to cross your mind immediately. And there are many factors that will actually make it desirable, uh, availability, the sheer beauty of the gemstone. But it has to be this most insane, vibrant blue that makes Swiss blue the number one most popular out of all your, uh, your topaz, basically. In fact, it is... It's described, if you were to look at the Pantone colours, it's described as celeste blue. Celeste is heavenly. Um, and it truly is out of this world, isn't it? Um, how we achieve this, uh, this beautiful energy is we'll actually take... Most topaz is actually found in a colourless or a brownish-like colour. Um, and then what they do is they go through a huge transformation. It transforms the gemstone with high energy electrons and gamma radiation. And then it goes on to be further heated. The whole process is one of the longest processes um, of all your gemstones. And that is why, I've always said this, that is why or kind of explains the availability within the market. Have you noticed it's there, it's gone, it's there, it's gone. Have you noticed that? That's because it takes years to actually to, to, to produce this beautiful blue, this amazing blue within each of these solitaires. It gets snapped up, it gets sold. It's popular. It's actually the second most popular blue gemstone in the world, second to sapphire. <sighs> And it's, I, it just takes my breath away. Every single time I wear my Swiss blue topaz uh, ring, every time, without fail, it gets somebody comments on it. Because it has this just look at me appearance, doesn't it? It's just, it's one of those, it's one of those eye catchers. Do you agree, Linda? It just, it, you can't yeah. help but notice. Absolutely. I just think the colour of it is such an unforgettable blue isn't it it's a blue that's calming soothing makes you feel happy um i mean the treatment as you said that it goes through and that um all of them go through whether you're buying from bulgari whatever van cleef whatever um and it just creates the most sensational gemstone it does. doesn't it i mean it is it is just a gemstone of such high quality and unique. I mean, it's Mother Nature's design in the beginning, and then basically we help it along a little bit just so that we don't get this colour extinction. It will always stay like this. Absolutely. It's not one of those that you can't, you know, um, you have to be particularly uh, um, almost... You almost have to nurture. It's one of those gemstones that will. It's not. It's not afraid for sunlight. It doesn't matter um, if it has a little bit of heat treatment. Uh, sorry, a little bit of heat. Um, I don't know through a window or something like that. It is absolutely durable, and that will never actually diminish. Well done. Final few of those. It's insane, isn't it? Okay. Again, this necklace. I've been. I, I saw it when I was pre pre preparing for the show last night, and I went, "Oh, this is interesting." Um, can I just ask you? Ah. Uh, I was going to say, guess the gemstone, but there we go. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Um, because I was thinking, oh, I wonder what that looks like. It's, this looks like Mexican, and it's as I, almost as I imagined, it looks like Mexican turquoise, doesn't it? <laughs> it uh -huh. certainly does. Now, now, Wayne has just said to me, do you know what, that's exactly what Chloe, our head of TV, and Wayne, my producer, thought it was when they went over to the Gemporia vault, and that's why it is here today. Um, it's a finished, I'm going to show you the reverse, it's a finished necklace with 925 sterling silver, so maybe, not everybody has the budget for 200 carats of turquoise, not everybody. Um, this is how light is often used um, to look like that gemstone. Um, it's more readily available. That being said, I understand from Alex, our mineral man, who I've got a show with 
on the 22nd um, that most large pieces of howlite are actually getting snapped up by the Chinese market, so it's actually becoming more difficult to get. Um, but this doesn't this look like like Mexican uh, Mexican turquoise? It certainly it's would not be 24.95 if it were. And it's most definitely, Linda, absolutely categorically, would not be ten pounds ninety-five. <laughs> Get the queen of vodka. <laughs> Ten ninety-five. You know what? I mean, this. If I didn't know who was producing this show, if nobody had told me. I would absolutely guarantee it was Wayne. You, you, well, you'd have guessed. You could just tell. Yeah. yeah. I, th I, I think you're so right. You can you can almost tell the producers by sort of. I mean, they all give amazing deals, of course, but and also this what they choose. You can kind of you can kind of guess the thing the items that they choose. This is lovely, isn't it? I mean, I, I, I know we can't go on holiday just yet. We can't just yet, but you will be able to soon. Unless of course, no, you can't even go in the UK, can you? Just yet, not yet. But I can imagine. Sand between my toes, you know. Yeah, Elle, you, all you've got to do is um, get in um, Willow Sandpit, paddling pool at the side, yeah. cocktail in hand. We've got, we've got to imagine it, Linda, haven't we? Yeah, absolutely. I don't know whether you've seen a lot of these videos that have been going around, but you sort of, one of them shows this guy sitting by what you think is an aeroplane window and he's got a drink and this, that and the other. And it's a washing machine. Friend. Yeah, I've seen that. So use your imagination and wear the jewellery. I've, I've, I've seen that, definitely. I was like, yeah, it's going to have to be a paddling pool and, and a sand pit, yeah. isn't it? But, but one, listen, it will happen. We'll be able to go on holiday at some point. And I'm just picturing this. Uh, on whatever holiday destination, it's one of those pieces that I can imagine yourself, you can imagine wearing all the time. It's not breaking the bank, so you don't have to be too precious, but at the same time, it's not, we're not talking about costume jewellery here, are we? We're talking about genuine gemstones. I love it. I absolutely love this. And I mean, to be honest with you, it, it isn't in my, in my view, in my opinion, um, and I don't, I don't take my best jewellery on holiday no. with I really don't. Um, you know, we have holiday capsule jewellery, and this is very much a piece of jewellery that you take you in the morning to breakfast, whatever, to the beach, to the beach bar, to dinner on the night. Absolutely. I totally agree. And at 10.95 with sterling silver, tell you what, I tell you what, you can't go wrong with that one, can you? What a show. Incredible. Right, I've got to be quick because I've got a couple of minutes. Multicolored tourmaline. Oh, you're right. You can definitely tell it's Wayne, can't you? Yes. Because they're proper jemmy gems. Yes. Proper jemmy gems that our Wayne loves. Let's not forget he's 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 worked with some of the biggest gemstones in the world. Multicolored tourmaline. You've got black tourmaline. I've got pink tourmaline. I've got some beautiful greens and chromes. And it actually shows how the crystal grows. It grows in quite uh, um, shard-like shapes. So really beautiful. Um, in these rough sticks, it's described as. But actually, if you look at it, it's actually more of a hexagonal sort of shard. Um, oh, OK, we're not stopping there either. Both are completely natural. You've got a parcel of m what many colours of your tourmaline here. Um, I love how they tessellate together. I just think that, you know, the, the, the texture that you're creating easily. Um, I love this strand, Elle. I absolutely adore it. I've seen it twice before, I think, or once before. And I absolutely adore it. As you say, it tessellates. It's got movement in it, but it will lay nicely yeah. Yeah, yeah. as an next bracelet and the colors are just superb for tourmaline um lovely linda we're running out of time thank you for today's show it's been so lovely yeah. you you are amazing and i can't wait to see you yeah, I know, Elle. Yeah, can't wait to see you. Um, hopefully soon. Very hopefully soon. soon. Do bless you. Linda, everybody. Uh, we have coming up uh, Jewelry Makers on the Mid Show. Another amazing, amazing 
show. Sterling Silver, crafty with Mel, one to one, one to own rather. Um, I'll be back with you now on Friday with Mark Smith. Woohoo! Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option two. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. I hope you'll be able to join us this week as we explore another single source location gem, a sunstone with unparalleled levels of clarity, yet at its atomic level, copper infusions that gift this most remarkable natural gem the, some of the brightest colors the gem world has seen. It's attracted the likes of the GIA, and six years ago, it attracted us on a pilgrimage to the far reaches of Outback Oregon. This week, we're gonna be ending that six year journey by finally bringing home and launching Oregon Schiller Sunstone. Hope you'll be able to join this Thursday between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. At Jewelry Maker, we're always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to put it into your basket online or speak to one of our brilliant customer service team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 seven. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Are you stuck for ideas with your jewellery making? Need some inspiration? Then head over to the Jewellery Maker website and check out our projects page. We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate or an advanced jewellery maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewellery Maker, create, wear, share, this Spanish treasure is undeniably one of the most highly pleochroic gems created by nature. 
Andalusite is a transparent to translucent gem that derives its name from Andalusia in Spain, where it was first discovered. The gem is actually a polymorph of two gem varieties, silimonite and the hugely popular kyanite. This means they are identical in chemical composition but differ in crystal structure. The gemstone benefits from a very distinct and attractive pleochroism, which lapidarists try to highlight when faceting the gem. For incredible collections featuring this amazing gemstone, stay tuned to us. It's really exciting. Just come across 15 pieces from Singida again of top, top quality colours of zircon with strawberry reds, almost raspberry colours running through. Wait till you see these in the reef, you're going to be absolutely amazed. On the Anatolian Hills, we've had the day down in the mine, and we're with more right now to plant a tree. And this is something you actually are very passionate about, isn't it? Well, definitely, I don't know any other way other than uh, mining ethically. Uh, more uh, obviously, there are a few trees needs to be cut uh, in mm -hmm. during any mining uh, process. But all of our cooperation is underground mostly, so we don't damage the surrounding environment. And whenever we need to cut a tree, uh, we for each tree we have to cut, we plant 10. 10, wow. And That's uh, brilliant. also the forest fees uh, we pay uh, result in more tree planting. When you buy a beautiful emerald, and when you look at it, and when you enjoy it, and you look at the magic, the individuality of each emerald, think not just of how beautiful it is, but think of the scenery from where it came from. This beautiful landscape behind me once was an emerald mine. Eight years ago, they were mining beautiful emeralds from here, taking small amounts for every big sort of amount that they excavated. But today, look, it's a beautiful, beautiful lake. And in fact, the locals actually fish in here, and they don't just fish for fun, it's part of their daily diet. is one of the most strange mining communities in the world. The actual community live at some 3,000 metres plus on this plateau. And you literally drive apparently up and up and up this windy road and it flattens out to the top, only about 100 metres wide, and the whole community are here. Apparently they live alongside monkeys, alongside baboons, uh, not a pane of glass, very little electricity, and uh, one of the remotest uh, communities apparently in Ethiopia. And I can't wait to meet the people. Uh, and see where the gemstone comes out of the ground. One gemstone that's very difficult to cut is kyanite. That's for two reasons. Firstly, 